Tere, tere, hata, tere, 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 it has an effect, doesn't it? It does, it does. Gemma says her knees are hurting this morning. <laughs> From jumping too From much. all that jumping and <laughs> dancing and cavorting. It's one of those things, isn't it? I think it just, it just kind of catches up with you after a while, doesn't it? Anyway, how are you today? Gemma Crow's with us. There she is. Hey, hello. We love her. The queen of everything, including that incredible necklace you've made. Oh, I, I am in love with this necklace. Yeah, and even though I made it, I, I know, but I, I do love it. It's like the ultimate, it's just the ultimate design, isn't it? It's just luxury, isn't yes. it? Yes. It's total luxury. It feels amazing on. It's gorgeous. It I is absolutely it. gorgeous. These beautiful necklace coming up uh, as your masterclass in the 12 o'clock hour. We've got some gorgeous kits coming up today. We've got loads of kits actually coming up today, uh, which have got all sorts of different gemstones in. We've got... Um, beautiful pearls we've got gorgeous jadeite uh, we've got black jadeite as well this is coming up in the nine have a look at this gorgeous gorgeous necklace which Gemma's made here beautiful marla necklace there you've got some buy symbols there as well gorgeous donut they're going to be brilliant 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 kits lots and lots of inspiration today as well which is great and um, we have got a phenomenal show for you today um We've got uh, Dave Troth joining us at uh, 10 o'clock this morning, bringing you natural tanzanite as well, which we're really excited about. It's got loads of gorgeous kind of golds in it. You've got beautiful um, kind of, yes, blues, but kind of almost purples as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to bring you that um, in the um, 10 o'clock hour. So that's going to be really, really fantastic. We've also got coming up in this hour... Um, Loads of toggle clasps. Oh, my word. There's a million of them. Well, not quite a million. Not quite a million. There's actually 30. There's a lot, isn't it? There's a lot of clasps there. One for every, uh, one for every day of the week, at least. Um, so we're going to be bringing you these silver-plated base metal uh, toggle clasps in this hour as well. They're available on pre-order if you want to get them. Loads available on pre-order as well, um, including, yes, the toggle clasp. Also, these beautiful earrings. Let me show these bad boys. Whee! These bad boys to you. So you're going to be getting your two incredible pearls, gorgeous sterling silver twist hoops, You've got your gorgeous head pins to attach your pearls onto your earring findings and, of course, your butterflies as well. They're going to be coming up. They're available on pre-order right now if you want to um, um, add them onto your order. They're not going to be sold for £51.99 or whatever they're at at the minute. But I have to say, what I'm so excited about... We've got Singida Tanzanian Zircon. These stones are incredible. I wonder, I have seen the recording of this this morning. It is looking like something out of a dream. It, it gets beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. These are the most diamond-like zircons I have ever seen in my life. These are going to be coming your way at about half past eight. They are incredible. They're on pre-order at the minute for £198.99. They're not going to be anywhere near that. We're really excited about bringing you these. They are your early bird special coming up in about... Yes, look at that. Oh, wow. I know. I know. I know. Is that one of yours, Michael? Oh, who did that? You don't even know. He doesn't even know. I'd have just said yes. <laughs> <laughs> the most amazing zircon. They are absolutely off. The Aren't they gorgeous, Gemma? They're stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Those kind of like a kaleidoscope, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. I know. Do you know what? Yes, I could probably sit here looking at these for another yeah five hours or so. <gasps> oh. So they're going to be coming your way at half past eight. Very excited about that. Right. Shall we get going? Yeah. Let's get going. 
Let's start off this morning with a strand of shaded ruby. Now, when I say shaded ruby, I don't mean kind of like there's some light ones, dark ones, it's all a little bit mixed together. No, 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 no. I mean like an ombre shaded strand of ruby, like the, pro the real deal. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We're the UK's only dedicated jewelry making channel. We specialize in genuine gemstones, lots of other mediums as well. We're very excited to have you all with us today. So get involved as soon as you can, everybody. We've got lots and lots and lots to look forward to today. Um, starting off with this gorgeous strand of beautiful shaded ruby. I love all those different tones you're going to be getting here. They're gorgeous, aren't they? JM Studio, yay! It's Gemma, happy to... I know, there she is. <laughs> Good morning, oh, Mandy. Mandy and Derbyshire. <laughs> Well done, everyone. Um, so you're going to be getting here 32 carats of your gorgeous ruby uh, faceted rondelles. Now, with all of the gorgeous pieces we've got coming up today, including your gorgeous green jadeites, I would absolutely say, put it with it. Put it with your gorgeous jadeite. $29.99. Get involved as soon as you can. Give us a call on our free phone number, 0800 six triple four six double five or get involved on our website jewelrymaker.com or indeed if you want to you can download our app and watch us on the go we'd love to hear from you today go 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 well done everyone 14 99 don't you love the way that that is kind of mirror graduated as well so you get that gorgeous mirror graduation of not just size but also incredible color as well under 15 pounds for you today get involved when you can go 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 well done can i pop it up to my neckline please by the way, we've got some gorgeous pearls coming up today, which these look great with as well. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's gorgeous. Don't we love that? Oh, yes. Yeah, show that. Uh, show that message. That sounds a bit. This is from Joe in Hampshire. Hello, Carolyn, Gemma, Gemma. What have you done? Jadeite and pearls in a corn cornucopic composition of cascading capriciousness oh wow core blimey wow joe <laughs> this is a poet all of the c's all of the alliteration absolutely that's wonderful. there you go that's gorgeous <laughs> well done at 14 pounds and 99 pence for your gorgeous ruby get involved well done nancy well done janet as well you what you've never cornucopia means a collection doesn't it Yes, I think it does. Cascading. We all know what cascading means. It's when something cascades. And capricious, capriciousness. Isn't if you're capricious, doesn't it mean you're kind of... No, I thought it was... I thought um, d uh, delicate. That's why I, th I don't know. Capricious. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Neary, get on the old get on the old bombooter. What does capricious mean? I think it... I think it doesn't it mean kind of like... I thought it was delicate and slightly unsteady, which obviously is not Gemma's incredible necklace. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I've got that wrong. Quality of changing mood or behaviour, suddenly unexpected. There you go. So, yes, a little bit like... I think you would describe uh, a goat as being slightly... A mountain climbing goat being slightly capricious. Oh, well, that's good because I'm an Aries, so I'm a bit goaty. <laughs> <laughs> Light-hearted and fun, capricious. <laughs> Oh, anyway, okay, anyway, let's move on. Uh, 14 99 well done to Pat in Derbyshire as well. Well done to everybody. Go, 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 go. Lots and lots and lots of cool uh, things coming up today. Um, maybe, maybe give me your favourite, um, your favourite words. Seeming as we've started off on, started off on that kind of, uh, I think we should have, that kind of uh, theme today. I think we should have more alliteration, I just think. That's more alliteration. More alliteration. I love a bit more, of alliteration. More, more, more. Yes. Really hammers it home, doesn't it? It does. Multicolour barrel faceted wheels. Oh, these are looking gorgeous. Have a look at the range of colour in this. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. You've got your beautiful aquamarine blues. Yes, the beginnings of your beautiful morganite pinks. Your Heliodor yellows. They are really, really lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous goshenite tones as well. Do you know what you could do? You could rosary link with these. They would look absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't they? Mm. Impulsive. That's Sandy's favourite word. That's a good word, you know. It's a very good word. Impulsive. I don't know. I don't know what the text topic should be today. Favourite words, maybe? Or favourite, uh, I don't know. It's producer appreciation day, apparently, says Neary. 
So we've all got to say how much we love Neri. Oh, no, really? £19.12. Uh, there you go for 38 carats of multicolour barrel. Beautiful quality, absolutely gorgeous tones running through here. And of course, even though you've got blues, you've got pinks, you've got yellows, they all go together absolutely beautifully, don't they? They really work. Well done, everyone. Don't get me started, ladies, says Joe in Hampshire. <laughs> oh, gosh. OK, lovely. Go on, send in some more alliteration for us. Why not? Diane, well done to you, my lovely. Look at that lovely recording. Natalie in Gloucestershire, well done to you. Michael, do you have a favourite word? No, that's his favourite word. There we go. <laughs> what about you, Gemma? I like tessellate. Oh, tessellate. I like that word, yeah. It's a good word, isn't it? Ooh. It's a very nice word. <laughs> it's a very nice word. Uh, we've got, uh, oh, the most amazing strand of garnet in the entire world coming up now. Should we do it now? Let's do it now. Come on. Here we go. The most amazing strand of garnet in the entire world. And that's a god. Well, it is a fact. It is a fact. Because look at the state of this. Oh, my <laughs> word. Now, that is a gorgeous strand of garnet, isn't it? You've got to admit, that is absolutely gorgeous. 170 carats of the most beautiful, the richest, but the kind of cleanest, crispest uh, garnet. It is just so rich and beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous qualities. Well done. Get involved when you can. Here we go, everybody. £12.99 for absolute perfection. Perfection on the garnet scale. That's gorgeous. This is all the way from India. I mean, it could be your Rajasthan garnet. It's got that gorgeous kind of real high gem quality to it. $9.99 is your deal today. Now, a, a lot of people kind of um, uh, uh, think about what kind of uh, gemstone combinations to put together. I, I definitely think that your garnet and your pearls, your garnets and your jadeite look wonderful together, Absolutely. Gemma. Yeah, definitely. Garnet, garnet seems to go with, with quite a lot of things, actually. Yeah. I think it looks great with pearls, very sort of passionate with pearls. But, um, yeah, I like it with aquamarine ah. and um, labradorite and things like that. It looks lovely as well. Absolutely. Do you know, um, uh, well, Neri's telling me I've got the wrong strand here. Well, that's good, isn't it? It should be that. Oh, there we go. This should be that one for nine ninety nine. Hang on, how long is that strand? It's a meter. Wow, well, I've got the wrong strand there. Blame Kinger. Uh, so we've got a meter long strand. That's incredible. Maker in London, Natalie, Paula. Well done to you, uh, Neri. I can't hear a word you're saying, mate. Tried to turn Michael off and ended up just shouting in his ear. Uh, we've got here Labradorite. Got Labradorite and we've got gorgeous shell pearls. Should we do another meter long strand? Yes, please. With the garnet that we've just done. Yeah. Take Gemma's advice. Mm. Oh my word, these are beautiful. They're beautiful, aren't they? They really are stunning. Oh my word, look at these. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Labradorite smooth six millimeter rounds. How big were the garnets? Were they six mils as well? I believe they were. They look great together. You could do the same design I'm going to show you at 12 with those two strands together. And it would look quite medieval because I think those two colours together yes. really remind me of like medieval jewellery. And tapestries and things yes. like that. Yes. 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 Do you know what? That's a really great thought, actually. So that kind of cascading um, uh, design would be absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful quality. Labradorite smooth, six millimetre rounds. Gorgeous quality. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that gorgeous labradorescence. It's amazing, isn't it? Just love it when we cluster labradorite together. It just looks so striking, doesn't it? Gorgeous. Only a couple of chances left. Well done, Natalie. We've got Janet there. Well done. Loads of people getting involved today. So it's great to see. Well done. Um, can I just show you as well what's coming up at half past? So we're mere 15 minutes away. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Morning, lovelies. My favourite word is snuggle, says ah. Karen in uh, West Yorkshire. I think that's really lovely. That's a, yeah, it's a good word, isn't it? What about words that people get wrong? <laughs> words that people get wrong. So my kids get words wrong all the time, and I don't, I'm never going to correct them because I just love, I love lovely, them uh, for, their, for their kind of inaccuracies. Like uh, instead of remember, it's benemba. Um, and on top of a cake, you have icing. Oh. Um, it's a good bit. And, and uh, uh, the big kind of animal that lives in kind of water, hit eponymous. Oh. 
<laughs> and the uh, animal with two horns uh, is a rhinoceros. Oh. I just love them. <laughs> I never, ever, ever want uh, to, um, to, to correct them. It's just, it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, so we've got gorgeous, gorgeous um, zircon coming up. Jane, well done to you as well, my lovely. Oh, my word. Look at this. I know the zircons are looking so good. What should we do now, Neary? We've got loads more. Oh, my gosh. Um, shell pearls, so delightful, rose quartz or clear quartz? Shell pearl? Shell pearl. Goodness. How long is this? Two metres. Since when did we start doing every gemstone by the metre or two metre? This is crazy. Oh, yes. Gorgeous silvery colours there. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful tone in there. Yes, silver shell pearl, six millimetre rounds. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Um, and you've got here a two metre strand. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful quality. 0800 644 655. 1799, <coughs> two metres of your shell pearl. That is seriously good, isn't it? Mm. Gorgeous quality. What a deal! 0800 644 Go, 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 go. Well done for your silver shell pearl rounds. They are just so luxurious, aren't they? So much you can do with shell pearls as well. If you're thinking about doing a, a design and you want it to be, uh, and maybe it's a weave design, mm -hmm. and you need all those gemstones to be the same size, and you know you can't necessarily do that with genuine freshwater cultured pearls because maybe the drill hole's a little bit finer or maybe you can't guarantee that the, all the pearls are going to be the same size. I'd say go for shell pearl, 100%. Yeah. Um, Julie and Hertfordshire. My son used to say limonade, lim, limo, limolade instead of lemonade. <laughs> we still say it 25 years later. That's it. They become part of your kind of family vocab, don't yeah, they? Yeah, we've got limonade. <laughs> my um, my son Tom, he told me when he was he was about four, and he told me he wanted some banjarines, and it banjarines. took me a while to work out what he meant, and he, he meant um, braces, but because they're like dungarees and stretchy, like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but banjarines and it stuck. That now is amazing. Now we only call them banjarines. How did you work out that that's what he meant? Well, he he, did he told demonstrated. Me it, yeah, he demonstrated and he told me it was what Doctor Who wore, and so it made sense then. That's adorable. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Gemma makes with. Oh, here we go. Joe's messaging again. Makes with. <laughs> Pop. Okay, come on. Makes with. Titivating, tessellations, tantalizes, tempt, tickle and tease. Oh, wow, Wait, Joe. Keep your thoughts to yourself, love. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> I love it. Well done. Yes, Neary. You, you need to filter those messages. <laughs> very, very close to the wire. Um, right, OK. Um, so delight. <laughs> is this so delight? Or is it blue jasper? Do you know what? We've had some wonderful um, blue jasper and soda lights in recently. And, and I find it difficult to tell them apart because the because blue jasper's got that really lovely kind of almost willow pattern blue coming through. I absolutely love it. Blue jasper, four millimetre rounds. It's another metre strand. We should just turn this hour into like a metre, a metre long, a metre or more hour. We did that the how other many, day. How many metres of gemstones have we done so far? Um, we have done, we've done a metre of... A metre of garnet, a metre of labradorite, two, meters, two of metres of shell pearl, a metre of blue jasper. We've got a metre of shell pearl. We've got a metre of clear quartz. We're kind of up to seven metres. <laughs> That's crazy. Here we go. Uh. 6 99 for 138 and a half carats of your gorgeous blue jasper. We're getting the messages in. Here we go. Oh, lovely Julie on the Isle of Wight. We love you, darling. I hope you're doing all right today, my love. Uh, when my son Alex was little, he couldn't say penguin, so he's always said wang wang. 
That's adorable. Oh. These are just lovely, aren't they? I used to call splinters squirrels. Oh. I have no idea what well, I suppose it starts with an S, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, well done to Paula. Well done to Jane, Eileen, Karen, Tia, Natalie, Joe. Well done. Lots of people coming through. Well done. At £6.99. Well done. Check out your baskets, everyone. It's £6.99 for your blue jasper. I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something there's not a lot you can get for £6.99 nowadays, is there? You go to your local petrol station, try and get a, a sandwich and a packet of crisps. Good luck with that. And a drink. And maybe a snack. Chocolate bar. Maybe I'm just buying too much with my local petrol station. I don't know. Uh, well done, Donna. Well done to you. More people checking out. That's great to see. Well done. At £6.99 for your absolutely gorgeous quality. Ah, oh, there you go. Multi bidders coming through in Gloucestershire. Well done. Single figures. Well done, Karen. Well done. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone, at £6.99. Well done. Go, 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 go. Superb. OK, we've got four chances remaining. Keep coming through. Well done. OK, a rosy quartz. Guess what? It's another metre. Metre? I like a metre of gems, though, because it's kind of, what? We're talking like three of a regular-sized, regular-length strand. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? And with gemstones like rose quartz. <whistles> and with gemstones like your gorgeous rose quartz, a gemstone which is attributed with love, with romance. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Here we go, everyone. Beady beads. Now, with, with a four mil strand, beady beads is a great. It's a great size to go for, isn't it, Jan? Yeah, it is. It make a nice, nice pendant a beady bead mm. um, at that size. But also stretches. You know, rose quartz yes. stretches are so popular. It's one of those gemstones that everybody knows and loves, and you know, understands. It's about love and friendship, Absolutely. and so it's great for stretchy bracelet. Yeah. It's so nice, isn't it? And of course, when you kind of think to yourself, what you know, which, which. Um, which, uh, oh, when we think about which, uh, which other gemstones it will go, but look at that with the bl beautiful blues. You could even alternate them if you wanted to. Is it still raining in the studio? Someone's saying it's not. Sorry about my microphone. It's, uh, a lot of people messaging and saying it sounds like it's, we've got torrential rain in the studio. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? I mean, I know that, you know, sometimes, you know, buildings fall apart and everything, but uh, yeah. My son used to say, Harry Popter instead Aww. of helicopter. Harry yeah. Oh. A hairy popter. It's just hilarious, isn't it? Oh. We get it so wrong sometimes. But it's when adults are ah, now I learned I learnt um I learnt one the other day and I did say this on the show the other day. If somebody does something completely on their own, unaided, they do it off their own bat. Bat. It's bat. I always thought it was back. Yeah, me, I did as well. It's bat. No, it's a cricketing term, apparently. Oh. Vanessa Feltz oh. told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Damp squib. <laughs> it's squib. What's a squib? Sounds disgusting. And I always thought it, if the cat fits, wear it. <laughs> I got that totally wrong, didn't I? If the, no, if the cat fits, wear it. Yeah. But it's if the cap fits. Yeah. Why would you try and put on a cap? Cat, yeah. It never occurred to me that it might be cap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, white quartz. <laughs> the most gorgeous quality. Clear quartz. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. You're looking here at the master healer. You're looking here at a gemstone, which if you believe in crystal healing, this gem is pretty much the most powerful gemstone in the world. It's got a gorgeous, it's got a gorgeous kind of uh, vibration to it, a gorgeous energy to it. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Paula, Wanda, Maker, Natalie, Cheryl, Jane, gee whiz, there's loads of people there. Well done. Text in. Do you, uh, have you, uh, do you get words wrong? Do you know people who get words wrong? Kids, grandkids? Um, 
78070. Start your text with the word JM Studio. Well done to Julia. Well done to Caroline. Well done to Gabrielle. Miriam, well done to you. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, we're getting some <laughs> sassy messages in this morning. <laughs> who was who sent that message in? A new collector. Very cross. <laughs> and you know what? Funnily enough, we're not going to show your message because it's really sassy. Well done to Jane, Heather. <laughs> Let's be a bit more positive, gang. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't write the descriptions for these. I'm, I'm fully happy. Yeah, Amita. It's not, you know, no, I didn't write the details of this. I'm sorry, love. If we went through every single spelling mistake that we make, then we'd be here for a long time. Uh, well done to Caroline, you've got two. Jane, you've got two. Well done, maker of Middlesex. Janine, uh, well done to you. Very, very popular strand. I totally get the popularity with this. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? That gorgeous kind of clear nugget, but they're kind of smooth nuggets, aren't they? Yeah, they're like, they're like um, ice that's melting. Yes. They're really lovely. Kinga. You all right? Yeah. King is breaking the set. Uh, my daughter used to call butter Dubby. <laughs> <laughs> and butterfly Dubby fly. Aww. Crazy child and still wonderfully nuts. Love you guys. Jane, I really hope that you've, that you've, used, that, that you've carried on using that. Uh, Karen, please make sure you've got no spelling mistakes today. Otherwise, we're going to get some more saucy messages. Uh, my sister, when small, used to say... Yun yine, you yine for sunshine. Uh, we still use that expression when the sun suddenly comes out. It's uh, yo, yo, yo yine. Yo, do you know what? I don't even uh, just. Yeah, it sounds like sounds like wee wee. Uh, right, okay, well done, everyone. That's sold out. Oh, right, okay. Can we do the mat? Okay, I love that. Neri and I love this, don't we, love? Neri and I absolutely love this. Now this is Neri put this. Neary put this into an hour. When, when was it? Was it in March? 17th of Feb. And uh, that, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? A lot's happened since then. And, um, and Neary said, I don't, I don't know why I've put them into the hour, but I reckon that we could use them for photography skills. And you could uh, mount your jewellery on there and you could use it maybe as a background for all of your things. Also, in its most conventional form, it is a felting mat. Uh, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the colour you've got here, this gorgeous kind of minty green, um, minty green uh, kind of uh, bluey colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you wanted to pin your jewellery to this when you take uh, your photographs of it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, wonderful to, um, yes, display your jewellery on when you take it to craft fairs as well. And just a really nice thing to be able to have maybe under your wrists as well when you're, when you're doing your work. It might just kind of, you know, if you do suffer with um, um, uh, um, um, kind of arthritis or repetitive strain um, 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 kind of injuries on your wrists or hands, it's a really nice thing to be able to have. It's a really useful piece of kit, I think. I think, yeah, great for beading onto as well. So your yeah. beads don't roll around and you can pop your needles in it whilst you're... Yeah. Beading, you know, uh, so yeah, they're, they're just Sorry, nice I'm things. Sorry. And imagine, you know, you're at a craft fair and somebody wants to look at a piece of jewellery rather than just handing it over, yes. hand it on the cushion. It that, feels, what a lovely idea. It feels quite nice, doesn't it? It like does. A, and yes, I, I think I'd agree actually. Yes, use it as a giant pin cushion as well if you want yeah. to do your beading with it. Um, it's 4 99 It's just gorgeous. We had people texting in, I remember when we first played these, as kind of what, what alternative uses would be. So if you maybe want to sit on uh, one of your kitchen chairs, which is wooden, and you just want a bit of a bit of a cushion underneath you, this is absolutely gorgeous. Good morning. I still say Carlisle sweater instead of Argyle sweater. Um, uh, stuck in my brain from childhood. Well, why not? Why not, Margaret? I'd, I'd just go for it if I were you. You know what you mean. You know what you mean. Um, I know a guy who says, uh, who calls fajitas fajitas. <laughs> no, you don't, Neary. Neary, didn't you for years call spaghetti bolognese spaghetti bolognese? <laughs> do you still do it? <laughs> There's a, yeah. Uh, my grandson was at nursery on Friday and it snowed. He said, Nanny, today it snowed and snowed and snowed. Then it stopped and stopped and stopped. Aww. That's adorable. <laughs> Kids are cute though, aren't they? <laughs> what are you so wrong? We all get things wrong sometimes, don't we? Let us know. 
something something else that our family always um, say now is tolawalla instead of cauliflower, because <laughs> my uncle um, couldn't say cauliflower, and so it was tolawalla, and that's so it's just stuck. To <laughs> tolawalla. Tolawalla. Yeah. <laughs> tolawalla cheese. Nice. Yeah. Nice bit of tolawalla cheese. Yeah. I like that though. This is one of <laughs> bit of fluff. This is one of my all-time favourite green gemstones. This is natural. I would, do you know what? If I could come back as anything, or if I could kind of change my vocation in life, there's two jobs I want to do. I want to become a dry stone waller, and I want to, I want to become a miner for Chrysler praise. Because can you imagine mining and finding a gem that looks like this? It's like the best jade in the world. It's got that gorgeous translucency. It's got that incredible powerful color it's just gorgeous 255 carats of the most amazing chrysoprase i love all the kind of um all the beautiful inclusions that you get in it i really really love all those wonderful patinations just looks gorgeous doesn't it absolutely beautiful reminds me very much of aquapraise it's got the most gorgeous quality going through it's just stunning isn't it well done 0800 644 Gorgeous. Well done. For 255 carats of your amazing Christ phrase, 10 mil rounds. Wouldn't this be lovely in a mala? Ooh, absolutely gorgeous. Don't you just love it? It's gorgeous. It's got that lovely kind of mint choc chip kind of uh, tone. Do you like a bit of mint choc chip? Yeah. The mint choc chip's one of the most beautifully flavoured ice creams, isn't it? It's lovely. You get your chocolate, but it doesn't make you as thirsty as chocolate ice cream because it's got the mint in there. Ruby, Julie, Jay Marie, well done. I think it's a perfect balance. 1999 for your gorgeous Chrysoprase. Oh, Paul treated himself to uh, ice cream last week when he had COVID. What, what did you have? What flavour? Coquito. Mm. What's your go-to, Gemma? Um, I, I like coconut or pistachio. Oh. I, I like nutty ice creams. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> pistachio <laughs> amazing uh, when i was very a very young child i used to say something that was done done on purple instead of on purpose i love Aww. that oh julie in the world bless you darling right it's time now for the most incredible early bird i think i've ever seen in my entire life it's time for the most amazing um zircon early bird special Uh, right, we have got, we have got an early bird special here, which is astonishing. Wendell Paso, our head gemstone buyer, sales manager, he was doing his little Rumpelstiltskin dance. It's a little Rumpelstiltskin dance about these Zircons. They are um, beyond, beyond diamond-like. They're better than almost any diamond I've ever seen in my entire life. A genuine gemstone, which is arguably rarer than your, uh, than your diamonds and has got the most unbelievable amount of fire, dispersion, and an incredible carrot weight to go with it as well. This is Singida Tanzanian Zircon. And this is your kind of what I would describe as your new world zircon and your old world zircon being your Jackson Hill zircon from Australia or maybe your beautiful um, Cambodian Ratnakiri zircon. <coughs> there are new mining locations for zircon which are really, yes, kind of toe to toe absolutely on a par with the most incredible 
zircons in the world. These are absolutely up there. And these are very, very, very much like your colorless diamonds. In fact, so much so, I've got a diamond grading chart from the GIA. So this is a proper diamond grading chart. Just have a little look at this. Quite difficult to see, but what I wanted to focus on in the left is the left-hand side, um, where right down at the bottom you can see your Z colored diamonds, which are not good, right the way up to your kind of fair qualities, which are your K, L, and M. And then to your near colorless ones, which is what you'll tend to see maybe on the high street, maybe on our sister channels, Gemporia. So we're talking G, H, I, and J. And they are brilliant. They're brilliant quali uh, quality and colorless diamonds, okay? And then the top three, D, E, and F. And the reason why we start at D is just in case there's anything which is ever discovered which has less color than a D color diamond. I very much doubt that. But anyway. You've got that chart. Have a look at our incredible zircons by comparison. I would honestly say, I can honestly hand on heart say that these for me are in that top three. D, E and F. got here absolutely superb the zircon is stunning sorry jemmy you were about to say something and i think your mic was actually <laughs> had to change my microphone unfortunately because it is uh, it, it wasn't working it sounded like it was raining in the studio sorry say what you were going to say sweetie just saying when when i went to um london to look at the to do the yes. comparisons and look at the jury concessions seeing the cartier diamonds was like I, i've never seen anything with that much sparkle and these sort of are the closest to that I've ever seen and yes. those were you know top grade diamonds absolute top grade and this these compare you know very, the very amount similar. the amount of dispersion and fire you're getting from these zircons are yes on a par with some diamonds um you know kind of um your maybe your d uh, your d colorless flawless diamonds but they are over and above almost every single diamond you will ever find on planet earth they are absolutely tremendous now to try and find a price comparison is almost impossible with these because diamonds of this kind of size just don't exist um, uh, to kind of in the mass market um, you know you're going to be paying uh, tens or even hundreds of thousands of pounds now i want to show you a price comparison for something that I have found, okay? So have a little look at this next slide. This is the nearest thing I could find. This is from a website called The Diamond Store, lovely. We're looking at similar kind of sizes, 5.2 millimeters. These are 5.5 millimeters, these um, gorgeous zircons. They're £1,295. You know, that, that is not bad, actually. Ah, hang on. Lab diamond stud earrings. These are lab created diamonds, which means that they are man-made. They are fake. They are, they are, you know, they, they, you cannot, you cannot compare the two. Okay. They are lab created diamonds. What we have here is pretty much the oldest object in the world, a zircon created literally at the beginning of 
our, the beginning of our Earth's creation, just after the formation of the moon. That's when this incredible gemstone was formed. The chance of this gemstone to, uh, being created again is next to none. Now, I'm just going to take these out of the little box that they come in, just to give you an idea on size, to give you an idea of scale. They are absolutely in Incredible. Now, Gemma, you, you know, doing what you do, being, being, a, being a designer, what would you do with, with, um, with zircons of this kind of size? Well, I think I, I would, I think they would look amazing as earrings. And given that there's yes. the two, I mean, that's, that's my, my go-to. Or, or maybe some sort of, um, some sort of ring, but set lengthways along the finger. Yes. You know, something like that. But I think I would, um, definitely set them with precious metals, maybe even have something designed and, and made for those, yes. you know? I mean, they're, they're gorgeous, but I, you wouldn't want to cover up any of that no. stone, would you? You want a, a really simple setting to highlight them. Absolutely, and I think you're absolutely right. When you've got quality gems like this, you know, gems of this kind of, this kind of caliber, you might want to use an atelier service, you know, go to Hatton Gardens, get them set into something. They are so special. Diamonds, actual diamonds, not lab created, diamonds but but real diamonds of this level would be i mean tens maybe even hundreds of thousands because they are so pristine they are so colorless they are so refractive they are sheer perfection the only price comparison i could find was for lab created diamond stud earrings at just under £1,300, reduced from £1,959, okay? And that's something which is grown in a laboratory. These that we have for you today are genuine gemstones. The price point you are about to see is unbelievable. £99.99 for two of the finest zircons that money can buy. They are absolutely tremendous. The colourlessness, the quality, the clarity, the, the kind of, yeah, in earrings, I can just imagine how wonderful they're going to look. And you're looking here at over one and a half carats on average of your Tanzanian zircon, five and a half millimetres in size each. They are absolutely gorgeous. Now, we are nowhere near done. I know you're going to want these. I know that we've got plenty of people there with this in their baskets. People already checking out. Caroline's already got two loads of these, which is wonderful to see. Well done. The price you're going to see today is unbelievable. Put it in your baskets. You don't need to check out to really happy with the price point, but honestly, put these in your baskets. I wish I had more of these today. I don't. We've literally only got a few chances available. Add them onto your order as soon as you can. Just literally put them into your baskets. You don't have to check out to really happy with the price point, but my word, we are going to treat you today. We are going to treat you to the kind of price point that honestly, you would, I mean, to be able to get what you're getting today, five and a half millimetre genuine zircons of this calibre, we are at 99.99. We are going low. We are going really low. We are going to give you these today for a fraction of the cost that you would expect to pay for diamonds. 49.99. We've absolutely <coughs> smashed that price point down under 50 pounds for your genuine Tanzanian zircon five and a half mil rounds. They are gorgeous and it is so it, it is one of the oldest objects in the world you will ever hold. Well done to Sandra, well done to Louise, Gabrielle, maker in Northamptonshire, another maker, Sandra, Kath, well done to you. Eileen, you've got three loads in your baskets. It's absolutely, absolutely incredible. Well done. So many people there, lots of multi winners, lots of people with twos, threes, fours in their baskets. Absolutely amazing. It is your early bird special. It is an opportunity it is an opportunity for you to own something seriously special, which has more fire than a diamond. It's got that double refractive quality. And what that means is white light, which is all around us, goes into the zircon. It's then split and then, ref and then refracts back out at you. A diamond only does that once. The light is not split. Here, the light is split. So you get that double refraction. You get even more fire, even more brilliance. And you can see that there, can't you? That colorlessness, it's so beautiful. Guess what? We're not done. Wow. 60 second clock. 
Loads of people, everyone who's bought already at $49.99 or $99.99, it is not your price today. We are going to give you one more price point today for your early bed special. It is absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Add it to your order as soon as you can. There's people from all over the country getting involved today. What an opportunity. It's just gorgeous. And I totally echo what Gemma says about setting this into the kind of design where nothing is going to obstruct this gemstone you've got that gorgeous claw setting idea maybe that bezel setting but just keep it really nice and fine um uh, you've got such an opportunity here with that incredible luster with that incredible clarity with that amazing refractive index you've got here a gemstone that you do not want to cover up at all and if you've never gem set before i would absolutely say you know just 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 get them hold on to them and then when you feel confident enough then set them jennifer well done to you as well more people coming through let's give you 29.99 that is absolutely as low as we can go today unbelievable an amazing opportunity for such a rare gemstone and so much rarer than so many of your diamonds out there well done there's so many loads of people coming back on the phone lines there gabrielle looks like she's going to secure another one eileen's now got four loads of these jane well done to you lynn louise well done to you as well loads of multi bidders this is so good west midlands you've now bought another one well done to you so is cambridgeshire that's absolutely incredible. Well done. At $29.99, the most amazing Tanzanian Zircon, the most incredible quality. And like I say, this isn't lab created. This is not a Kabik Zirconia. Uh, this is a genuine Zircon. And I think people get confused, don't they, mm -hmm. with them? Um, with um, Kibixiconia and Zircon. I think they think that they're both the same things. It's not at all. They are completely different. Kibixiconia is a man-made uh, a man-made gem, a man-made diamond, if you like. Zircon is a genuine gemstone formed at the dawn of time. It's absolutely superb. Stella's now got two. Well done to you, my lovelies. There's more uh, bidders coming through to get this. Well done at £29.99. Julie, well done to you in Leicestershire. Well done. That's absolutely superb, isn't it? What an incredible deal. Now, you've all got your 30-day money-back guarantee. You are all only paying £3.95 P&P uh, per order. It's absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? Now, quantity-wise, how many do we have, Neary? Okay. I can't believe we're doing this. I can't believe we're doing this. Um, right, I thought genuinely, Gemma, and I'm, and I'm really surprised at this, I thought at 49.99, these were all gonna go. I thought at 29.99, that's gotta be the price. Mm. Let's go lower. <laughs> we are at 29.99. <coughs> we are gonna get in so much trouble for this. Gee whiz. Oh, no, don't say that, don't say that. Producer Neary's saying that Wayne Del Paso is going to cry when he knows how low we've gone. Thing is, though, you know, I don't... Oh. Do you think he's going to do his, his angry Rumpelstiltskin dance? <laughs> he may be... He may be he, oh, no, he's going to be so cross. Oh. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. 1999. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. That... That... Is... Obscene. Gabrielle, Karen, Veronica, Nina, Lu uh, Julie, Sharon. Ah, forty-nine ninety-nine was absolute. Look, I'll show you. Look, I'll show you. Here we go. Look at this. There it is. Oh, just up here. Here, 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 here. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Nineteen ninety nine is your price today. Can you imagine making a full eternity band using zircon of this quality and channel setting it? Eileen's got six now. Well done. Uh, six packs of these. So that means uh, she's going to be getting 12 of these incredible zircons. Um, what an incredible deal. Lynn has got two. Gabrielle's got three. Maker. Oh, my word. It's flying out the door. Well done. Go, 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 go. Well done. Under 20 pounds for you today. It really is tremendous. Go, go, go. Well done. Stuart. Oh, check out. Oh, okay. We are going to get... Uh, There's going to be a strongly worded email written about that. Let me just tell you that for nothing. Ah, smack bottom sandwiches, absolutely, Paul. <laughs> Do you want toggle clasps? 
How about 30 of them? Oh, my word. And do you know what? I've never seen. No. Are they really? I've never seen toggle class like this before. Look, here we go. Start price. Just have a, just have a look at the start price. Have a look at the start price. And then we'll go through um, your toggles and you, we, we can see uh, what you're getting here. Okay. There's your start price. $29.99. They're a pound each, okay? We are going to go lower, but let me just show you through these. So just put them in your basket. If you're happy to pay less than a pound each, just put them in your basket. Check out even. Look, gorgeous quality. <gasps> Love these toggly toggles. Mm. Very, very Tiffany-esque. Lovely. Next one I'm going to show you is this one here. Oh, look, this is adorable. Look, it's got a heart on the toggle. Isn't that gorgeous? That'd be nice on a necklace, actually, wouldn't it? Mm. Uh, you've got this design. How many different designs are there? It looks like there's about a million different designs. Two pieces each. Oh, no, 15 designs. Okay, I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll go a bit quicker. These ones, two of those. Two of those. They're nice. Uh, two of these. There we go. Mm. Nice. Two of these. Oh, gosh. Ah. There we go. Two of these. Oh, like that one. Yeah. Uh, two of, oh, I don't think I've shown you that one. Oh, no. Two of those. Okay. Two of, um, oh, this, oh, this one's nice with lovely scroll. Oh, Gemma, look at these. They're so cool. These are lovely. These, Aren't yeah. they beautiful? Yeah, they're so lovely. And what's nice is there's so many different styles. So it doesn't, yes. whether you're making quite, you know, ornate jewellery or quite modern contemporary jewellery, there's going to be something that fits each, you know, sort of style. But they're lovely. Yeah. You've got really modern ones. You've got really dead kind of what I would describe as classic ones. There's a lovely classic one there. I mean, they make lovely earrings, wouldn't they? It's yeah. not necessarily yeah. all toggles. You know, you can use these in different in different ways. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at this one here as well. This is a really lovely one. I like that a lot. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful quality. Okay, so we've got um, uh, 35 seconds and then we're going to be taking the price point down. These are going to be ridiculous. We are going to get, uh, yeah... We're on a bit of a roll this morning. Uh, we all expected the Zircon to go a lot quicker uh, and for $49.99, uh, but we had to take it down to $19.99. So uh, oof, uh, it's going to make everything else in this hour. Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know. It's just bonkers. OK, right, there's loads of you there. Well done. OK, Neri, you've got that decision to make. Go, go, go. Nine seconds, and then the price point is going to go down. This is ridiculous, by the way. There is nowhere in the world that I think you can get... 30 of your silver plated toggle clasps um, <laughs> for 14.99 50p a clasp yeah and they're feature clasps aren't they yes they're not, they're not just your bog standard they're feature clasps that's really great Really 50p a class. Deborah Maker, Eileen, Nancy, Wend, Jan, Jeanette, well done to you, Maker, Janet, Maker, Marilyn, Lorraine, Deborah, well done to you. They are absolutely amazing. You get 15 designs and you get two in each design. They are amazing. Kathy, Wend, Jan, well done to you. There's loads of people there this morning. £14.99, well done. Helen in Dumbartonshire, well done to you, my lovely. Lots and lots and lots of people coming through. These are brilliant, aren't they? And yeah, I mean, there's so many ways in which you can use these clasps, aren't there, Gemma? You know, not just necessarily yeah. as clasps, but, you know, as earrings, as toggles for cufflinks, yeah. as pendants. Yeah, um, They're it. just perfect. Yeah, they are. And, and like, like we were saying before, there's just so many different styles, which is what I really love about them. Yes. Modern, yeah. you know, contemporary avant-garde, designer-inspired, really traditional. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Making earrings with mine, says Jan. You go for it, Jan. Well done, lovely. I love that idea. I think they'll be absolutely brilliant. Make sure you enter the Wall of Fame with those. Well done. Pamela, Amanda, well done. Cheryl, there's loads of you there. Please check out as soon as you can. Right, pearl earrings. Here we go. Now, these are ridiculous. These are so, so, so sweet. Okay, these have been on air once. Quite difficult to find a price comparison for something like this in made-up jewellery, but I did manage to find something. So you've got these gorgeous um, silver... Twisted hoop earrings. Oh, they're nice. And they're 925 sterling silver. Not being funny, but without that loop on there, they make lovely just, just kind of earrings on their own, wouldn't they? Yeah, just a nice, simple sleeper. But of course, with the pearl underneath, gorgeous. I bought these a few weeks ago. I made earrings and they flew off my stall, says Vera. Oh, thank you, Vera. I think she's talking about the toggles. There you go. Now, your pearls here are fully drilled. 
So you get your pearl, you pop it on your head pin, make a loop at the top. Yeah, attach it onto the earring finding and you've made yourself, oh, and you've made yourself a really beautiful pair of pearl earrings. Absolutely gorgeous quality, beautiful. You got your um, uh, your butterfly back on there as well. Forty nine ninety nine, brilliant, amazing, well done. Oh, and do you know what? I found a price comparison. You know, not too dissimilar to this actually. Sixty pounds for this pair of earrings. That, I mean, that's the closest I could find. Sixty pounds for that pair of earrings. Not today. Nineteen ninety nine for our earrings today. Well done, maker Fiona. Well done to you, my lovely. Nineteen ninety nine. Not your price point today. Let's give you. Let's give you some money back in your pocket today. This is a crazy, crazy, crazy deal. Anyone who you gift these earrings to, anyone who you sell these earrings to, they're going to be over the moon because look at that, nine ninety nine. Wow! For those incredible pearls, for the beautiful twisted earrings, for the butterfly backs, they are absolutely gorgeous, and that is all precious metal. Yours today for nine ninety. It's the most un ten pounds pair of earrings ever, I know. isn't it? I know. They're really gorgeous, aren't they? Aren't they? Vera, Maker, Gillian, well done to you, my lovelies. Nine ninety nine, absolutely superb. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Well done to you. Vera's coming through to get some. Well done. Now let's go and see some of your incredible designs on today's Wall of Fame. Let's go there. <laughs> Right, okay, so the Wall of Fame is a chance for you to showcase your incredible designs that you've made using jewellery maker pieces. Take a photograph and then send it to, email it to jewellerymaker, studio at jewellerymaker.com. And every Wednesday, which is tomorrow, we pick a winner and a runner-up who will win £100 or £50 credited to the Jewellery Maker account. Trisha Bell, your number 266. Oh, lovely bracelet there. It's a hawk's eye bracelet that she's made there. I hope you like it. Kind regards, Trisha. Thank you, Definitely. darling. Trisha in Allendale. Uh, six, sorry, 267 is Jill. Good morning. For this week's Wall of Fame, I've chosen a pair of sterling silver and fancy agate earrings that I've made. Um, I love the simple design and the pretty heart chain. Good luck to all. And that's from Jill. They are really sweet. Yeah, I love that heart chain as well. It's so sweet, isn't it? Margaret Gibson, your number of 268. Oh, gorgeous. It's, a, it's on a sterling silver sliding class bracelet. Three freshwater pearls with tiny, beautiful emeralds. Um, very dainty. Best wishes to all. And that's from Margaret. Thank you, my darling. Bronwyn Bacon, your 269. Hello to all at JM. It's a long line necklace that she's made here with tourmaline nuggets, green quartzite rounds and aquamarine. The silver cones are from my stash. Good luck to all in the drawer. That's from Bronwyn. They're really lovely. I like that a lot. Melanie Kears, your number 270. Oh, it's the most amazing Labradorite ever. On a silver sliding bracelet. Um, Labradorite is so magical and my favourite stone. It is gorgeous. I hope you got those cabotons yesterday. Uh, Melanie, well done to you. You're 270. Karen Forbes, 271. Ah, oh, all the trees of lives. Morning all. Hope you're feeling happy and positive. Here's my Wall of Fame entry. Got to say, uh, they were a faff to make. Prefer making bigger ones, but they are cute. Aren't they gorgeous? Best of luck, Karen. I really like those. Very cute. Alison Davies, uh, your 272. Oh, lovely. Gorgeous Labradorite there. Uh, Labradorite cabochon wire wrapped in gold coloured wire. Both uh, components are from Jewelry Maker. Only recently started jewelry making again after a long break, and I feel like I'm back into it with gusto. Good for you, Alison. Can't wait to see more of your entries. Sue Rogers, your 273. Oh, beautiful. Uh, lavender amethyst necklace with a resin pendant. Gosh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Good luck to all. And that's from Sue. Beautiful. Uh, gorgeous. Florence, uh, you're number 274. Hi, I made earrings out of these pendants as they were um, small. Uh, very pleased with them. I've tried to send a text, but they've never go through. So I don't know where I'm going wrong. Oh, sweet up. Well, we, well, we've got your Wall of Fame entry, Florence. They're really lovely. And last but not least, we've got James, 275. Hello. Oh, my God. Goodness me, what is this? This is amazing. Uh, the necklace is gold-plated base metal chain. The pendant is gold-plated base metal uh, blank, decorated with milliput. Ooh. There you are, Gemma. That's Coloured with lovely, gold mica and inset with an abalone. Can I ask whether there are any plans to get any animal head silicon moulds back in stock? I didn't manage to secure them. Oh, that would be, yeah, that would be good to get them back in stock, wouldn't yeah, you, Gemma? Yeah, because they flew out, didn't they? They completely flew, yeah. yeah. I really hope so, lovely. Take care. And that's from James. That's awesome. Thank you so much. 
Great! It's gorgeous. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, please do not go anywhere. Coming up in the next hour, we've got all of the gorgeous kits. A lovely demo, and my word, Gemma has done it again. We'll see you in a sec. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monaco going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Okay, wow. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Gemma. Hello. Surprised we can see each other. No, so am <laughs> I, because we've got um, uh, about six kits to do in this house, so we've got to get, we've got to get cracking. Um, you've made this jewellery over here, though, in about ten minutes? So, yeah, these and these are from this morning, so, yeah, because those kits are absolutely gorgeous, and I didn't get Aren't them they? at home, so, yeah, I had to... Oh, they're beautiful. Pill for them. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? They're gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? Uh, right, okay. Um, so we've got loads and loads and loads of kits. 
The, uh, the main kit we're going to be doing is this one here, which I have to say is an absolutely exquisite kit. Mm -hmm. um, the the jewellery you've made with these kits is so beautiful. And to see what you'd made on our on uh, your Facebook page was just it was just so lovely. I knew you would do something amazing with them, but it looks so beautiful, so high end, just mm. so oh Right. I don't know. It's just so special. I mean, it's hard not to do something beautiful with them because, you know, they're just they're just gorgeous kits. You know, th those carved elements are just exquisite, and you yes. have to showcase them. You don't want to detract from them too much. And then those tassels, the quality tassels of them, are gorgeous, aren't they? They're absolutely beautiful. Yeah, these tassels. Um, uh, you know, what I'm going to start by showing you, just because they are so, they are so good. Look at this. The quality of these tassels. And it, it, it's, it's funny, isn't it, to kind of be going on about tassels, but everything about them, they're so compact, and the, the cord, the thread that's been used on these is mm. just so beautiful and silky, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Um, you've got a little bit of cord um, uh, on the end of your tassels, and you're going to be getting um, two cards of your... Um, of your cord as well here. I, I assume this is a nylon cord. It looks yeah. like it might be a nylon cord, yes. Um, so you've got the red and the black cords absolutely gorgeous um but it is of course the gemstones which are the real focus in these kits when you get jadeite which is carved you are getting something here which really only a few gemstone artisanal carvers uh, can do that there are not many because uh, it's not really a lapidrist it's more of an art form isn't it uh, mm. what we're looking at here yeah. this is kind of almost an ancient art form um, and the kind of quality that you've got passed down through dozens of generations we're giving you a carved lotus flower with a drill hole I just love how you've set this um, it really is just superb and you're going to be showing us kind of how yeah. to kind of work the tassels into the pieces aren't you Gemma? Yeah, yeah. Um, and the carved elephant and you said earlier on this morning how much you loved him he is absolutely beautiful your carved uh, sorry your drill hole is at the top here very difficult to see the drill holes actually it's not really it's not really something that's that we made that we've made a massive um uh, thing about because i think when you've got a beautiful carved elephant like this you don't necessarily want to see the drill hole you want to see uh you want to see the beauty of the elephant mm. it's gorgeous with his trunk um trumpeting away it's absolutely beautiful these must have been so nice to work with, oh Gemma. yeah i was absolutely thrilled to bits when i got these i've never worked with the carved jade I, before so it was so lovely to have you know I, I and i think i'll just keep this as an ornament you know this yes you know because i mean you have you seen how expensive carved jade ornaments are? oh my goodness so me. they really are and if it's you know if it's hundreds real jade and, hundreds of pounds. and this is it i think sometimes if it if you find if you think you found jade elsewhere sometimes you know you can look at the price point and go oh wow gosh that's a really good deal mm. if it looks if it looks too good to be true it's because it probably, it probably. is and it, and, <laughs> and, it, and and it's probably not real uh jade you're going to be getting here or jadeite there is a strand with this kit, and it is a meter long strand of genuine, natural Burmese jadeite. This is exquisite. These are eight millimeter rounds. Mm. What a <laughs> treat. Yeah. I mean, this is a legendary amount of jadeite you're getting here. Fits in beautifully with the quality of the carved pieces as well. They are absolutely stunning. And then of course your red and black tassels and your cord as well. It is a beautifully put together kit. It really is. A beautifully put together kit. It really is. A meter of jade. Now, we bought you meters of jade before, haven't we? Haven't we? I'm pretty sure, and if, and if I can't, let, let me just see if I can remember. We bought you a metre-length strand of jade before. And the price point on the jade, 
was £200. Yeah. That was the price point of the jade, and that's a metre-long strand uh, that's been used in the necklace, and it was £200 for a metre of jade. So, of course, a kit like this, where you've got the jade, the tassels, the cord, and don't forget these extra two jade carvings which a lot of people would say you know that's where the real value is because of course you've got that carved element which is which is um yeah the artistry the artistry which has been handed down through generations in the far east so should they be another kind of hundred pounds on top of that so we're we looking at the very first time we've ever done a kit on jewelry maker for maybe 300 pounds maybe even 400 pounds the deal we're going to offer you today is obscene okay absolutely obscene so when we bought you this exact strand of eight millimeter natural burmese jadeite we bought it to you for 200 pounds you got the carvings and you got the tassels and you've got the gorgeous cord as well <coughs> come on neary The quality you've got here today, easy, 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 easy to be able to get your money back. Let's say 499.99. Now we obviously are gonna be going lower. We obviously are gonna be giving you a better deal. Oh my word, just you wait. Yours, hang on for 299 pounds. So now that means you've got your 200 pound strand of jade. You've then got your carvings for an extra 100 pounds with the cord and with the tassels as well. That is amazing. You know and I know that this on its own, that there, that is easily 100 pounds worth of jade art because it's carved and of course you've got the tassels and of course you've got the cord as well. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's brilliant. Mm. It's not your price. It's not your price. It's not your price. Have a look at these jade carvings. Have a look at these jade carvings. There we go. Beautiful buy symbols there. Twelve hundred dollars. There we go. Yeah, gorgeous, beautiful carved pieces there. Gorgeous. This is at the Tucson Gem Show. Absolutely that, beautiful. Thousands of yeah, and I suppose you could say that it's a bit more detailed, the carving the, and the carrot weight is yeah. far lower. I mean, Absolutely. They're, they're very thin, aren't they? Very, very thin. Because that's normally the kind of the the amount of this material that you're able to work with. Very, very fine amounts, very, very thin amounts. What you are getting here are beautiful big pieces here. You've got the jadeite elephant, which is 50 carats, the lotus flower, which is 17 carats, and the strand, which is 530 carats of genuine natural Burmese jadeite. It's absolutely superb. Now, when we think about marla necklaces, and this is what Gemma's done with this, and this is a perfect opportunity to make a marla necklace. I've actually got a bit of a a bit of blurb about uh, jadeite in a marla necklace. Have a, have, just have a little look at this. I showed this to you the other day, but I think it really does, I think it really does explain it beautifully. Featuring, um, sorry, uh, jade is considered by Chinese to be the most precious gem as it's held five virtues, um, uh, wisdom, <coughs> justice, modesty, courage, and purity, plus five happinesses, is, is, is. wealth, old age, health, natural death, and love of virtue. The stone signifies uh, wisdom gathered in tranquility and aids meditation and stress relief. Um, a symbol of purity and serenity is believed to attract good luck and friendship, protective stone that brings harmony, stabilizes the personality, and integrates the mind and the body, um, releases negative thoughts and soothes the mind. When you think about what a mala necklace is, and if you are going to be using it for things like meditation, you probably got the most significant stone to mm. do this with, you know, in this marla necklace, Absolute, haven't you? Absolutely, yeah. It, it, it all um, works in together really beautifully, doesn't totally. it? Yeah. 299 Not your price. Come on, Nerino. Here we go. Okay. 60 second clock, let's get involved. Go, 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 go. 
This is going to go absolutely nuts. Now, already we've got people with this in their baskets. Already we've got people saying, yep, I want this, yep. Louise, maker in Northamptonshire. Barbara's got two, Caroline in Cambridgeshire. Leah, maker, Paula, Greater London. Absolutely fantastic. Nancy, well on to you. 299.99. I don't even, I mean, not that I think Gemma were, ever would sell this, but I wouldn't even like to hazard a guess how much would you how much you would sell it for because it's got such it's such an important piece of jewellery that you're making here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I wouldn't have, I haven't considered um, how much to sell it for or, or to sell it at all. But, you know, just if you do your research and look at standard malas, you know, a yes. standard mala with a Jasper, for example. Absol which is absolutely beautiful. Maybe, you know, it had 200 pounds, 220 pounds upwards. Yes. So when you're talking jade, I, I mean, you're adding maybe a zero on the end. Today, you are getting this kit for the price that we brought you the strand for. So in essence today, you are getting the carved elephant, the carved lotus flower, the two tassels and the cord absolutely free of charge. You are paying just for the one meter strand of jadeite. And guess what? We are not oh, wow. done. The deal we're going to offer you today is unbelievable. There are so many people that I can tell you really want this kit. <laughs> we bought you this strand for £199 and today you are getting the strand for £199 and you're getting the carved elephant, the carved lotus flower, you're getting the tassels and the cord free of charge. Well, we're about to do something else for you here today. We're about to give you even more money back. And I'm not talking five pounds. I'm not even talking 10 pounds. The deal you're about to get today is a maker. You've got too many baskets, loads of makers coming through. This is so interesting. I know that you want this. It's gorgeous. 149 pounds and 99 pence. You have got three individual split payments of 49.99. You can get this kit home today for 49.99. It's exquisite. It's yours today for 149.99. That is your absolute final price point today. Well done to everyone coming through to get this today. Congratulations. Well done. More makers coming through. This is so good to see. Do make sure you check out your baskets as soon as you can. 149.99 and three individual split payments of 49.99. And it's one of those cases, isn't it, Gemma, where mm. the ingredients are so good, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they are. They're incredible. They, I, I can't believe the price has come down to there. That's, that's an absolutely amazing. Yes. It's you a know, £50 pound saving on the strand, and you get the carvings and the, and the tassels and the cord for free. Yeah. That is amazing. Caroline, well done to you. Florence, well done to you as well. More people coming through. This is great to see. Well done. More in baskets. Can I please urge you to check out? And, of course, you, are, you have got here more than, and, 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 you know, across these two pieces of jewellery, you have got here more than 149 pounds worth of jewelry i wouldn't i mean I, I mean i think you know at the very very lowest for as, as Gemma was saying for a for a for a jasper marlin necklace you know jasper is far more plentiful than your gorgeous burmese jadeite um you know 150 pounds that that would be around about the price point that i would that i would kind of market it at for these kind of pieces here with this beautiful carved elephant you know any piece which features something like that i think you've got to seriously consider adding on another 100 pounds for the piece because the length of time that's taken and that isn't just somebody who's had a go at carving or decided one day that they wake up and want to be a carver this is almost a calling in life which has been passed down from previous generations someone's forefathers has done this over the course of over the course of a lifetime and has been able to um, uh, kind of hand down those skills and hand down that expertise. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and it's yours today for 149.99. Leah, you've got too many basket. If you want them, my lovely, you're going to have to check out. Well done. Literally only a few <coughs> chances remaining. Well done to everyone. 0800 644 Okay, we're going to have to move on because we've got so much more to get through, but huge Congratulations, well done. Mm. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen a kit like this next one. I've never seen a kit which features this combination. Have a look. Oh, well done, another one gone, well done. Linda, check out, Susan, check out. Silver plated copper wire, 10 meters of 0.8 millimeter gauge wire. Gorgeous, okay, there it is. 
You're then going to be getting a tube of jadeite. It's absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's got a nice big drill hole going through it there. Really lovely size. I mean, that in the middle of a, a ring or a wish star bracelet. Mm -hmm. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Really lovely. Reminds me very much of Tibetan, uh, a Tibetan prayer wheel. I love, I love the thought of making it into a piece of jewelry where you can kind of spin Roll it almost. Spin it, yeah. Yeah. You've then got another gemstone. And this other gemstone strand you're going to be getting here is tremendous. <laughs> it's the very first time I've ever seen these two gems together. Never seen them in a kit before. Grandidiorite. A strand of Grandidiorite with this kit. That is such a good combination, isn't it, Gemma? It is. I mean, I think we've talked about that before when we've had Grand Didiera on the rare occasion we have had it on yes. the show. We've said, how lovely would this be with Jade? And, and here it is proving that point really well. You know, it's gorgeous. I think they work together so beautifully because I think what the Jadeite does is it, is it intensifies those gorgeous teal colours from the Grand Didierite. And I think in turn, excuse me, the Grand Didierite makes the... Jade, I look more gemmy, mm. I think. I, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Love the, the uh, sorry, not bracelet, necklace that you've made here, Gemma. I love those beautiful figure of eight swirls. It's, mm. that is such an unusual combination, but it, it works. It, it just completely makes sense. I mm. love it with the silver wire as well. Yeah, yeah, it, it works. The silver tones really look lovely, I think, with the jadeite. Mm. So it keeps that um, coolness. It does, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. Look at these beautiful little earrings. Aren't they stunning? Oh, they're gorgeous. Right, okay. Price point wise, this is crazy. Okay, let's have a look at the start price here. And it's a great, it's a great, great, great start price, okay? $149.99. Can you imagine a Grandidiorite and Jadeite necklace selling for that price point? Don't forget, if you've never heard of Grandidiorite, in certain qualities, I wouldn't necessarily say this quality. I'd be I'd be lying if I if I was to say this quality of Grandidiorite is that. Twenty thousand dollar a carat material because because it's because it's not but it's still grandidiorite. Let's halve the price. Enjoy, seventy four <laughs> ninety nine. Today, not your price. Today, oh. <laughs> we're going to do something crazy, which I wouldn't even expect to get. I mean, this, the grandidiorite. What's the lowest price point you've ever seen for grandidiorite? Is it kind of eighty ninety pounds? Maybe maybe slightly lower. Okay, we are going to shock you. I think, uh, yes, Neary's going for a shocking price point this morning. Here we go. People interested, this is good to see. Well done. What do you reckon? For the whole kit today, $49.99. Two split payments of $24.99. Hmm. I don't think you should have done that. Tom. Nope, neither do I. <laughs> for two of the world's rarest genuine gemstones, $49.99, two individual split payments of $24.99. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I know we've got makers from all over the country getting involved today. Tracy, maker in Airstream. We've got Stephen and Lanark here. Well done to you. It's absolutely phenomenal. Alison, Tracy. Oh, there we go. Well done, everyone, at $49.99. Gorgeous deal for you today. Well done. Wanda's coming through. Well done. Check out your baskets. It's just so beautiful how they work together, how those colours work together and how those qualities work together. Well done at £49.99. and pence. Well done, Janet. Well done to you. Air shears now through. That's great to see. Well done. <coughs> Gorgeous. Well done. What, a, what an incredible treat. Well done to you. Merseyside now through. Just awesome. Go, 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 go. Well done. Don't forget your 30 day money back guarantee as well. A superb opportunity. And what a lovely opportunity to work with two uh, gemstones which are so, which are just so well matched, Gemma. Yeah, I mean, they, they do look beautiful together, don't they? They're yes. Sort of richer, darker, um, jade greens in the Grand Didierite just yes. complement it so well. Yeah, they really do, don't they? Well done. Amazing deal today. Well done at £49.99. and pence. Well done. Okay, we've got, oh gosh, more kits. Okay, which one are we going to do? Yes, with the, ah, with the symbol. Right, okay. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous kit, this one. Yeah, this is lovely. I see this as one that you can wear together or have as interchangeable. You nice. Know, so you can sort of interchange the donut and the and the charm, or you can have them both on together. That's so. a lovely idea. Mm. That's a really nice idea because yeah, you've got you've got a beautiful um, 
um, uh, a gorgeous charm to go with this, and you've got a donut. I'm just looking at this kit. Is this with um, sterling? Oh gosh, it's a sterling. Have you seen the? Pro oh my word! It's a sterling silver round cylindrical box chain. Gorgeous. You've then got a stunning jadeite uh, donut. This is a beautiful piece, absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got something called um, a Chinese um, foo symbol. Now I've got a little, a little bit, well, just a slide, just kind of telling you what this symbol is. Um, oh. And it's this symbol here. It's in sterling silver. Let me just get some tweezers. Here it is. And the foo symbol is all to do, it's a really lovely symbol actually, it's all to do with luck, good fortune, and quite often people will have it on the outside of their um, houses, mm. outside of their businesses. It's meant to be a really prosperous, uh, a really, really prosperous uh, symbol to have. It's a beautiful character, isn't it, Gemma? It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really nicely made as well. It's got a lovely slight dome to it, so it's got a bit of profile. Um, and it, it, it is just lovely, really substantial piece on its own. Yes, it is, isn't it? And yeah. of course, because you've got that 925 sterling silver quality, you've got that incredible shine as well. I love how you've set this. Yeah, so I, I wanted to be able to change it. As, yes. You know, so it's I've really just nice. put the charm on the chain and then threaded the donut on, and you can take that back off. That's so, so you cool. can wear them together or separately, or, you know, it's really up to you. I suppose with the, with the, with the buy symbol, you've got the symbol of uh, kind of the connection between heaven and earth, haven't you? Mm. And that kind of circle, that kind of cyclical um, uh, kind of shape. And then you've got the beautiful um, uh, good fortune as well. It's just, it's got so many wonderful connotations. And whether you want to use them together like Gemma has, and I really love that, or whether you want to, or whether you want to um, kind of uh, use them separately, you go for it. The chain, by the way, is 24 inches in length. So don't think that by, by, by putting the donut on there with the charm that it's going to become a really short kind no, of no. choker style necklace. Um, it's actually going to keep nice yeah. and long. Um, and, and, be, and be more than long enough to be able to wear as a, as a kind of a regular length kind of 20 inch necklace. Have a little look at this. So yeah, this is a bit of information on the foo symbol. Um, a good fortune, people across China uh, have the tradition to, uh, to paste this character on their doors or windows during the spring festival to greet the Chinese Lunar New Year, which falls on February the 5th this year. Uh, they believe uh, doing this will bring good fortune. I just love it. I, it's a really beautiful character. There's a lot of symbology behind it and it really makes sense that it's with uh, your gorgeous buy symbol as well. Mm. Right, price point on this kit is crazy. There's a lot in this. There's a lot in all of these kits today. There's lots of stuff to talk about, lots of symbology, lots of really beautifully made components, you know, expertly uh, designed and, you know, created out of your precious metals and, of course, your gorgeous precious jade. 99.99, not your price. Nowhere near your price point today. We're going to go way, 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 way lower. A really big price crash. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. All the way down. Enjoy. $49.99. Stunning. I'd be very happy with that. So would I. Mm. Because the buy, the, the, um, buy symbol, the, the donut you're getting here, I mean, that's surely on its own is worthy of that kind of price yeah. point already. It's a huge piece of jade that you're going to be getting there. 35 Huge carats. piece. 35 yeah, carats. 35 carats of white and green jadeite. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a really big piece. It's not a sliver. It's not really bad quality. It's type A. It's not, you know, it's not dyed. It's not filled. It's not polymer filled or acid treated. Heavens. Um, but yes, you've got your 925 um, um, sterling silver uh, foo symbol uh, charm. Which, of course, as Gemma quite rightly says, you know, can be used with the gorgeous owner. I just love that bit of design work. It's just so simple, but just works so well. Price point today. Here we go. You're going to love this, by the way. All the way down. Let's just do it. Yours for £34.99 for the whole kit. Go add it onto your order. Well done. Isn't it just? I mean, that's so good. And it's up to you whether you use this as a stash building exercise for your gorgeous chains, because we, because mm. actually we don't do very many 24 inch no. chains, do we? No, we don't. No. Really nice to see one, especially in a kit. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done at 34.99. Hampshire's got two. Barbara, Tracy, Jane, Sarah, Carola, Tracy, Maker. Well done. Lots of people coming through. That's great. Well done, Valerie, Elizabeth. Well done to you. More people checking their baskets. That's great to see, isn't it? 
Yeah, well done, everybody. It's so nice to be able to bring you all these gorgeous kits today. We've got another, oh my gosh. Um, we've got another one, two, three kits to do. Oh my word. I know it's crazy, isn't it? We've got two kits with, um, sorry, we've got a kit with Howlite, kit with Magnesite and Hamza symbols, and we've got a black jadeite kit as well. Uh, well done to you, Elizabeth and Renfrewshire. Well done to you. £34.99, and pence. your price today for this incredible kit. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 655. Well done. Now, <coughs> Gemma, um, okay. what are you going to show us? Oh, yes. How to Ooh. attach the... Yes. Do you want that? Um, no, it's fine. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I, I was going to show you how to attach the tassel and the um, and then start the knotting process for the for the mala. Yes. Um, with the lotus. Okay. Because um, obviously you've got you know there's so many um, ways you can use these tassels, but in this design I wanted to incorporate it in without having these sort of loose ends so i just thought i'd show you how i problem solved that and got that through and also the drill holes are so very lovely and discreet that you um you know you, you might have to puzzle it out so i thought I'd, I'd take you through that process okay so the first thing i'm going to do is remove this um i want to remove uh, this piece of cord here oh, that's, okay that's holding the tassel together now we're not going to remove it uh, fully until we've got a new piece in place oh, um, but it, it undoes it easily and of course you can use the thread for something else if you take your time to unpick it yeah. um, and then what we're going to do is use the cord the nylon cord that comes in the kit to um, replace that okay so I've taken the whole length of the cord off of the card um, because you know we're going to not so we're going to use a lot of the cord up Mm. And then I'm going to find the centre. So this is roughly the centre. And this is what I'm going to replace now through the tassel um, to make sure that it sits centrally on the cord. So to do this, I'm just going to take a little bit of 0.4 wire and make myself a needle, OK? So I'm just bending that wire, that wire through just to help me get, a, you know, get, get this through. And I'm bending it over again here just so that there's no sharp edges catching as we go through. So I'm just going to now thread um, that through. So it's just, just like, should be nice and easy with that cord, with the wire yes. through. So thread that through before you remove the old threads. Mm -hmm. Okay, just so we don't lose any, any tension there. And then we can remove our makeshift needle and pull that again, like I said, right through to the center. Uh -huh. And what we're going to do now is we're going to tie a knot that sits above the, the a tassel top there. So I've got a T-pin here. Um, and I'll show you how I create, create my knots. And I'm just going to shift this board over slightly so I can use my macrame board. And the macrame board is just going to hold my needle. So what I'm going to do is just post my needle through my T-pin through my oh. macrame board. And then I've got a pin sticking up Brilliant. Okay. to use. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and I'm just going to make a knot to start off with. So literally just an overhand knot with both threads together. Pass the tails up through that loop. Okay. And then to get the knot to sit where we want it, I'm going to pop it over the needle yeah. and pull this in into place so that knot sits right on top, as close to the top of the tassel as possible okay so we know we've now secured our tassel again okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my my little um, carved jadeite here and I'm just gonna see you know sort of how much space I need to leave we want that to sit flat behind behind the charm or behind the carving so I know I need another knot just sort of about an inch just under an inch from the first knot I created. Okay, so I'm going to do another knot here and just use my pin again to help me position where I want that to be. Okay, so I know I want my knot about here. So pull that in, just there. Okay, and then that's, so that's all ready. And then I'm going to take one of my threads, so one of my cords, and pass it through 
that tiny little drill hole at the top of the pendant. Now, if you've got a thread zapper or a lighter, you can singe these ends and make them much easier to pass up through, ah, brilliant through okay. your um, beads. But, you know, the drill holes are generous in the beads, so you shouldn't have... Oh, I've got myself in a tangle here. Mm. Shouldn't have too much trouble. Oh, how's that happened? <laughs> oh, Gemma. And this is... You have to work with long... Oh! That's it, you don't that really was, want That to. was like magic. I don't think I could have done that if I tried. <laughs> <laughs> it just released itself from the... You almost don't want to kind of have... You don't want to have to add on, really, do oh, you? you? No, it's... You know, it won't be secure if you try and add mm. um, threads in. I don't know what happened there. Well, you've got yourself sorted. Yes, it's done that. There we go. Right, let's try this again then. So we're going to go through the through the, the drill hole in the... in the jadeite. And then we can let that sit there. Okay, so that's now going to sit just on top like that. And then we're going to tie another knot above that. Okay, so we know nothing's going to shift out of place. Uh, we're going to do the same sort of knot. So we're going to make that loop, make that loop like that. Tails up through the loop. Try not to get tangled this time. Okay. And then I'm going to pop that on my needle again so I can make sure I get that knot really nice and close and tight up to my little carving. Okay, so the next thing then is just the knotting. Now I know you've probably seen lots of those, so I'll just show you how to start off and then you okay. repeat and repeat until you've got um, the, the, you know, the amount of gemstones onto your um, necklace as you want. So if you're doing a mala, obviously you need to count them and um, get the right number in place and have your marker beads. But um, for me, this is just a knotted just a knotted um, necklace. So thread on. Look at that, lovely oh. big drill holes on those. Yeah, nuts. they are. And considering I haven't sealed the edge of that thread, you yes. know, that's, that goes on um, fairly well. It is easier if you seal it, but. Yes, of course. Okay, so you pop on your, your gemstone. And then to do a knot, to get it to sit nice and close, I'm gonna just loop the thread. So make that loop. Uh-huh take the tail of that up through the loop, so it's coming un over and up through. Yeah. Pop that over my needle. And then I'm, I'm going to sort of position it as close as I can, so get my needle sitting up to the bead. Okay, hold that in place, pull the thread, and then you can give that a good pull to get it as close to the bead as possible. Mm -hmm. Before I remove it from the needle, I put on my next bead. Okay, so I'm going to take a, another, another um, jadeite, mm -hmm. mm. and it is fraying a little bit, pop that down, and then I'm going to push, so I'm using my thumb and forefinger to push against the needle yeah. while I lift that off, and Come then on. that knot will stay nicely um, in between the beads, and you get it nice and tight. Nice. You just repeat that over and over until, you, until you've got as much as you like. So nice to see how to add those onto, how those into your um, uh, malas. Because of course, with your lota flower meaning balance and everything, it's just a wonderful. It, it, it's a great symbol to kind of draw that yes, necklace yeah. together, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. I was thinking this with the uh, elephant as well. It's a symbol of luck, isn't it? Yes. Luck and family and prosperity. So they yes. they work so beautifully together. Oh. So oh, lovely. thank you so much for showing us that, Gemma. That's going to be really helpful for so many people. I think. Thank you. Oh, um, we've got uh, three more kits to do now. Uh, which one? <sighs> so I'm looking at this with the black jadeite one. Yeah, can we? Because it's such a it's such a gorgeous kit. This one. Were you given? Yes, you were given this one, weren't yes, you? Yes, I've got. I've got that. Oh one. yes. Oh my word. Right. Okay. Right. So this kit is uh, a really, really lovely kit. Again, so nice to see. Mm. You've got here three of these beautiful leather cord necklaces you've got your um you've got your uh lobster claw clasps there with your end caps as well which are um uh, really really lovely nice to be able to use these great for men great for uh, women 
They're just, they're just gorgeous. I mean, they're quite rigid when you first get them, but the more you wear them, the softer and the more kind of malleable and supple mm -hmm. uh, they will become like any um, kind of leather product. It's absolutely uh, gorgeous, nice and nice, and, you know, not too thick, not too fine. It's got a lovely kind of balance, hasn't it? You've then got um, these beautiful daisy chain uh, uh, um, uh, charms. These are bare copper. I love the fact these are bare copper. Mm -hmm. These are daisy blanks. Um, the benefit of these being bare copper is that if you wanted to do anything to them, Gemma, you absolutely yeah. could do, couldn't you? Yeah, you can. You could. You can um, patina them, flame paint them. You yes. can even put some extra texture in if you want to. You can, you know, rivet them onto other pieces of metal, silver, or or. Oh, or that's copper. that's perfect. Yeah. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I haven't seen bare copper um, um, uh, little components like this. Yeah. They're really lovely. You've then got um, another one of the beautiful. Um, buy symbols here gorgeous donut in your jadeite there my first instinct is to go ah i want to mm. put one of these in the middle yeah right there i mean because that's just i mean that's so sweet isn't it yeah that's lovely isn't it it's just gorgeous but then you've got another strand here and the strand is natural black burmese jadeites these are eight mil rounds in total these are seriously seriously shiny and glorious let me just put the here we go i'm just going to put this here there we go Gorgeous. Okay. And you've got this incredible strand. The sound and resonance of black jade art. There's nothing else like it in the world. You know, I don't know what I, it is. I did not know that was black jade art because it's so intense. Yes. Um, and black jade art I've seen before has got a green hue and yes. it's quite a speckledy finish and certainly Absolute not this candy, glossy. Yes. So this, you know, it didn't occur to me that this might be black jadeite. It's, it, 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 I think you're absolutely right. Yes, yeah, some, some black jadeite can appear to be quite speckly. It's kind of more of a leopard skin. I think that's actually mm. a variety of jadeite, actually. Um, but yeah, the resonance of a black jadeite, you can really tell that you've got it because it's got quite a high um, clinking noise. It, it, it just, it, it, so, it sounds like a really weird thing to say, but black jadeite has just got that incredible quality to it. Now, this is arguably even rarer than your than your uh, green jade out and the reason for that is because of course uh, this is the outer skin of those boulders that you get uh, with your jadeite inside and this is you know this black layer is the outer skin so you know you're looking at a very very you know fine layer these are nice big pieces eight mil rounds 49.99 for this kit <laughs> surely the strand should be more than that shouldn't it um Oh gosh! You can't okay. Do that, Tom. Oh, Tom, what's he doing? Okay. Uh, oh gosh. Okay, he's going to match. No, don't do it. Okay. Okay. Neri's going to do something, and we shouldn't be doing this. And Gemma and I are dead against this. But you know what? It, it, but it's going to be so good that so many people can get this kit. <coughs> okay. Black jadeite strands, three leather necklaces. You've got your daisy blanks. Looks like you get 10 of them. And you've got your jadeite donut. Here we go. Loads of you there. Enjoy. Here we go. Oh, my word. Don't do this. Ah, here. 34 pounds and 99 pence. I'd pay that for one bead of black jadeite. That's ridiculous. Corolla, Maker, Virginia, Tracy, Barbara, Karen, Janice, Maker, Angela, Susan. This has gone absolutely nuts. That necklace that you've made there, Gemma, if you, mm. I, I hope you won't mind me saying, it is, that, that is a really lovely but very, very simple piece, isn't it? Extremely. It literally takes one minute to make. You know, it, it's so simple, but my son has already asked if he can have that. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he loved it. He just thought it was really lovely. He That's doesn't so even nice. know what jade eye is, really, but he was drawn to it. So There's, there's something about the leather cord... Mixed with the jade, like those two really lovely kind of uh, materials working together. The simplicity of that design. I mean, that's how you see people wear buy symbols, isn't it? Not to mention which you're getting over a hundred carats. Is it 150 carats? I didn't. I didn't actually see. 145 carats of your black. Berm, natural black Burmese jade. It's not filled. It's not. It's not. It's not polymer filled. A lot of um, uh, black jade that you will see in the marketplace is is um, is um, uh, polymer filled. This is all completely natural. And just the sound of it. I know it sounds like a really weird thing to say, but just listen. It's got that quite high kind of frequencies. It sounds like it did, yeah. I realise how weird that sounds. Uh, but it, but it's got a lovely weight to it as well. It's just mm. gorgeous. Fiona, Kevin, Shirley, Karen, Linda, Stephen, Janice, Claire, Maker, Tracy, and Susan. You've all got this in your baskets. Many of you with multiples in there. Please check out as soon as you can. Thirty-four ninety-nine. It's a brilliant, 
brilliant kit. Jackie, well done to you. Jackie's got two there. Well done to you. Pauline, well done to you. You've got two. Christina, that is so much for your money, isn't it? That is so much for your money. These two incredible items. You've got your three necklaces and you've got your gorgeous um, and you've got your gorgeous um, uh, uh, daisy charms in, in bare copper as well. And actually what's so nice is you could save those bare copper pieces and yeah. make, make them into gorgeous kind of rings just on yeah. their own, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, they'd look lovely as rings, wouldn't yes. they? Yes, yeah. or little stud earrings maybe. Yeah. yeah. They'd be beautiful, wouldn't they? Kevin, Jackie, Stephen, well done to you. Loads in baskets, please check out. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 655. Go, go, go. Don't forget your 30 day money back guarantee, but that is honestly amazing. I like the way that the Jada is just like on the corner of the screen. Yeah. Like, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> like it's a bit of an afterthought. <laughs> and, and, the main, and the main event is the leather necklaces. I mean, the, the leather necklaces are lovely, but really, is this one of your photographs, Michael? The camera broke. The camera broke. Yeah. Oh. oh, Michael, he did say like, he did say yes, that his camera broke. Sorry, Michael, if I'd have known it was on your photos, I wouldn't have said anything. Uh, well done, everyone. Karen's coming through. <laughs> I'm good to see uh, Michael starting to blush behind cameras there. <laughs> Corolla's now got two. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. And that, I have to say, that, that suite of jewellery there, that's not, a, that's not what I would describe as a jadeite suite of jewellery because it's quite modern and spiky and mm. gothic. Yeah. Which well, for Jadeite, I would never have, but I suppose you didn't know it was Jadeite, did you? I didn't know it was Jadeite. No, I wouldn't, <laughs> I didn't, I wouldn't have uh, guessed that in a million years. So yeah, no, I didn't know, but it, it works really well. You can, you know, it just shows you can use it in those sort of designs. And, and in one-off pieces, you know, just kind simple. of in, in isolation. Would you have, and, and here's a question for you, Gemma, would you have created a different piece of jewellery if you'd have known that was black Jadeite? Yeah, I think so. Would I, you? Yeah, I think I probably wouldn't have put all of that in one piece. I would probably yes, have done yes. more individual pieces or... Something a bit more zen. Highlighted a, a single <laughs> piece. Yeah. I think you've done an amazing job. It's great. Great to see. It, it reminds me of the uh, throne out of Game of Thrones, actually, mm. with all the kind of swords and things. Yes. And, uh, I wish I'd never seen that series because I, I desperately want to watch it again and have no memory of it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. These two kits are... I love these. Uh, these two kits are a... Uh, they're a bargain. Yeah. Okay, they are a bargain. There's no other word for it. Um, they are, I, I love, I love, I love Howlite. I, it's one of my favorite gemstones. Look at this. Look at the size of the drill hole here. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like marble. Mm. I mean, that is, that is a stunning collection of donuts. You've got, um, yeah, you've got uh, two, uh, so they're 20, uh, 20 to 30 mil. These two are 20, this one's 30. Okay, you've then got a bit of a, a, bit of a mishmash of lots of other things. White salon seed beads. These are like hen's teeth. We never have these. These effectively are the seed bead equivalent of a white pearl. And um, uh, we've had people buy them by literally by the by the bucket load over the years to sew onto wedding dresses, to sew onto uh, wedding bags, shoes, um, onto veils. They're beautiful, and it kind of obviously you get thousands in here for less than the price um, of of your seed pearls, significantly less. So you've got your salon, um, your white salon seed beads here, which are all eleven O's. You've then got these. I love these. Mm, I love this colour. Is it persimmon? This colour. Um, it's described as silver lined orange, but yes, it's like a papadasha kind of colour, yeah. isn't it? My, my favourite colour is the persimmon that we had, and it's very similar to that. I love, love it, that colour. It's like a juicy orange, but with pinks in, and you can see that there are purples and bronzes in mm. here as well. These are big. These are seldom seen. They're six O's. Mm. Very, very large beads. I think it goes amazingly with this, by the way. Mm. This gorgeous teal leather cord. I'm glad that the gems have got such significant drill holes because I have to say they that is a thick that is a thick leather cord you've got there. Mm. Um, really, really beautiful. You've got three uh, three mil in size, so it's probably the thickest one that we do actually. And you get two meters in total, which is such a generous amount. Mm. Um, and then you get um, yeah, I know there's more. Then you get these gorgeous charms. Now these charms have been so beautifully chosen 
you've got here two of your, uh, these are all plated base metal, by the way, two of your gorgeous uh, floral charms. Oh, actually, that almost looks like a lotus flower, doesn't it? Mm. You've got your beautiful feather charms, two of those. Aren't they lovely? They are lovely. And then you've got your beautiful kind of uh, star and a heart um, uh, design charm as well. So you've got six charms, three donuts, a tube of six O's, a tube of 11 O's, and two meters of leather cord. Isn't it? I have no idea how we can do this price. Absolutely no idea. But here we go. Look at what she's made. £24.99. That's amazing. That is amazing, isn't it? That is a, that is a great deal, yeah. That's incredible. Lincolnshire, Wrexham, Bucks, uh, Greater London. Another one in London, Manchester. That is absolutely gorgeous. Big, big leather cord. Isn't that leather cord love, gorgeous? It must have been wonderful to work with. I love the leather cord. And it's really soft. Do you know how some leather cord's quite stiff at first? Yes, yes. So we had some... Gosh, a, it is a, soft, isn't it? A few weeks ago, a four mil or a five mil. Oh, it was really quite stiff. You have to condition it. But this is soft, manageable yes. already. It's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Samantha, well done to you. Pauline, well done to you. Oh. Oh, no, that's not your price. <laughs> I know. It's an absolutely incredible deal. Can you imagine a stall, a craft stall, with um, uh, with I don't know a load of a load of donuts on there, as in gemstone donuts, not a load of kind of jam donuts. But can you imagine this larger donut being yours for I don't know a tenner, and then these two smaller donuts being a fiver each, yeah, and then maybe so that's what twenty pounds. Then you've got oh, hang on a minute, oh, yeah, the price for the whole kit today. 19 pounds, 99 pence for everything. I think that is absolutely superb. And it's just going to take people on in completely mm. different directions. Had you been sent these kits, mm. would you have used the seed beads as well? Yeah, I would have stitched them around the edge of the donut to make it like a frame because that, that would look really Wow. Nice. Yeah, I would, have, I would have done that, I think. Or even do a little thin piece of peyote and do like a little bale to go through it or something. Yeah. That would have been maybe a nice thing to do. I mean, there, yeah. is so, there are so many options here. Mm. Also, I'll tell you what you could have done. You could have made little kind of almost carrier beads to go around the circumference of the, yeah. of the leather cord. I mean, that would be really fine seed beading work. But, um, but yeah, there is definitely a place for all of these elements together, aren't there? Oh, yeah, definitely. They work really well. And like the seed beads and the feathers, I can imagine very summer pieces you know lots, oh. of, lots of lengths of tassels and you know gorgeous just, they, all the colors work really well together for summer I think they do don't they the oranges and the and the blues and the golds and yeah. those beautiful pristine whites look gorgeous together well done gorgeous 19 pounds 99 pence we've got one final kit goodness me this has been like the the hour of kits mm -hmm. the kit well I know it is a kit hour but it's like literally six kits and a demo you betcha Right, this kit's another, an ab is, is another absolute whopper. Gemma, I bet as soon as you saw kit. these two lots of chain, you were literally doing a little dance. I, yeah, the chain obviously is going to draw me in straight away. I can't remember the but last so. time we did reels of chain like this. No. It's been ages, hasn't it? We haven't, and this chain is probably my favourite because Go on. it's so fine, it makes the most beautiful tassels. Yes. It's gorgeous. And it drapes so beautifully because it's quite weighty, even though it's so fine, it's a nice... It's got a lovely weight to it, so it drapes perfectly. Yeah, that swag is really nice, isn't yeah. it? Silver plated base metal um, uh, chain on a reel, five meters of that, and then you get your um, you get your gold plated. There we go, gold plated base metal uh, chain, five meters of that. That is so lovely. So nice that you've got five meters on a spool. It's really, really lovely. Okay, and. Um, you then get six O's again in silver lined crystal, which are incredible. You then and I think you can thread your chain straight through those uh, beads because the oh, is bigger. Oh, wow. So you, yes. So you could. Absolutely. You then get your bronze leather cord, which is really, really lovely. You then get your Cabixiconia um, connectors. These are gorgeous. Aren't they lovely? Love these. Look how they slide. Have you, can you, have you seen how they slide? No. So I've put them on this piece here, this necklace. Yes. And I've done it, you know, so you've got two tassel lengths. But Ooh. 
it's got a bit of traction, so you can slide that and it stays <gasps> up and down. Oh, that's really nice, Gemma. Love it. Love that's it. so lovely. And you put the hands, uh, um, um, hands at the bottom of that yeah. in the silver-plated base metal. That is an ingenious way of using that, um, using that connector. That's incredible. And you've got the same in gold-plated base metal. And then, of course, you've got this incredible dyed howlite. Uh, sorry, I, I beg your pardon. Dyed magnesite donut. Look at that. I, I love 20 quid for the whole lot. I love this kit. It's love gorgeous, it. isn't it? it? It's got such, it's got, I think one of the things I love about it, Gemma, and perhaps it's the same reason why you love it, is because it's, it, it's mixed media. Yeah, it's got, so, it's got all those lovely colours, got a bit of, you know, leather, chain, gemstones, yes. um, beads, it's just, so nice, isn't those, it? Those um, um, charms and components are absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen these um, Cabixiconia um, uh, uh, connectors used like this no. before. That's a really clever way of using I them. I love those. Yeah, they're so beautiful. I've, I've seen them. We've had them before, but I've never seen them uh, utilised like that before. Mm -hmm. In the middle of a sliding class bracelet, I mean, that was a really classic kind of yeah. um, contemporary piece of jewellery. But as you've used them as a gorgeous slider, just with chain, I mean, you get five metres of the chain, you yeah. may as well use it uh, with the hands of the hands on the bottom. Absolutely gorgeous. And Gemma, you made that jewellery in what? Oh, goodness me. Um, half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. It's just yeah, been so incredible. Just had it, had it at the Look start at of the show and just yeah just that looks so nice put them together they're simple makes they're quick simple makes aren't they yes they really are and so nice that you haven't been afraid of putting cabixiconia which is quite kind of bright and sparkly with something like leather so yeah. nice to see those those yeah. kind of different kind of influences elements. come together isn't it those different elements yes come together it just works it works really well you know it, that that combination is lovely. I love it. That would be one of your pieces of jewellery in your in in your um, creative confidence book, wouldn't it? Kind yeah. of utilising lots of different things and yeah. putting them together and seeing what happens. Yeah, definitely. Is that that juxtaposition of yes. materials? You've got all sorts going on in there. The lovely negative space from the donut. Yes. There's so many elements. In, oh. in, the, in these pieces yeah gorgeous Joyce Barbara and Sue Helen Maker there's loads of people coming through 19 pounds and 99 pence yeah I mean they're, they're just they're just absolutely beautiful kits and it's so nice as well to be able to bring you that gorgeous jadeite kit at the um at, at the beginning of the hour which was you know absolutely sensational and then to be able to bring you kits which have got a really lovely feel to them for 20 pounds see that's just a, such a simple but such a pretty necklace yeah um, I really want us to start doing the hands of sign the other way up as well because on the way, the way down, I believe it means um, it's like a protective um, element. If you mm. wear it the other way up, it's meant to protect you against your own kind of negative thoughts and things like that. Yeah. It's quite an interesting symbol, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually haven't looked at the inverted meaning of, of it, but yeah, yeah, I should imagine it does have a different, different yes, meaning. Yes, a slightly different connotation. Yeah. It, it's gorgeous, but lovely, lovely kits. And just it just shows you what you can do with with literally half an hour and of course a bit of a bit of creativity and just just going for it. Well done. In baskets, Barbara, Ali, Shirley, Avril, Maker, Maker, Maker in Cheshire. There's loads of people there. Carol, Lorraine, Marion. This might be a really nice Easter project for you. This might be something just to kind of challenge yourself with. And, and if you do feel, uh, as, as many of us do, um, uh, you know, from time to time, you feel like maybe you've lost your mojo. I can't imagine a better kit to kind of kickstart your mojo because you've got yeah. so many different elements in here which are going to hopefully inspire you. Mm. Um, Gorgeous. Unusual elements. I love having a new, unusual element to work with, to mm. try out, to experiment with, because, you know, especially if you, if you haven't seen it used before, you can have a complete, you know, sort of clean yes. inspiration. With yes, it. a blank lovely. canvas. What yeah. about, and those connectors, for instance, the way that you yeah. use those as little sliders. I've never seen that done before. Gosh, that looks so expensive, though, doesn't it? It looks so mm. beautiful. Gorgeous. Hi, Carol and Gemma. How have you finished the magnesite? Sorry, how have you finished the magnesite leather necklace? Ah, have you just done a... So, um, this one, I haven't... Because I've literally tied that one together just yes. for time. But yeah. this one, I've just made some um, gizmo coils. Yeah. And then you fold the end up. Oh, gosh, you've made your own... And then pinch them in. So, they're really, really simple to so make. So good. You just, you know, that, that end there is folded up, um, just folded back one of the coils. And then you just pinch it in. You can glue it if you want to for double security. But, but yeah, they're really simple to make, the cord endings. 
Really nice way to finish that off. And that looks so professional, doesn't it? Yeah. And I suppose as well, if you've got, because this cord's a little bit thicker and some of the end caps that we do won't, won't be quite big enough. So if mm. making your own. And what gauge wire is that, Gemma? So I've used the one millimetre gauge and I've used the second step on my bail makers, which is a, like the three millimetre yes. sort of, um, bail making. Looks lovely. You wouldn't know. That looks like it's been manufactured, doesn't it, that, that, that end cap? Very neat. Very neat work indeed. Uh, well done to Margaret as well. Lots and lots still in baskets. Please do um, uh, check out as quickly as you can. Well done. Oh, a little question, mm -hmm. and maybe you could talk us through this, Gemma, about the connectors on the earrings and on the necklace for the Grand Didierite kit. Okay, so, yeah, so these, um, these are two figure of eight, separate figure of eight pieces. Mm. So you make two figure of eights with wire, and then you... Um, put up turn them so you put the small end to the big end of one and the big end to the small end of the nice. other. Nice. Connect them together like that. And again, clever. you just use that, do those with your bail makers if you've got, got those two different size mandrels. So that's how you've got that symmetry because that would be my main thing of, oh, goodness me, I'm not going to be able to kind of marry it up and make it yeah. look kind no. of, you know, matchy matchy. But that really yeah. works, doesn't it? Mm. That's gorgeous. This Thank size, you, you Gemma. Make those in big sizes or small sizes. Um, this this final kit, we've got two chances left, so it's going to sell out. But huge congratulations to everyone. Thank you so much, Gemma. We're going to oh, be uh, back with Gemma, obviously, at um, at uh, oh. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, at, at some o'clock. Uh, <laughs> to, uh, uh, we're, we're definitely going to be seeing the masterclass, obviously, in the 12 o'clock hour, which, of course, is on this exquisite oh. necklace. I mean, ah. Oh. It's like the ultimate piece. It's one of those pieces. I just want to keep this in the studio forever now. Oh, and I know Gemma's going to want to take it home uh -huh. and start wearing it again to the supermarket. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Coming up next, though, we've got Dave Troth with Natural Golden Tanzanite. You're going to love it. Don't go anywhere. Want to know what's going on in the next show? then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monaco going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. 
Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. I tell you something, I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. This goes against everything I've ever learnt and I've ever known. And with us today, we've got Dave Troth. Hello. Hey, Carol, how are you? I'm really good, really excited. How are uh, you? Well, I'm, I'm really excited. Mm. I'm very good. This is something we've been looking forward to for a long time. It's also something we've never done uh, on, on Gemporia or anywhere else. Um, about three years ago, actually it was before COVID, so whenever that was, about three, four years ago, <laughs> uh, we did uh, an event on Gemporia. Many of you guys might have tuned in and saw it. It was called Out of East Africa. Yes. Uh, celebrating all the gemstones of that kind of rift series of mine uh, from you know, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Zambia, mm -hmm. all the way down the east coast yes. of, of Africa. And we reached out uh, and made some connections with the D'Souza family. You know, Manuel D'Souza, the man that discovered uh, the legendary Tanzanite. Uh, we reached out to them, uh, and Manuel's son, Cosma de Souza, who now lives in Denmark, um, was there uh, in 1967 when they discovered Tanzanite. Wow. And he told stories of his dad, because his dad was a tailor. Manuel de Souza was a tailor. I don't know if you've ever heard that. Um, but he had this dream to find gemstones, and he was traveling all throughout Africa, and he said his dad would just go off for like months at end and send like whether you put telegrams or letters back. Uh, to, to their house and be like, look, I found this, I found that. And he was just this wild guy, Mad Manuel, they called him. And then one day he said that he found this new incredible gemstone. Mm -hmm. And um, Cosma de Souza, his son, his eldest child, was out there straight away. Um, and he was there, you know, w when they were mining Tanzanite. And he said it was it, right out in the bush, not anything like it is today. And he said we had to clear our own pathway. He said there was just wild animals everywhere. Wow. Lions, zebras, elephants, literally everywhere, the watering hole. And he said they had like, he, he remembers literally being at the mine with about 20, you know, miners, all, all locals. Um, and they'd sit there and they'd have barbecues every night. They'd literally hunt their own food. Wow. He, says he remembers the moon landing and explaining to, to the African miners what was happening. Obviously they couldn't see it, but they were saying today, right now, because they were in touch with the biggest cities and, and the West. Wow. They are explaining right up there right now. You can imagine how clear the sky would have yes. been in, in the middle of Tanzania. There's a man on the moon <gasps> explaining it to the people. Um, and, and this is, you know, right the way back to the beginning of this mine. And he was talking about how they were mining it like three feet deep, you know, and these Tanzanites were abundant. And uh, he remembers having the meeting with Henry Platt. And people say, oh, and he's got all the incredible pictures, and he remembers the guys from Tiffany's, you know, the suits, as they were known, from New York, turning up in the bush, suited and booted. And he said his dad was always immaculately dressed. He was a tailor. Mm. So you had all these people, you know, in their, you know, wrecked clothes, mining as you would. And his dad would always be like, you know, waistcoat. Oh, everything. wow. Incredible guy. And Henry Platt and his representatives turned up at the Tanzanite mine. They started seeing these incredible stones coming out of the ground. And the thing is, we, we always associate Tanzanite with that wonderful blue gemstone, that striking blue gemstone. But very early on, at the, the, when they were mining, there was a multitude of wonderful colors. Obviously, the predominant color was blue, but there was golden colors, there was yellow colors, there was the greens, the bicolors. And this is when it was all natural. I mean, today, when those colors are found, you know, it's never blue, otherwise it would never be heated. Mm -hmm. Today, when they're finding you know, the stone, it will be a brown, you know, it will be orange, it will be yellow, it might be green. They'll heat those stones to turn them blue mm -hmm. yeah, because that's how it's been marketed. So they want to produce the blue stone. That's what Tiffany launched to the world. Everyone thinks Tanzanite, they think of the blue gemstone. Of course. He remembers Henry Platt being there at their house in Arusha uh, on a concrete floor. It's like a shack. And they had these Tanzanites out. And he was the guy that said, quote, that quote that we always hear, the most beautiful blue gemstone discovered in 2,000 years. That was coined in their house in, uh, in Arusha in Tanzania. And they said, we want exclusivity of it. We want this. We want that. 
And that's how Tanzanite was introduced to the world. Now, if you go you know, right the way back to like 1968, 1969, um, there was a gentleman called Anthony Wolf, <coughs> this mad guy, the maddest guy, British guy, who just went to the, the Wild West. He said like East Africa back then was like the land of opportunity. And he was raised in, in, in Africa, you know, to British parents. And he got involved in the gemstone mining industry. He was involved in South Africa, you know, going to these mines and bringing these gemstones. And I had the pleasure to meet this guy, and he's incredible. His name's Anthony Wolfe. He's responsible for helping uh, Manuel de Souza and Cosmo de Souza get the fair price for Tanzanite. Before that, they were being essentially ripped off by dealers in, in South Africa and elsewhere. And Anthony Wolfe, this young guy, came along. He's a British guy. I was like, no, no we can get you out of that contract that you've signed. And they helped the D'Souza's who weren't like legally astute to get out of this contract that was no good for them. And he got them the fair price and he kind of brokered the deals with, with Tanzanite to Tiffany. He brokered the deals from Tanzanite to the big diamond corporations in South Africa. This guy that we hear little about is probably the most instrumental yes. figure in the world of Tanzanite, incredible guy. And um, Cosmo D'Souza introduced me to him because he lives in, in England now. Oh, wow. uh, Cosmo D'Souza actually lives in Denmark. And they both came across. We, we had dinner together. I've been out to Denmark. I've been out to Cosmo D'Souza's house. And I've seen the original Tanzanites that were essentially kind of smuggled out of the country when they were kicked out of the mine. It was nationalized in 1970. Wow. They had to leave. They were, like, chased out. Um, and, you know, they still dispute that they own the mine. The D'Souza's own the mine. But the Tanzanian government just said, no, nah, it's ours now. And so he left. He went to Denmark. He's very bitter about it. He said he'll never go back to Tanzania, which is such a shame. His brother moved to South Africa. And now he lives in, in Copenhagen. I went out there and he showed me some of the most incredible Tanzanites from 1968. My from gosh. From 1967. And for the first time ever, I'm bringing you those colors, those stones. The stones that actually don't need to be heated. The stones that came from like a foot beneath the surface. Wow. Which is entirely unrecognizable to the stones today. And Cosmo de Souza says, he's because he, his daughter is a jeweler in Copenhagen. She has her own boutique store, de Souza's. And... They say we, 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 we don't work with Tanzanite anymore because it's not the stone that we, we know. You know. We talk about Tanzanite being a triacroic or pleochroic. Mm. When it's heated, it's not. It has a little bit of pleochroism, but the magic of Tanzanite is when it's natural, mm -hmm. which is way less than like 0.5% today. They just don't exist. Anything that is natural will be extremely old mine. And that's the material that in any array of colors, you know, whether it's the browns, whether it's the canaries, whether it's the greens, as you move them, they literally change color, which is so different to what we see today. When we see today, we see these purple stones. And we go and, and we, you know, bombard everyone with this grading. We're like, it's quad A, it's triple A, it's double A. I mean, forget that. I, you know, no one, you know, when you go to Tiffany, they don't talk about quad A or triple A, right? That's something else. I don't subscribe to it. You know a beautiful Tanzanite when you see it. And it mm. shouldn't be about degrading. It should be about the player crows. And Anthony Wolfe, I asked him, you know, in, in, his old, in his autumn years, I was talking to him, and I said, well, you know, what do you remember like, about being back at the mine, you know, when it was wild, yes. when there were like just 20 miners there? <clears throat> you were literally surrounded by wildlife. You were living out in the bush. Wow. And it's like he, his fondest memories. And he talks about something that, I want to introduce you to today because it's imperative to the stones that we have for you. This is Mr. Anthony Wolf. It's just a short clip, but this is something that no one else can show you. This is something that if you walked into Tiffany & Co, they won't talk about. Take a listen to this. I remember one day on the lip of the mine, not actually in the mine, so it's a little bit, they uncovered this alluvial about one foot. I don't know, Cosmo didn't remember this, but I remember this. And we found these like eggs, and they were rolled and frosted. And there was no, they were almost pure, because all the, the bad stuff had been rolled off, must have rolled down the hill, called alluvial. And we filled a bucket of eggs like this. And the beauty was you take the stone and it's sort of brown, and then red, and then blue, and this sort of player prism is probably the greatest wonder, wonder of the stone business. I don't think you see it in any other stone. Anthony Wolfe there literally saying that is the wonder, the, probably the greatest wonder in the stone business. This is a gentleman that's dealt with 
all number of the most incredible gemstones in the world. That's where he's made his career. <coughs> You're bringing those incredible gemstones out of East Africa to the rest of the world. You know, some of the, the, the incredible rubies out of Longido, some of the stones out of these other locations. <laughs> and he was there in 1968. He saw the blue stones. He saw the, the green stones, the community yes. colored stones. And he said, and his one overriding memory of the beauty of Tanzania was pulling out these stones from a foot beneath the surface, like wow. the lip of the mine, just a pocket that opened up. And he said he filled a bucket with them and they were like egg-shaped. And he talks about it, they were frosted. And he said the beauty of it was, I mean, imagine it. He said, as you turn them, you turn them from the browns, into the, the goldens, into the reds, into the blues. And you will never see that. You will never see that. Except today, today I'm going to bring you a few opportunities of that incredible material. And I want to show you, first of all, um, the, the colours that are known to come from the, the zoosite deposit, the tanzanite deposit, um, which is this kind of multitude of colours. Yeah. You can see them here, because we associate it all with that one that's fourth across mm -hmm. the right. But you get all of these wonderful colours. Uh, and then you see a labish or a diamond company. Yes. Showcasing a 15 karat gold tanzanite. Okay, $13,750. Now, I am literally going to offer you, and Carol is going to offer you, the best deal we've ever done on a gemstone. Okay, the best deal we've ever done on a gemstone. So when I was in uh, Tucson, I met some guys who were involved in the gem business out, out of Jaipur. They were showcasing, exhibiting at uh, Tucson, and they specialized in tanzanite. And I was talking to them, and they specialized in natural tanzanite. And I was like, I'd, you know, we'd love to do some deals. Um, and I saw their prices. They were sky high. And they said, well, when we get back, to Jaipur. We've got some stuff in the vault that might be better suited to your price range. Because uh, I was explaining, you know, we, we can't pay $1,000 a carat, $2,000 yes, a carat. Yes, exactly. Because then it has to become two or $3,000 a carat. <clears throat> and this is it. I don't mind sharing. No one would do this. I'm sharing this with you. Okay, it's the 14th of March. Uh, hello, Mr. David. This is Kunal with GD Colors. We met in Tucson at the AGTA show. There's the business card. I'm being completely upfront and transparent. This is my direct correspondence with them. And the reason that I'm showing this is because the deal that I'm about to do for you today yes. is the greatest deal we've ever done on Tanzanite. And you think we've been working with Tanzanite for 18 years. Okay, Steve Bennett, um, you know, going back like 15 years, 18 years, one of the biggest three buyers of Tanzanite mm. globally mm -hmm. for a number of years. <clears throat> we've been out to the mine uh, with the Tanzanite One Foundation. We've seen all of the Tanzanites coming out. We've been into the mine, mm -hmm. you know, which is now over a kilometer into the earth. Yes. That's how close we are. And that's how much investment we've put into that area. And yet... This is it's the smallest deal we've ever done on Tanzanite because I'll be honest with you, we've bought tons, literally metric tons of Tanzanite mm -hmm. over the years. And I, I know that back in Jaipur, I've got a vault full of Tanzanite. I'm not going to mislead you and say, we're running out. Okay, we do. We have a vault going from quad A to triple A to double A to single A. Mm -hmm. We can do Tanzanite days. We do days. And, and I'm not talking days here in Jurumega. I'm talking days next door where it's a 24-hour period. Yes. Every hour is bringing Tanzanite. Hundreds of lines. And yet, I have like four auctions for you today. And this is the material that we can't get. This is the material that Steve couldn't get. This is the material you can't get from the mine. It doesn't come out of the mine anymore. Because everything that comes out of the mine is heated. So what you're about to get is like a window into the material that was coming out in 1968. And I was offered it in March this year. I was offered it. And I'm not going to tell you it was $1,000 per carat, or even like that Labish stone, which is like $13,000. That's different. I was offered this, this parcel here. Okay, very small parcel. Incredible goods, golden tanzanites, 100% natural. Wow. You can see them, they're wrapped in uh, paper envelopes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they say these are approximately 500 carats total weight. Size yep. and shapes are ovals. You know, you can see it's 7x9s, emerald cut, round, very nice cutting. Price is approximately $38 to $42 per carat, okay, which is absolutely incredible. And Goodness I want to let you know, me. <laughs> I want to let you know that I'm currently doing that deal. Okay to bring this material to our customers at Gemporia for the first time amazing. ever. And I think it's amazing to pay $38 a carat for the rarest tanzanite on earth, the golden colours, the, oh. the, the, the colours that Cosma D'Souza talks about, the colours that Anthony Wolfe talks about. Mm. So if we were to start with the 20-carat strand today, which is what we're going to do, mm -hmm. of golden tanzanite, 100% natural, no enhancement, certified, which is the impossible stone in the world right now. Okay, that's what we're going to bring you. And you talked about those wonderful shapes. We talked about, you know, the, the, those giant kind of egg shapes that came out of the mine. And you've got it here. You're literally holding probably the rarest stone in the world right now. And the player chroism is so intense. Here we go. This is it. This is the real deal. Okay, and, and Tom, what is the carat weight of this? Is it 20 carats? 
Mm. Yeah, okay, so can you do me a favor? Can you just, have oh, you got a calculator in there? Has he? Yeah. Okay, so $38, so 38 uh -huh. times 20 times this carat weight, okay? Seven, That's the trade mm, price. 760. Okay, 760 pounds. I want you to bring the graphic straight away at 760 pounds. That's what it will cost me to get this goods for you today. And then we've got to make a profit, of course we have. Okay, so we're going to come straight in at $760, which is the best deal Goodness we have me. seen for Tanzanite in about seven years. This is absolutely astonishing. And actually, everything you've said this morning, Dave, on my Facebook Live, before, before we went live today, and I, and I had no idea what you were going to be talking yep. about today. I was just saying, you've you got purples, there yeah, are that's golds, that's... there are the beginnings of blues, there are greens. It's and, got... and that's the beauty of it. As you turn it in your hands, each piece of this, this is the, the rarest hands on earth. This is what doesn't come out of the mine anymore. And you're going to get the chance to own it right now. And, and uh, can we come in at that price, Tom? Just go to 760. We'll, we'll go lower then. Go to 500 pounds. Let's beat that price. 500 pounds. I don't even want to know that, what that would, would be, be per carat. I, I mean, I know I couldn't replace this now. I've just showed, shared with you my correspondence with the guys, the only guys that I've met in recent years that have the natural certified material in that golden color spectrum. Okay, right now, we're untouchable. Right now, I can't replace this. And I've, I've shown me. you that from like the 14th of March. Congratulations to everyone on the phone lines and those of you multi-buying. We don't have a massive quantity of these. This isn't like the kind of jade auctions and the pearl auctions that you've been getting used to when I'm on your screen. Yes. This is very limited, extremely limited. I can get you tanzanite. I can't get you natural tanzanite. So whilst this price is on your screen and you've got the option to, to get involved here, and I'm going to go a lot lower, I want us to hear from Anthony Wolfe one more time if we can. Because he's talking about these stones wow. that you're owning right now. Take a listen to this. I remember one day, on the lip of the mine, not actually in the mine, so it's a little bit, they uncovered this alluvial, about one foot. I don't know, Cosmo didn't remember this, but I remember this. And we found these like eggs, and they were rolled and frosted. And there was no, they were almost pure, because all the, the bad stuff had been rolled off, must have rolled down the hill, called alluvial. And we filled a bucket of eggs like this. And the beauty was you take the stone and it's sort of brown and then red and then blue. And this sort of player prism is probably the greatest wonder, wonder of the stone business. I don't think you see it in any other stone. That was Anthony Wolf, the gentleman that broke the deal between the, the Tanzanite mine, the Manuel de Souza, and Tiffany and & Co. And, and regardless of all the blue Tanzanite that we hear about, he said the most incredible wonder of the gemstone world is what we have here. And no one else has this material. Goodness me. Uh, what I'd like to do straight away is uh, half this price. Let's go to 249, because I'm telling you right now, Goodness we me. cannot be beaten on price for natural golden Player, intense player correct time. Yes. The stone that comes around in a minute that is almost red. Those gorgeous silvers there. The next one, yeah, with those beautiful reds in there. Yeah. The okay. individual carat weights of these are so impressive as well. The individual stones. Absolutely. I mean, on this strand, there are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's thirteen on the strand. That's such a look at this burning kind of orange one here. The individual carat weights you're getting here are so so impressive. Yeah, uh, and like I said, as you, if you were to take one of these off this strand mm -hmm. and you were to turn it in your fingers or put it in the light, you're going to get those reds, those blues, those purple. Let's do a minute clock. This is a minute Goodness for every me. single one of you to own something that, you know, like I said, no one else can own. Cheers, guys. Thank you. We're going to start the clock right now. It is something we're going to have to be fast on. We are limited across this entire range, this entire collection. But you guys are going to get essentially first refusal on, on owning this material. That is stunning. It looks like so many Margaret, other stones. Gorgeous. 
It's almost like a, a cognac zircon, isn't it? It's absolutely Look at the gorgeous. orange. Look at the yeah. orange next to it. They're these pure it's incredible. And that's the player crowism that we're talking about here. You've got 30 seconds to get involved oh, on something that you will never see again. Oh. Apart from, like I said, on, on, on Gemporia, I'm working on a deal, but it is at the minute $38 per carrot which would make this strand, I think it was $760. Wow, And we're at yeah. 249 right now. It is a, a smart acquisition. It is one of the most historic and iconic gemstones on the planet. And you're getting the, the 1%. Three, two, one. Take this to double figures, 99. What? 99. 20 carats, not one carat, oh. not two carats. Oh my you're gosh. Absolutely offering you the best deal on oh Tanzanite right now. And whilst we have a vault full of Tanzanite yes. from Jaipur, this is the material that we can't get, tiny parcels. And when we look at buying this material, it's not laid out on a table, like tons of material. Yes. It's paper envelopes, and, and they're tiny carats. In fact, it was 500 carats in total. That Whoa. Was, and usually when we buy Tanzanite, we're buying hundreds of thousands of carats. And you guys right now are getting, uh, what, 20 carats? This is a parcel of, of natural Tanzanite. This, remember, guys, That's this is the material. Incredible. When you speak to the family that discovered this, when you speak to the family that mined this, when you speak to the people that brokered the deal with Tiffany, mm -hmm. this is the color they talk about. They talk about those wonderful golden colors. And they talk about how when you heat this material, you lose the player croism, you lose the ability for the stone to show its magic. Yes, yeah. When you get this natural variety, which is absolutely not coming out of the mine anymore, like it's, when, when, when we're mining a kilometer into the earth, this material is not being discovered. This material is the material that was being discovered, you know, like one foot, two foot beneath the surface. Yes, absolutely. And, and you know, back in 1968, 1969, yeah, into the 70s. But today we're in 2022 and we can't get this material. Uh, amazing message from Elaine. She said, yes. Wow, what a beautiful, stunning and amazing parcel. That's so, it's so good for you guys to understand that this is a parcel. You know, I would never recommend wearing this as a strand. I would create jewelry out of it. Oh my gosh, yes. Right, let's, let's do another minute clock. I'm gonna do you the biggest deal. <laughs> I am, let's just give you guys, uh, uh, remember I can't actually get this for you at seven times the price on your screen. Yes. We can't do it. We That's incredible. Do it. Um, and, and when you consider how collectible tanzanite is as a stone and how many people want, um, um, uh, Tanzanite in their collection. This is like this is this is what can complete you know, people that talk about collection. The investment grade of Tanzanite. Yes. About being the quad A or the real you know beautiful blue material. This is For historic. Me, this, is this is the the material that you know when you look at Labish, they don't bring blue Tanzanite. Yes. They bring golden Tanzanite for over ten thousand dollars, thirteen thousand dollars. Goodness me. And this is what you have the opportunity to acquire here: a twenty carat parcel of the rarest and most exciting tanzanite that has ever made it onto your screens. Margaret, Claire, Gabrielle, Virginia. Well done. Margaret, uh, anonymous makers, congratulations. You've got five seconds. This is gonna be the biggest deal that I've done for you. All right, half the price, that's it. Half the what? Price. Yeah, half the price for every single one of you uh, to replace this. It's $38 per carat to me at trade. And then you have to make a profit, you have to make the jewelry, which is what we're going to do next door. I'm doing you this whole 20 carat suite. That is incredible. $49.99, which is oh absolutely my gosh. irreplaceable. That is absolutely tremendous. The quality you are getting here, the providence, the story, the history. And it's so wonderful. And it's on split pay. And the reason it's on split pay. Oh my gosh, it is. is because we should be a lot, lot higher. Absolutely. We should be in the hundreds for something like this. An amazing deal would be 149 Today we've taken £100 off that price. Yes. We're giving you guys the opportunity to work with this material. I would go and get it valued. I would absolutely put this in a safe. I'd pass it down through the generations. Yes. This is it. This is your moment to acquire something this incredible. Three individual split payments of £16.66. Add it onto your order. We've got loads in baskets. Lots and lots of people with this fact in their baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. Um, it's just it's just incredible and I can imagine it's almost impossible to kind of gauge kind of you know price per carat it's kind of whatever whatever somebody wants to sell it as because of course you've got here such a rarity it's not like a it's not like a garnet it's, 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 it's not like you can't a, commercially mine this material uh, that's it together, you know big parcels of it there is no set price per carat yes there, there, there is no you know um, okay it's this for this and it's this for the double end triple a this material isn't graded mm. you know this is you know, the, the, the collector's material, the collector's parcel. We've yeah. got Kerry, Fiona, we've got multi-buyers, Dorothy, Irina, Hampshire, Shropshire, Essex, Oxfordshire, yes. Cambridgeshire, 
a tie and wear. And when you get a labish, like I said, the quad A, the triple A that you can find in every jewelry store in the country, they don't have that material. Exactly. What they want is the material that no one else can get. And you can see this piece here. It's, it's 15 carats. Yes, it's in one, one stone. But you've got that color in 20 carats. There. Yes. A bigger carat weight across your parcel and, and match stones with the magic of this incredible material and just so exciting how this was mined what you know just a few feet below the um, earth's surface and when we look at i mean i remember looking at clips uh, back in 2017 of scott walsenfold you know going you know seven eight nine hundred meters right. down yeah. and you know where and it takes like what 45 minutes to an hour to get does down. it yeah to get down oh in my the gosh, lift to the actual part of the mining um and and today even longer because we're over a kilometer into the earth today this material was like 20 guys mining you know in in tanzania out in the bush at about three feet beneath the surface and you're getting the chance right now 49.99 to put this into your incredible collection well that, done to every single one of that them. is absolutely superb i've got it in this um i've got it i've, I've got it in this necklace here you can see our in-house designers have literally just popped um uh, the, the parcels, different strands they, together yeah. I mean, that is just, I mean, that's seriously indulgent. I agree with Dave. It would be something which I would, I would individually claw set these uh, uh, one look, at a time. Yeah, uh, but I mean, this, this necklace is like priceless, isn't it? Absolutely. A collection of old mine, yeah. natural Tanzanite, showcasing yeah. those wonderful player croic uh, moments. You know, the, the wonder, the magic of this gemstone that captivated Tiffany and Co. Yeah, that is just superb. We've got a help to buy um, clip, which we're just going to put in really, really quickly. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in literally 30 seconds. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price and there's only one pmp charge on everything you purchase throughout the day we offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time happy shopping with jewelry maker here at jewelry maker we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better that's why on certain items we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Now that was really, really popular. We've got um, our next strand here, Dave. Are we going to well, be I think it's my favourite shape. It's the drops. And, and the it's reason beautiful. that it's my favourite shape is because you know, when, we, when we spoke to Anthony Wolfe and we talked about that team, they talked about that kind of egg shape. Yes. They talked about those large, impressive stones. And they filled a bucket oh with them. Oh, my gosh. From one pocket. Yes. In 1968. And you get that. And, and you can see how beautiful these are. But when they're Look in that necklace as well, you're matched up with... Well, there's a blue there. Yes, I know. Uh, this is the wonder of it. You know, you get all these wonderful colours. And probably if you turn that around, it would turn gold. Yes. The player crow with them. These are just super. This is divine. And we have a, a smaller quantity of the teardrops of, of this material. Yes. And I think when you mix them together with all the different shapes like we have in the necklace that you're wearing, Carol. Yes. It's special. Is, how, what's, the, what's the carat weight on this, Tom? 20 carats? Look at that. Wow. Yeah, 20 carats again on this yeah, so again, on strand even here. Get, even for me to get this wow. day, it would be $760, wouldn't it? That's, that's the reality. Then we've got to make a small profit, very tiny profit. We, you know, you're probably looking at close to a thousand dollars. Yes. In a necklace, if we were to create that on Gemporia. Goodness me. And that's with a tiny margin. That's not like with a 300% markup. Exactly. Like that's with a very small margin. Exactly. And yet today, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get the most incredible deal. That beautiful briolette cut, it's got that wonderful kind of um, estate feel to it, hasn't it? It's got that wonderful three-dimensional quality, which, of course, with, with the gemstone having so much of that beautiful trichroism, you've got, you can really see those colours shift. As, it as, lends as itself so well out. to jewellery, this shape, I think, mm -hmm. whether it's the drop earrings, whether it's a pendant, yes. whether it's, like, it's the full kind of strand, it's mm -hmm. graduated. You've got those, you look at the player crowism that we talk about there. Yeah, look at the player crowism. Look at it. You look at this it. one here. This is exactly what Anthony Wolfe was talking about. Can we match the price of the other one straight away? Can we just get a, a 500 pounds? You know, like we did with the other one where we came yeah. in. We said, look, this would be an incredible look deal. This is already better than what we could replace it for. That is so impressive, isn't it? Oh, look at the reds there. That's yeah. absolutely superb, isn't it? Okay, we're under 500 pounds. Yeah. Okay. 
There's many of you already on the phone lines that maybe want to add this to your collection, to your family heirloom collection. Let's put a minute clock on your screen. I love this. We're going to start that clock and we're going to give you another incredible deal, an unmissable deal. Remember, this is a smaller quantity in this material. Some of these are bicolor. You know, they absolutely, these, this you know, one here transition is. Transition through the color palette of Tanzanite in a single gem. Look at that. You've got the blues at the bottom there going up into reds and then gold. It's absolutely incredible. Well, this, this, this is strand. what they're looking for. In yeah. A kilometer under the earth, but they're not finding. <laughs> they're finding material they have to heat up. They're finding material that they have to turn blue. Yes. This, this pocket, there's only a few of these pockets that, that have ever existed. Yes. And I was talking to Anthony Wolf from Cosmo de Souza. The reason they can recall that one, that one bucket of material was yeah. just this one pocket that showcased the kind of colours you're seeing here. And the moment I heard that, I fell in love with it. And I wanted to be able to bring it to you guys here. And today we're going to do that. Yes. Such a historic stone. Such an important, important strand. Let's take it to 49.99. Let's just go Brilliant. straight down. No, no stepping off. I know that you're here. <laughs> I know it's busy. I know you want it. Yes. We're going to give you the most incredible deal. That, and that deal today is 49.99. Oh, and this wow. full, immaculate strand of the rarest tanzanite on earth. That's just superb. I can't Canaries, believe it. The goldens, the reds, the blues, the purples, the oranges. It's all in every single one of these impressive beautiful rare and let's not forget natural tanzanites no heat treatment no irradiation no coating mm. this is how they came out of the ground decades ago yes and it's just the very definition isn't it of bicolored or or or, or, or uh, sorry play croic and, yeah. and 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 kind of having that incredible tricloic nature because the colors i'm seeing in here are absolutely sensational oh, they really are and, and to those of you multibank we have not capped this anyone is welcome whether it's the trade yes. Uh, whether you guys have your own jewelry store, whatever it is, we probably won't be able to do this again. If we do, let's be honest, you know, you've seen the price have been quoted. Yes. I'm not here saying it's five hundred dollars a carat or even a hundred dollars carat. The price have been quoted on this material is thirty-eight dollars a carat. Goodness me. Do the maths. Twenty carats times thirty-eight is over seven hundred dollars. Wow. And that's the the cost to me. Let alone you know us bringing it to you, taking it through to Jaipur to here. You're looking at closer to a thousand dollars, and that's the reality in two thousand and twenty-two. For material like this and it's and it's again not the kind of thing that we'll be able to get again on and, and i appreciate your candor in the fact that you're saying that you've got a vault full of tanzanite yeah. over in jaipur but this you could just never you could never hope to replace for there, there um, you, you know these you can't kind of, just go and ask someone for this like yes, you can with tanzanite. Exactly. there are tanzanite cutting houses and you go guys we need some quad days and what the, the price might fluctuate they'll always have the stones mm. you know it might be double the price one year or whatever it may be yes but they're never going to say oh we can't get it with this material it is you know the, the look of the drawer. You know, yes. It might turn up every couple of years, a very small parcel like this, shrouded in mystery, you know, uh, it being traded in, in, like we said, paper envelopes. Gorgeous. And you've got a full 20 carat um, collection here, a yeah. full parcel. You know, that is. With this beautiful graduated shape. Extremely busy. Got a collect collector in Lanark. She's just bought three of these. Yes. And that is something that we, you know, I would encourage you if you can. Absolutely. This is a special, special moment for you guys who have been watching for, you know, seven or eight years. And just such a historic gemstone. This is part of the very beginnings of Tanzanite before before anybody really knew what effect it would have on the world. And it's just so wonderful that we've heard from people who were there at the dawn of this incredible gemstone. It's just superb, isn't it? Forty nine ninety nine. what an incredible deal. Absolutely superb. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Lots in baskets there. Do make sure you check out. We've got one final strand of your um, golden tanzanite to bring you, which is absolutely superb. All three of them you know together. What? Just for this incredible strand, for every single one of you, there's so many people multi There's tons of people in baskets. So many multi bidders there. Can I ask for a one minute clock? I'm going to do another price and don't tell Wayne. I might get in trouble for this. It has been extremely difficult to get this to you, but because of the multi buying. Right. I want to do something. Look at the split pay that you have. I'm about to destroy the price on your screen now. Let's start the clock. This is going to be a remarkable deal. In fact, Hang on, this is still going to be on split deal. pay. It's already an unmissable deal. It's about to completely sell out. There's not going to be enough. It was it was unmissable at 149.99. Yeah, it was unmissable, even more unmissable at 99. 49.99. It's, it's about ridiculous. To get a hell of a lot better for every single one of you. Oh my gosh. 40 seconds to get on the phone lines. 
Trust me, you're not going to want to miss out on this. But oh my word! Thirty four seconds to multiply. And I this would, is. I would tell you to do that. This is a truly unique opportunity. I've never seen anything like this before. I've never, I've never, I've never been privy to something like this before. This is such a special opportunity. I can't imagine for one second this is going to happen again oh my word baskets are stacked people buying twos threes fours oh well done in powis absolutely amazing it is flying it is absolutely flying out the door right dave i don't like I oh shouldn't, gosh i shouldn't do this but no what, what you know i was quoted what 38 dollars per carrot yeah yeah yeah. 38 dollars per right carat for one carrot of this goods today well in march 14th of march to be precise I could say to you right now, I'm going to do this for the whole thing for £38. But I'm not going to. I'm going to do it for £29.99. So congratulations to every single <laughs> one of you. I told you you're not going to want to miss out. This is your what? moment to capitalise on this. It's, it, it's one of those. You know, we are live. It's off the cuff. And sometimes when I see lots of people multi-buying, £29.99, just get it done. When I what? see that many people multi-buying. I don't think that's the conversation you've just had with Neri, is it's it? It's not, it's not, but I've said it. You just said, he said, he told me a different price. I did, I told you a higher <laughs> price, but it is what it that's is. That's ridiculous. Sorry, it's, it's live TV, isn't it? And we, we, uh, we're encouraged to make these. Do you, do you know, we're now at nine pounds on split, sorry, 9.99 on split pay. I know. And I'm going to get a rollick in for this, I think. But Absolutely. And deservedly so. Absolutely. You know, I, I accept that. You know, it's, it's what we do. But for every single one of you right now, this is unbeatable. I've got Collector who's bought five, Collector who's bought four, Collector who's bought two, and the Collector who's bought two. Oh, my word. That's We've wild. we got people buying That's fives. a wild deal. Can I, can I just show you, in all seriousness, um, if we were to measure the carrot weight of one of these, say it's two, three carrots. Well, we've got, okay, That's so we've got two, four. That's dollars to me today. Ten, there's 12 on the strand, so that is what? An average uh, around 1.5 carrots each. Okay. But, I mean, there's some that are much larger. Yes, of course. Take one of those larger stones with the colours in it and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, it's, it's what, it's $200 stone to me today, $38 per carrot. Uh, and oh the, actually, the bigger the stone, uh, the, the more expensive of the course. stone becomes. And we've just done the whole strand, which is absolutely sacrilege. And that's what we do. You know, like I said, we never look at the market price. We never yes. say, oh, you know, what would this, you know, that would be the correct thing to do. Mm -hmm. That would be the correct thing to do. That's how the market works. That's how free market works. You know, people might buy something and then all of a sudden it's in short demand. And then all of a sudden, uh, Rolexes, for example. Yes. People who are lucky enough to get a Rolex right now at, at you know, retail price. Yes. The next day, it's probably double the price at the Yes, day. yes, And we've yeah. seen that many, many yeah. times. People invest in Rolexes, right? This is something that we managed to get, obviously, an incredible deal on it a few years me. ago when we were dealing with the likes of Cosmo D'Souza and Anthony Wolfe, who were yes. there in 1968. And we got an incredible deal, and we're offering it to you at this. And I'm not even showing you the retail price. I'm saying to you, oh, for me to replace this, which makes zero sense for us as a business, it's $38 per carat. Yes. I'm just in 20 carats for 29.99. There's 20 left. If you're in the trade, if you have a jewellery store, um, then I would buy all 20, all 18. Absolutely. We've got less than 20 left, and we've got way, way, way more than 20 people on the phone line. So please, well, with it in their baskets. So please do check out as soon as you can. That is something which I don't, well, no one was expecting that. I wasn't, even, I wasn't no. even expecting it, so I apologise for that. <laughs> that is just utterly, utterly bonkers. Um, Amazing. You have nine ninety nine. That's your first split payment. By the time you've made that into, or by the time that's you go the, and get it valued. Nine pound ninety nine. I'm very lucky, but that's the that's what I get each year in a voucher from my auntie Sue. There you go. That's the nine ninety nine voucher, <laughs> and she's not even my real auntie. She's not <laughs> she's like a like fake auntie. She's my mom's parents' mate. friend. Yeah, they grew yeah, up yeah. together, and she's still <laughs> kind enough. I'm like, you know, in my thirties to say, here's a ten pound voucher. Oh, that's and, nice. Uh, I would never have thought I could put that down as like a down payment. On a <laughs> strand of tanzanite, natural tanzanite. Incredible. Well done. We've literally got eight chances left. Well done. Um, we do have, we do have uh, one more strand to bring you. Um, still eight chances available. So over allocated. This next strand I love. Uh, we don't do very many gemstones in this, in this kind of shape. And this would be, I mean, absolute perfection in rings, cufflinks with bezel strip. It's absolutely I think you're absolutely right. The awesome. bezel strip here. 
Yes. And, and remember, the reason it's so impressive is because it gives you a much larger surface area. That's exactly so it. gives it, you a yeah. much larger pa uh, you know, um, palette to showcase those multitude of colors. Uh -huh. like any single one of those, you dive into it and you're seeing you know, purples, you're seeing blues. Uh, there's some that are showcasing like an orange. Yes. And then you know, even in, in this recording here that we've got a bit in the daylight, you're getting those wonderful kind of greens coming through. Yes. You know, which is synonymous with the early days of Tanzanite. Yes, OK, yeah. Absolutely, some gorgeous pinks in here, some reds, some peaches. The carrot peaches. Wet in this, 20 carats. Oh, Natural wonderful. Golden tanzanite. Yes. And, you know, in this shape, when you have that kind of, it's almost like a checkerboard facet along the surface. So you don't. Yeah. Have, it's like a rose cut, okay? It's like a rose cut. Yes, isn't it? You don't yeah. have like one large table. Mm -hmm. You have several geometric tables across the surface of stone, which means that it dances with the light. Yes. It doesn't just catch the light and you get this one flash of luster you get this kind of domino effect of luster, like a paparazzi flash yeah. swirling around the surface of gemstone, so it dazzles. Yes. I love this cut. I can see why you're a huge fan yeah. of this cut. It's How many beautiful. do we have, Tom? 97 Do you want chances. to see 97 chances disappear? <laughs> I'm not we're not going to make any money, Tom. Okay. okay? It's not oh, like gosh, it, your hopes no. up. It's, we're not going to make any money. This is all but rather how fast do we think we can make this disappear? Um, I reckon I can make this disappear in about a minute. Let's have a minute clock. Do you reckon? I think so, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'm not even, sometimes I'll, I'll stroll over to the gallery and I'll put my head in and I'll have a conversation with Tom <laughs> when this minute is going on. I'm going to keep talking because I'm not going to go into the gallery and have a conversation with Tom. I'm just going to call a prize. I don't have an earpiece. I can just see the panic in uh, he's, Carol's Yeah, face. he's going, ba 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 in my ear right what Tom's now. Saying. I can't. And I'm going to do you an incredible deal on this. We're at 498 oh, now, which frankly is already too low. Oh, gosh. Frankly uh, is already oh, no. too low. Okay, there's loads of you there. There's loads and loads and loads of you there. Interesting, so interesting what you were saying about the rose cut. I love that. And, and it is that kind of ancient cut, isn't it? It's just, it's just absolutely beautiful. And yes, the way that the, the faceting makes that gemstone dance. And in turn, surely that means you're going to be seeing even more of that gorgeous oh, play, wow. Nature. That's how, you know, in the studio. Look at that, you see what I mean? Stunning. That slight touch, you know, that yes. line, just in conversation. You have very subtle movements. It just oh, gosh. performs. Five seconds. Neri's got absolutely no idea what you're going to be doing. I don't yet. I've oh, got two seconds to oh great. Uh, 30 quid. 30 pounds. 29.99. It's like, what? Honestly, honestly guys, it's, it's, it's madness. That, no. I, I, when I take my daughter, and I'll do it tonight, I'll pick her up from school, we'll, we'll get a Sainsbury's, right? And, right. And I, I dread it. But I'm so unorganised, I'll be like, we've got to go and get you dinner now. Ah. So nothing's ready in the fridge. Come on, Dad. We go, we go into there, and I'll get her a few things. Like yeah. I might want a book. Yes. Or probably something else. And we yeah. walk past that costume jewellery thing that you spin round. Oh. Like the postcards are on when you're in Spain. <laughs> that carousel. <laughs> right? And I'll walk past that and it's got all these tatty jewellery on it. Let's be honest. It's, yes. It's not precious metal. It's tat. It's, it's, uh, it's tat, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> she'll go, Dad, can I get this? Can I get this? And you'd be spending more than this. Absolutely. 100%. And this is tonight, for goodness sake. Oh. Natural Tanzanite. Natural Tanzanite. Not like genuine Tanzanite, which has been heated. I'm talking natural. Natural Tanzanite. Came out of the ground like this, probably a few feet below the surface. Which is so exciting. It's, it's extraordinary. I don't know about you guys, but the Tanzanite I want to own. If yes, I want to own Tanzanite. absolutely. The Tanzanite I want to own is the Tanzanite that Manuel de Souza saw. Yes. You know, when we talk about the iconic Definitely. story, it's like we're so, we're so removed from it with modern Tanzanite. Mm -hmm. We're so removed from it, we go, you know, I spoke to everyone. I spoke to Cosmo de Souza, who was at the mine in 1967. Yes. I spoke to Anthony Wolfe, who arrived at the mine in 1968. The Tanzanite gem rush. Mm. You know, well, when it was wild. And they had to cut roots into the ground, you know, with, with like machetes. Yes. To this mine. Yes. You know, and they're talking about this material. They're talking about this colour. They're talking super. about this level of player charisma. While this is selling out, can we hear from Anthony Wolfe one more time? Oh, and, and yes, just, well, before what a you legend. listen to this gentleman, you look at him and you go, well, who is he? And it says gem dealer recounting a story of Tanzanite from 1960. He's not just any gem dealer. He was the first real gem dealer. Wow. He arrived from South Africa, and he is British, but he was raised in Africa to British parents, completely involved in these gemstones. And he was, he was literally brokering deals from the Tanzanite mine, from Manuel de Souza, and they're still friends today, Cosmo de Souza and Anthony Wolfe. Brokering deals with Edo Oberstein, with Tiffany & Co, with some of the South African diamond merchants that aren't even around today, with this new incredible gemstone that's garnering all the attention. And he was there, helping the mine, looking through the gemstones in 1968. Take a listen to what he says are the finest stones. 
I remember one day on the lip of the mine, not actually in the mine, so it's a little bit, they uncovered this alluvial about one foot. I don't know, Cosmo didn't remember this, but I remember this. And we found these like eggs and they were rolled and frosted. And there was no, they were almost pure because all the, the bad stuff had been rolled off, must have rolled down the hill, called alluvial. And we filled a bucket of eggs like this. And the beauty was you take the stone and it's sort of brown and then red and then blue. And this sort of player prism is probably the greatest wonder, wonder of the stone business. I don't think you see it in any other stone. That's the Tanzanite that you're getting in your collection. That's wow. what you're talking about. This material. He's not saying the most incredible thing I ever saw was this really bright blue gemstone. Yeah. He literally says it's this brown egg shaped stone, but the wonder of it was, the yes. magic of it was, as you turned it, it literally revealed a multitude of intense, incredible colours, which is exactly yes. what we're seeing on your screen right now. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Phenomenal. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Multi by <sighs> can. That's your opportunity. Well done. All right, let's get it off the screen. Okay, I've got one more. I know you said that was our last strand. Well, I've got one more strand for you, but I've got about ten of these available. This is a bit of a. But this is so difficult to do, as you can imagine, Carol. Because what you're holding, before we bring in the graphics, we just show everyone what you're holding, and we show it uh, in the studio. Right, you've seen Tanzanite, yeah? Like oh this. my it's incredible. words! Tumbled in that classic way. Problem is, Carol, that's natural. No, it's yeah, not. That's it's completely. You unknown. are kidding me. That is. In, in, the words of, uh, in the world of Tanzanite, that truly is, and I don't, I don't mean to sound you know, over the top, but that's kind of like the Holy Grail. You know, because what we've just bought you is... What? What, what we've just bought you with the three strands that we just gave you, uh, they're curiosities, okay? We understand that's not the market demand for that material, but yes. you know, if you've got Tanzanite and you want something what? special, then those golden Tanzanites are magical. But in terms of the world, the blue gemstone, the, 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 the most beautiful blue gemstone discovered in 2,000 years. That's it. And I don't believe you'll ever see... I've been offered the golden material. I've showed you that 38... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't believe in the market today that there is a deal of natural blue tanzanite. I don't think there is. I'll be honest. I've, I've never... This is incredible. It's got some wonderful buy colours as well. 25 carats. We're going up in carat weight. £484. That's the price. Whoa! So moving from that... Go and get it valued and tell me that's... How valued. on earth Certified can that happen? Pure. What? I am, I am blown away. My, my brain, right, you know I am minute, boggled. Clock. How many do we have? Twelve. Give me a minute, Clark. Twelve. Give me one deal. That's, I've never even built a version have... of this on gems in, in, in what? Twelve. Yeah. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm amazed. We've got we've got one of these, let alone a dozen. Can you cap the multi ordering on this? Or is it too late? Okay, it's too late. But I mean, oh you know, man you, alive! I would prefer like to, to have twelve people get each one of these. But I understand if you want to buy three or four. But there is oh. only twelve. There is only twelve. Twenty-five carats of natural. I can't believe I'm saying it. And it's blue. Good look. I am, I am completely and utterly, I am speechless, Dave. I have, this is absolutely, this is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my entire I'm life. I'm glad that you're saying that, Carol, because we get it, don't we? You've been in the industry for a long time. Yeah! You're part of us here. And let's not forget, like, Tanzanite is the gemstone we've probably bought more of than anything else. And, and to get... To get so in awe of something when you've seen so much variety of it is special. Yes. You know what? To every single one of you right now, I'm going to do oh you the best deal. Hello. Uh, 99.99, and that's my that's me done. Oh my gosh. Caroline, Claire, Helen, Vicky. Yeah, 99.99. We're doing it double figure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's wonderful. You are getting approximately two, four, six, eight, nine on the strand. This is something I don't think I've oh, ever. Thank you uh, to the collection. Oh. It is, it is beautiful. It really is. It's so rare. I mean, I, that, you know what? That's, 
we I almost feel like even between us, Karen, I don't mean, yeah, we don't even have the vocabulary. No! No, we don't have the vocabulary <laughs> at our disposal to even talk about it. No! That is so rare. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of I course it is. I'll just be honest, what isn't rare? You know, we're talking about gemstones, but that is on another plane. It's on another level. Goodness and I, me. I, I really don't have the, the vocabulary to, to showcase it. But what's amazing is the way that we're showing it you, it does its own talking. It, it talks for itself. Goodness like, me. It's natural. I can't believe that. That is amazing. 20 in baskets for the final, literally oh, for the final few. Baskets, no good. I know. I cannot believe that. I love the shape. I love the smoothness. I lo it's such a tactile strand to know. I love that shape. It's probably, you know, you know obviously uh, we all have our favourite gemstones. I love the sugar loaf. I love this. But yes. There is something you know, really alluring um, at, at that tumbled shape. And I think it's because... The original gemstones that were traded for hundreds of years. Yes, yes. If you look at Jean Baptiste Tavernier buying gemstones from you know the Kingdom of Golconda, you know <sighs> this kind of voyage. Gosh. He wasn't coming back with like round, brilliant cut gemstones. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Like yes. he was coming back with like tumbled and incredible. That's why you see River the Altani collection. Yeah. Kind of the native. Collection at oh Christie's. my. When you see goodness, the, the finest mate. Spinels and rubies and emeralds throughout the Mughal empires. They look like this. Or the Black Prince Ruby, for instance. Yeah, it's got that beautiful that's kind of. Yes. They polish these incredible stones. One oh, preserved. I can't believe what we're looking at. It's exceptional. You know I almost, uh, if we if we had more, what I'd like to do, <gasps> I'd like to cut this strand out and just take that one stone out. That one stone. Yeah. What this if one? I, if, yeah. If I yeah. Bezel set that in yeah. carat gold. Yeah. It's probably it's probably three carats, maybe more. Yeah. That's, that's four figures next door. One hundred percent. I mean, if I walked on screen if, right now. Uh, next door, and I went, guys, I've got a collection of natural... Like Bulgari-inspired. Natural... That's it! Pure Tanzanite. Yes. Unheated. Oh, my of gosh. Of course, it's in 18 karat gold. We'd probably inscribe the band with something that talks about it being, you know, the, the, the one in a million Tanzanite. Yes, yes. And you'd have about 500 people on lines. There'd be one ring, and it'd be four figures. Of course, we'd have split pain. <clears> that's the reality. I love, I love our collectors writing in all the years watching uh, JM or Jim. I'm not Jim, but if you're talking <laughs> about JM, that's fine. I Never seen it. anything as beautiful as this. Really appreciate you taking the time to, to message in. Uh, I, am in I am in awe of these stones. I am, they, are, they are not only exceptional Tanzanites, but the fact that they are two natural. Two left in the world. Oh! Okay, two opportunities left. Still got over 20 in baskets. They will sell. They will go. 99.99 is your deal today. Actually, do you know another way, great way to set this? Go I'm, on. I'm not a jewellery maker. and certainly not a jeweller, really, and, unless we talk about the conventional stuff. Right, go you on. Know, where it's like, okay, we just set this with prongs or whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these are drilled. Right? Yes. It would be amazing. I don't know if it's possible. I'm sure it is in some ways. Go on. Have, uh, to have like 18 karat gold wire. Yes. Through the centre of it, set on a ring slightly elevated from the hand so you can turn it and you can yes! see the different colors because that's the play of chrism i love that's what that we want yes to see. you talk about how tactile it is yes if it was just there suspended and you could just let it pirouette on the hand and you could see like we talked about we just had messages from people going look at the red in this stone yes this yes yes color. and they're going to showcase all those colors in each and every stone depending on the angle you're from the light the conditions that it's in that is superb well done one chance remaining absolutely Phenomenal. That is incredible. I wasn't going to buy. Oops, I'm in so much trouble. Not yeah, as much Claire. Trouble as me, Claire. I was going to say, Dave's in a lot more trouble than you are, love. <laughs> Got my whoopee, says Carol. That is, in, that is incredible. Quick, and it four seconds ago. Yeah. That was. Wow. We, this is good. <laughs> Our system's good, isn't it? It's really good. They are on it, our viewers, with the old texts. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. <laughs> when are you with us next? Do we know? Yeah, I'll be back, I'll be back with you on Tuesday. Oh, really? Yeah. We've got uh, another incredible showcase gemstone that you haven't seen in a long time. Ooh, ooh. That'll be, uh, unless I'm in on this weekend, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Thank catch you. me when you catch me. Oh, yeah, thank you so much, thank Dave. You, Bless you. And, and also, just a quick thank you to everyone at home as well. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, spending oh. you know, your morning with us. And uh, thank you to everyone that messaged in as well. Perfect. Don't go That's anywhere. Cool. We will see you in a couple of seconds with Gemma. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, 
along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monaco going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. <laughs> Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back, Gemma Crow. Hello. I'm just wrestling with all my mountains of jadeite and pearls. Ooh. What was it you put on your Facebook page? I've never seen so much jadeite and pearls, or, or, no, or close to that effect. I have never had this much. So the design I'd asked to create was this big, big 
very you know Shushy. heavy gemstone, lots of movement and texture. And I'd put all, all these different gemstone suggestions in, thinking that actually to create a kit like this, we'd have to have, you know, alternative stones to this. But Absolutely. No. When I ended up with jade and pearls, I couldn't believe my luck. <laughs> this kit is coming up in the 12. It is absolutely off the scale. That's oh, beautiful. It is off the scale. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, this hour, we've got so much to get through. Um, I'm a little bit worried we're not going to have time. But let's just have a go. Um, so, we have got a triple chain. Have we got a photograph of this? Because I've got three chains. I've got four chains here. Oh, Ooh. man. A triple chain bundle. Okay. Mm. Ah. Ah. So it's these three bad boys. These three bad boys. Here we go. So we've got three bracelet chains for you. Um, do we know what the length of these chains are? Or am I going to have to get the ruler of truth out? Ah, there, there we go. 20 centimeter chains. So you've got your gorgeous paper clip chain. Which is, I'm a big fan of this chain. It's got that really lovely um, kind of contemporary feel to it, hasn't it? Yeah, I love the paperclip chains. I love, I love the angles and the, you know, that's, it's very sleek, isn't it? Mm. I think with a rounded chain, it's, I mean, it's, uh, with a round link chain, it's absolutely gorgeous. But I, I think with a chain like this, you get that really lovely sense of direction, don't you? Yeah. With that, with that kind of elongated link in it. You do. Um, you've got, the, you've then got this really beautiful, quite traditional Rolo chain. Uh, my mum's got a, a locket that she wears, and she's had it since, oh, since, well, since I can remember. And um, and it's on a chain like this. It always reminds me of my mum. This chain, I love it. I love this gorgeous rounded link. It's a very, very um, big kind of substantial chain and we've got this gorgeous chain as well uh, which is kind of more of your overlinks and we're putting this on pre-order oh yeah okay we've got satellite beads coming up as well and we've got a best of March as well uh, which is going to be ridiculous the rope sliding class bracelets which are absolutely gorgeous what are we starting off with lovey the slider bracelets, here they are. These are so cool, I love these. These were a, I'm pretty sure they were a deal of the day actually, just um, a week or so ago. They are absolutely awesome. When you have a sliding class bracelet like this, which is, and, and the first thing that struck me about it was how tight these knots are. They are mm. absolutely incredible. They've been tied so beautifully tight, they're so, uh, wonderful. They will get slightly looser over time, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they're knotted um, with a, a traditional kind of uh, macrame square uh, knot. And they've got this really lovely, well, they've been knotted out of this really lovely, it's kind of like a satin cord, but it's a, basically a nylon braided cord. So it, it's going to be really nice and, um, and, and, um, and kind of it's going to have real longevity to it. If we'd have chosen a cotton, maybe, or a silk, it wouldn't, it wouldn't last any time at all, just purely because of the, because, you know, those natural kind of fibres, yeah. they just, they'd wear through so yeah. quickly, wouldn't they? Less friction with them. Yes. Um, but with these chains, what you've got here, sorry, with these, um, uh, with these uh, rope style uh, macrame bracelets, you've got this really lovely sense of kind of, um, of, of strength to them. The little beads you're going to be getting on the tassels here, these are 925 sterling silver, which is just a really lovely uh, little addition. Now, you can put anything you like in the middle here. Um, you'll notice in the middle, you've got this, um, well, you, you've got this negative space here with these um, uh, two little loops here. You put whatever you like in the middle. We launched them on a show with Claire McDonald, and we were talking about um, uh, what we love about these, what we uh, put in the middle, and Claire said, do you know what, because it's sterling silver beads, um, on the end here, mm. you, it, it would actually do you a huge favour to put something quite precious in yeah, the middle. Absolutely. A lot of designers are doing that right now, aren't yeah. they? They're, they're, they're setting um, big chunky Herkimer quartz or they're setting beautiful spacer beads which are all precious metal or gorgeous 
pearls or jada, you know, really precious things in yeah. the middle of these. And you go onto websites like um, uh, you go onto websites like the Outnet, or you go onto uh, Netta Porter. And that's what so many designers are doing. And those yeah. bracelets are kind of 100, 200, 300 pounds, yeah. aren't they? It's, yeah, it's that combining that casual look, but with, you know, um, expensive gemstones or, you know, high-end gems. Yes. And it's got a really lovely, it's a really lovely contrast. It's actually a little bit like what we were talking about earlier on, about kind of mixing together all your different materials. Uh, so your leather cord with your gemstones, with your chain. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to be getting different colours here. You've got your beautiful um, uh, uh, royal blue. You've got your fuchsia pink. You've got your gorgeous purple. You have your black. And you've got your silver grey as well. Now, we were saying as well when we launched these, I remember that you've got here um, different colours, different shades, which will suit different people. You've most definitely got unisex colours here, though, you know, with, 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 well, with, all, with all of the colours, really, with all five of these bracelets, uh, which is just gorgeous. They've all been sealed really beautifully as well, so you're not going to get that cut. See, look how tight these have been knotted. Ah, yeah. there you go. And um, they've got this really lovely um, um, sealed quality, so you're not going to get that kind of unraveling. You're not going to get that kind of fraying which you would get with other fibres. And the knotting on these have been done so beautifully. It's all been done by hand. You've got your sterling silver beads on here as well, and. It can be so easy and so simple to create looks with bracelets like these. They are really bright, really colourful, really strong, really substantial. They're gorgeous. Now, when we launched these, I can't actually pull that close. It's, the knots are so beautifully tight on these. And, of course, what makes that great is they will get looser over time. But they're absolutely... I mean, they are, they are built to last, these bracelets. Yeah, they're secure, yeah. Really, really good quality. Um, when we launched these, we were looking at these and we were kind of looking at the, uh, at the, uh, at the kind of uh, designs that you can get on Outnet and, and, and other places like that. And we were thinking right now, what price would be great for all five of these bracelets? And we thought, wouldn't it be great if we could do, I don't know, £30 or, some, or something kind of in that kind of region, £30. Um, you know, for a deal of the day, really big quantity. We thought, yeah, that is going to be brilliant. That's what, £6 a bracelet, which is, which is really fantastic, isn't it? You know, that, that, for something which has been made for you, mm. all you've got to do is put something in the middle of it, especially if you're allergic to certain kind of metals as well. You know, the, um, um, even our precious metal um, sliding class bracelets might not might not fit the bill. And if you do want to take these sterling silver spacer beads off, then you can do. Just cut um, your cord, or if you're really, really clever, I mean, oh, mind, it's been sealed closed. You probably will have to cut it, take the bead off, and then just tie another knot in there. Yeah. Um, put whatever you like on there. Put the gemstones on there if you want to, and make it completely and utterly uh, non-metal. It's entirely up to you, and then save the spacer beads for another, for another um, uh, project. Uh, we're at twenty nine ninety nine. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? But it's not your price point today. It's not your deal today. We're going to give you a much, much better deal. Uh, let's give you a clock. Mm. Oh, yeah. And after the clock, we're going to be taking it down to the price point that these went to. These are already being put into baskets. That's great to see. By the way, we're not stopping anywhere near twenty nine ninety nine. We're going to be going a whole lot lower than that, my lovelies. Uh, well done for your five rope slider bracelets it's absolutely brilliant what would be your first kind of go-to what would you put in the middle of these if you wanted to go for that kind of contrast jewelry i, th I think uh, a nice piece of druzy or a, um, a nice did you say you got satellite beads today yeah so maybe one of those uh -huh -huh. Mm. yeah so yeah I, I, I satellite beads would look great yeah. wouldn't they we've got these satellite beads in fact you know what? i'll get the slightly larger ones here look I'd put this with the pink, I reckon. Oh, look at that. Nice. And you just literally put that in the middle of there. That would yeah. look gorgeous. Look at that colour combination. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That's lovely. Very summer. Very kind of high energy, isn't it? That would be absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to see that. Your deal today. Enjoy. These are absolutely um, uh, flying. £14.99. pence. There you go. Lots and lots of people coming through. These are great. Well done. If you've got any gorgeous Charlie Baron pearls and you want to put like a, a South Sea pearl or a Tahitian pearl in the middle of one of these, then you absolutely can do. You put whatever you want. And I think the more kind of different the material is mm. to your gorgeous um, uh, braided bracelets. I mean, they're quite rigid now, but of course they'll become really nice and soft. But if you want to put something completely different with it, um, then go for it. 
I, I, these would take you as well. I mean, joking aside, if you're if you're thinking about how long it would take you to make these bracelets, it would take you, it would take me hours to mm. make these bracelets. On you know by myself. Yeah, and you know that's less. That's just under three pounds each, isn't it? I yes. Mean, the time, you know, your time is important, especially if you're doing oh, fairs, yeah, definitely. you know, craft fairs. You know, you're not having to spend all that time making them at three pounds each. You've still got a massive um, margin for for profit in there. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. You do have to take that into consideration when you're selling your pieces. And if it's taken you, you know, a good, um, you know, half an hour or so to make just one bracelet, then of course you've got to factor that in. Uh, they're fab. I would uh, have to put matching colour gemstones with them. Yeah, I mean, you you go for it or put complete contrast mm. uh, gemstones with them. Someone's asking how long they are. Right, let me get my ruler. Hang on. I think. I think a lovely pearl in the, the two neutrals. You've got two neutrals in black and grey, and I think yes. it's really nice pearl in the centre of one of those would be gorgeous. See, that's a nice idea. Mm. Yes, I think that would work really well. So if we're talking about the longest kind of length, we're talking right the way up to kind of 30 inch, uh, sorry, 30 centimetres, which is like 11, almost 12 inches. I think as well, uh, we, we, when we were speaking about these earlier on, uh, sorry, not earlier on, when we first launched them, They'd make great backs for necklaces, wouldn't they? Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't have to put just, you know, just a little one or two gemstones there. If you want to put a really long length of gemstones in yeah. there, make it into a gorgeous necklace and have a really interesting sliding clasp at the back, you know, with, with macrame. I just, I just, I just mm. love that. Um, yeah. Alison in Greater London. Uh, I like the process of making my own, but want these in my stash for the times when I've forgotten birthdays and don't have time. Perfect. Yes, That's Alison, I love that idea. Yeah, Isn't that gorgeous? Great idea there. But with all the kind of hands to hands that we're doing and the and the beautiful charms with all the symbols, uh, you know, it's it's a great chance to use some of those up, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It really is. And so designer inspired as well, you know, being able to do that and creating that really gorgeous designer inspired jewellery mm -hmm. um, for a fraction of the price and, and, and in a fraction of the time as well. Loads of people coming through. We've got single figures left now. Um, and as Gemma says, you've definitely got your neutrals there as well, which yeah. is which is just so lovely. Yeah. Um, now, oh gosh, now coming up in 15 minutes, we've got this. Oh, this is so lovely. The uh, We've got this gorgeous bow um, connector, oh, which is cute. just so sweet. I'll just that's very there. Fabergé, isn't it? It, it? Do you know what? It really is, isn't it? Yeah, that would be nice in, in, um, in those those bracelets yeah you're absolutely right something really glitzy mm. and beautiful and kind of detailed and sparkly with your cord um sliding class bracelets yes your macrame bracelets but with this gorgeous connector you are also going to be getting these pearls i know they are some of the largest pearls we have ever bought you on jewelry maker they are huge and yeah in the middle of a necklace or hanging down maybe they are gorgeous <coughs> guarantee what <coughs> what for really guaranteed under 50 pounds well you're gonna have to tune in for that that's coming up at half 11. what's coming up what's under 50 pounds this oh, is it? under 50. oh wow Gemma was somewhere else right oh, there what? <laughs> I've no idea where she was. Right, okay, cha 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 chains. Here we go. Let's do. Are we doing the chain bundle first, uh, Neri? Okay, gorgeous. Now, actually, layering these up mm. with your chain bracelets, it's yeah. a really nice thing to do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a really lovely thing to do because, of course, it's mixing up those kind of materials again, mixing up the look, mm -hmm. and just and just yeah. Look at that. Yeah, gorgeous cool. quality. Look at this, you've got this absolutely beautiful lobster claw clasp here with your round link, with your round link chain, gorgeous Rolo chain. Then you've got your over link chain and then you've got your beautiful paper clip chain. I absolutely love it. Gorgeous, three of your sterling silver uh, detailed link chains, they're gorgeous. Would you wear them together? Would you layer them up? Would you kind of clip them together and kind of uh, make them into a gorgeous long line necklace? I mean, they'd look great together, wouldn't they? Yeah, you could do that. That would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Putting them mm. together. Maybe you've got like a capsule 
sort of set there where you can, you know, take take it on holiday and it can be bracelets or necklaces or Nice idea. Yeah. Yes, I like that idea. But it would look great with the satellite beads that we've got coming up as well. I've got mm. some slightly smaller ones here with this gorgeous green onyx. I just love the idea of putting those in there. Um, if you wanted to, I mean, it's entirely up to you, but if you wanted to cut these chains up and use them as tassels and earrings, and you absolutely mm. can do, it's, uh, it's completely up to you. Uh, you're getting three 95 sterling silver chains, all 20 centimetres in length, um, a Rolo chain, a cable chain, and a paperclip chain. Here we go, all the way down. Let's give you the very best deal we can. Oh! Okay, so all the way down. Enjoy. 0800 Go, go, go. Well done. Here we go. Oh, 19.99. There you go for all three of your beautiful bracelet chains. I love them. They're so pretty, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Yeah, and okay. just there's something here for everyone. Uh, my mum loves her kind of more classic, traditional jewellery. I, I quite like modern jewellery. Yeah. Um, you know, you really have got something in here for absolutely everyone. I'm sure there's a way as well that you could maybe plait these together mm. or weave a cord through them maybe and kind of yeah. bind them together almost. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, you could definitely do that. Or, you know, have like the three sections maybe layered in the centre of a necklace. Oh, for yes, a different nice. length. That would be nice if you wanted to use them that way. And that would be so designer, wouldn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Having that kind of, um, having that kind of uh, layering of chains and kind of bringing different types of chain together, really gorgeous. Well done, everyone coming through to get these at £19.99. pence. Well done, everyone. Um, lots and lots and lots still to get through in this hour. Oh, my word. I don't know where today's gone. <laughs> it's literally disappeared. Well done. Okay. Let's do this next chain. I'm going to keep those chains on, actually, because, look, this chain here is an absolute, it's an absolute beauty. Oh, look at like this, it. 95 sterling silver, look, with white topaz. Ah! Oh, lovely, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? Station bracelet. Really yes, nice. nice. Gosh, they look like diamonds, don't they? They're really lovely quality. Mm. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, so nice to have that station quality. Um, again, another great chain if you want to kind of break it up into sections, use it separately. I love these little bezel set white topaz. They're so sweet, aren't they? Yeah, very cute. Yeah. This, I think, would be a great... Um, uh, so, so, so it's got an extended chain on it, which is wonderful because, of course, it means you can wear it in those slightly longer or shorter lengths. Let me just get my ruler. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Um, here we go. Let me have a very quick look. I just want to know how short or long you could wear this. So inch wise, you could wear it really any any length you like, kind of short wise, but it um it goes up to eight. Uh, yeah, eight inches in length it goes up to. And so if you wanted to wear it right down here, then you can do it. And I think for that reason, it would make a great piece of jewellery as someone's first piece of jewellery, maybe for mm. a maybe for a little girl, you know, for a, I don't know, 13th birthday, something like that. You want to give her a, a really lovely bracelet. It's got it, it's got real potential, this one, I think. Mm -hmm. And there's so much you can do with it, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm looking at like, separate components as well. You know, yes. I'm thinking it'd be nice if you had two, you could make matching earrings, you know, just the long oh, length. Oh, yes. Um, from a from an ear wire, that would look lovely. That would be really nice. And look at it there, it's a kind of like a, you know, almost as a brace, uh, sorry, almost as a necklace. That looks absolutely mm. gorgeous, doesn't it? It does. So pretty. Go, go, go. 0800 6 644 We're at 29.99. Not you down today. If you're loving that deal, if you're loving that deal, oh, it's not, nah, 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 nah. It's not your price point today. All the way down, everyone. Well done. Lots of people there. This is great. Well done. Beautiful quality. I just love the way that white topaz has been set. Gorgeous. Well done. So you can wear it from kind of any, any length you like, but kind of really kind of seven to eight inches in length. Um, well done, everyone. People already coming through. That's great to see. Well done. I think a great one to keep maybe in your present drawer. Mm. You know, a great kind of prezi. Um, uh, for, for all ages, all kind of tastes as well, because it goes, it's going to go alongside your pearls, it's going to go alongside any stretchy bracelet which you might want to put it with. Here's your deal today, 14 99 That's brilliant, isn't it? Isn't that fantastic? Can you imagine that in a, in a jeweller's on the high street? Can you imagine that being sold for 14 99 in a high street jeweller's? Absolutely. No right. way! 
That's no. never going to happen. That's amazing. Pauline, Nicolette, one to you. Linda, do multi buy if you want to. Uh, speak to our call centre team and just alter the quantity you put in your basket or just alter the quantity you check out on our website or on our app. Kathy, well done to you, my lovely, in Kentucky. Well done to you, Linda. Deborah, well done to you in Lancashire. Gorgeous. And also, if you think about the price of a really nice, and I do mean a really nice, because I know you can get Easter eggs for about a quid, mm. but they taste disgusting. Uh, but if you, you know, really, really nice Easter egg, they're about, they're about kind of 10, 15 pounds, maybe kind of, you know, 12 um, uh, pounds. You've got pretty much here, you've got like a, a you know, an Easter gift, haven't you, with that yeah. kind of price point. Carol, well done to you, my lovely. Yeah. Nice. 0800 644 I refuse to get my kids chocolate at Easter. You know, that's, you know, they're, you know, if grandparents do that, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> Get inundated, don't they? Yes, I, they <laughs> totally do. And then the next door neighbours come round with chocolates. Yeah. And then I'm seeing one of my friends on um, on the Monday, and she's a real feeder. And I know that she's going to have got the kids. You know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? You've just got to yeah. You've got to rein it in a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, what happens is, is you have a couple of glasses of wine, and then at the end of the day, you end up eating, eating the chocolate. Yeah. And I can't buy Easter eggs in advance. I've, oh no, they'll just go. I've done that they'll too many go. times. Have you? Mm. There's nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> I once bought There's Easter twelve. Bunny bin. No. <laughs> I bought twelve once, and I, none of them made it to Easter. No, really. Yeah, because every time Tom and I oh. went to watch a film, we go, we just have an egg. So, yes, yeah. let's just have another egg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Twelve. In what period are we talking about, Gemma? Oh, it's about like four or five weeks. Like you know. I've, I've got lots of She's got and nieces, nieces and, and nephews and yeah. friends with children and yeah. It's pretty the little Buy them for herself. Inventing people. <laughs> inventing people to buy them for. One right. for luck. Hey. <laughs> One for luck. <laughs> yeah. And two for luck. <laughs> right, okay. Start by. Okay, this one I'm a little bit scared of today because what Neary said we were planning, he's planning on doing is not what I think we should be doing. Hmm. I personally disagree with this, but it's not about what I think is good and it's not about what... It's not about what Gemma thinks it's good. It's about what we can actually genuinely do. Let's start off with the connector. Gorgeous sterling silver bow connector. What I love about this is it, it looks like a ribbon, doesn't it? it does. You've got those little cut ends there, like little mm. fishtail ends there. One's slightly longer than the other. They're both kind of flopping it, it just it looks like an actual ribbon it has does. been tied doesn't it? it does it's a it's a lovely it's a lovely detail it's so pretty it's been encrusted with cubiciconia you've got a connection point here and you've got a little connection point just there as well it's a really beautiful well made well well manufactured clasp and you can see that those cubiciconias there have been Gem set, they've been prong set, beautiful silver detail on the back with those little kind of pinholes to let light through into the Cabixicone. It's just a really beautiful piece. Now, I, I, I love the idea of this as a connector in, in, within the necklace. Or if I wanted to take one of those little loops off, I love the idea of this just hanging down as maybe a little pendant and just kind of, mm. you know, hanging down um, uh, and, and, and uh, looking even more like a beautiful little ribbon that's just kind of, um, uh, kind of falling in, uh, <coughs> in, in, in one direction. Gorgeous. Now, oh, that's nice. That looks really nice. You've got a pearl, you've got a bow. <coughs> And they've just put a chain through the top of the bow. That's a really nice idea, actually. You mm. so could do that. Let me get one of these chains, actually. Hang on. Here we go. I'm just doing this so you can see what it might look like, but you'd need to take the loop off one of the ends there. Oh, well, well, no, you don't need to. I would, mm. just because I think um, otherwise you're going to... It might look a little bit strange. Mm. But it's up to you. Look at that. OK, here we go. What do you think, Gemma? Would you yeah. leave the other loop on there? Or? No, if I was going to use it like that, I'd take the loop off. 
So that, that looks really nice. Although it's, it's fairly well hidden, so if you wanted to keep your options open, you could you yes. know, wear it like that and then change it to something you else. You so could. With, yeah, your pearl on the bottom there. Mm. Gorgeous. That would be perfect. It's $140. Gorgeous. Amazing. Incredible. Okay. Um, right. Shall we look at these pearls? Hmm. Now, these pearls, there's pearls and there's pearls. And it's interesting, actually. Um, I've seen photographs on the internet of what I would describe as substandard quality pearls, i.e. rubbish, i.e. Um, yeah, i.e. the nacre is so thin on it that there's no luster. It actually looks like just like a piece of, a piece of paper. There's absolutely no luster whatsoever, yeah? So there's that, and then there's this, where each one of these pearls is so decadent, is so flawless, is so deep and, 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 and illuminating. It's wonderful. The life, the luster you're getting here is superb. But it's not just that, is it? Because look at the size of these. 9 to 10 mil in size. Now, they look big on the recording there. You wait till you see them on the back of my hand. <coughs> These are absolutely huge. Oh, my word. I mean, monumental pearls. They're gigantic, they Gemma. They are enormous, aren't they? I, they, are, they are enormous pearls. Pearls are valued in, in lots of different ways, about a lot of the ways that we've just spoken about, but also in size. And when you get pearls which, um, which are over a certain size, and those two sizes, those kind of magic numbers are 7 mil and 10 mil. Once they're over 7 or 10 mil, they've kind of, meet, they've kind of met that magic number and the value of them shoots up. These are 9 to 10 mil. I'm not being funny. I think we've been extraordinarily conservative with the sizing on these because these, for me, these are edging up towards 11 to 12. They are huge pieces. They are. They're breakfast at Tiffany Pearls, aren't yes. they? Yes. Audrey Hepburn size pearls. Oh, my gosh, yes. Aren't they just? Mm, they're beautiful. Look at them at the neckline as well because even on the back of my hand, I don't think it really kind of, it really, it really kind of sinks in. Until you see them like, look at that! Yeah, they're beautiful. Huge pearls. Massive quality. Now these have got to be, these have got to be, these are gorgeous. These have got to be just the pearls on their own. Yeah, look at this, um, look at this price comparison we've got here. You could say that that price comparison, the pearls are rounder. Yeah, okay, fair enough. They're seven hundred and forty-seven pounds and sixpence. <laughs> that sounds like quite a lot of money. Six hundred and forty-nine pounds. Yep. Okay. Nice, nice clasp on there. Yeah. Lovely. Look at the start price here. Look at the start price right here, right now. Oh wow! That's the start price. 129.99 individual split payments of 64.99 and if you heard what we said just a few moments ago about what we were going to promise these under then you better get it now because today for the whole look you are going to be paying less than what the split payment is right now the split payment at the minute is 64.99 oh yeah your deal enjoy here we go 49.99 for the pearls and the bow connector. I forgot you'd said about going under, under that 50 yeah. pounds. I couldn't believe it. Under <laughs> 50 pounds. Under 50 pounds. What can I hear? I can hear a ticking. Strange ticking. Hang on. Wait a minute. There's a clock on screen. Paul's got the clock out again. Guess what? It's not your price. We're at 49.99. It's not your deal today. You are going to be getting an even better deal for what I can only describe as the most flawless pearls imaginable. 
They are gorgeous. Are they going to go with the 12 o'clock kits? Oh, you betcha. You betcha. Is it going to go with the gorgeous necklace that Gemma has prepared? Uh, a masterclass for us. Oh, you betcha. Yes. Absolutely. Loads in baskets. No one, no one, <laughs> no one is going to be prepared for how low this is, uh, this is going to go today. £24.99. <laughs> that is a mistake. That's unbelievable. How on earth? I've no idea, Gemma. I've actually got no idea. Pauline, Jeanette, Carol, Diana, Maker, Claire, Virginia, Agnes, Alison, Joyce, Maker, Lynette. Di I have absolutely no idea how we can do that. No. No. It's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. Gail, Angela, Brenda, Jackie, Maker in Greater Manchester, Belinda, Rita, they are flying out the door. I, I mean, th there are places for your sterling silver Cubic Ciconia bow connector where the, where the connector on its own would be 24 dollars mm. You imagine going into Pandora or going, you know, going into any kind of charm shop. I can imagine that being 24 dollars on its own. For the pearls, the pearls. One pearl I can imagine being 24 dollars Not the entire strand. On the strand, by the way, you're going to be getting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30... 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44. 44 pearls. It's not like a half strand or a quarter strand. There's 44 pearls approximately on this incredible strand. And you're going to be getting the connector for the price point which you would pay for one pearl or, you know, the connector on its own. Not for 44 of the pearls and the connector. It's amazing. 56p a pearl. Agnes has got two. Maria's got two. Gail's got two. Jackie's got two. Manchester's got two. Well done. Loads in baskets. Check out. There is a big queue on the phone lines. Please be patient. We will answer your call as soon as we can. I am absolutely over the moon for you today. Well done, Brenda, Lorna, Lynette, C, Claire, Maker in Flintshire, Jane. Um, it is absolutely sensational. Well done, everyone. People coming back through again to buy another one. That's great to see. It looks like Gail's going to be getting another one. Rita, well done to you on the Isle of Wight. That's fantastic. Well done. $24.99 just doesn't cover the cost for any of this, I believe. No, it's, it's phenomenal. I, I really am quite um, flabbergasted, really, yes. with the price of that. It really is tremendous, isn't yeah. it? Well done. More people with multiples in their baskets. Well done. It's just tremendous, isn't it? Perth and Kim Ross coming through. Just like to say thanks to the silver buying team. The connectors recently have been simply amazing. Yeah. Alison, haven't they just? They've got... They've really been well thought through, I think, yeah. these connectors, don't you think? Yeah, they're gorgeous. I was just admiring, actually, how the, the dip towards the connector will allow for sort of a bead to not um, interfere with the design. It's, it's really well thought through. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And look at the kind of the, the, con, um, the convex uh, nature of this as well. It's kind of ever so slightly domed, so yeah. it's going to sit slightly away from the skin, which, of course, means in turn you're going to get these... Um, really, uh, you know, these gorgeous Cabixiconas are just going to sparkle so beautifully. Mm. How long is the strand, please? Carol, get your magic ruler out. I know, sorry. Sorry, collector. Here we go. Let's get the rule of truth out. The strand is 37, 38 centimetres in length, which is uh, 15 inches. So it, let's just think you want to knot this. Mm. You're going to add on a little bit, and if you put the connector in the middle, it's going to be a nice. It's going to be a nice kind of length. Isn't it? It's going to be a perfect yeah. length, I think. So if we, by the time we've got a clasp and the knots and the connector, you're looking at about an 18 inch. Yes, I think you are. Um, necklace. Of yes. course, you can put extender chains yes, even on a knotted necklace. Of course, you can. Yes. Do you know what? I'm thinking. I've been watching Bridgerton the second. Oh, season, have you? And it, it's it's very. I bet you have. It's very inspired. <laughs> 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 oh yeah so it's very yes. that, that that style you know which again we know what happened last time Bridgerton was on that style went mad everybody Huge. wanted the yes. high necklines absolutely and the, the filigree connectors and things like that this is perfectly on yeah. style I, I, you, you know what you are absolutely right these are just so they are so beautiful they're so on trend they're a really gorgeous nod to that beautiful kind of heritage, um, you know, estate jewellery. And you can get that look, you can have that, you can have the chance to make that style of jewellery 
today for under £25. Absolutely amazing. I don't even want to know what Tom Neary's doing right yeah. now. Uh, Virginia, you've got two. Joyce Maker in London in Surrey. Well done to you. Sue, Carol, Tracy, well done. Neary's going down a very different route uh, <laughs> with what we've got coming up next. This is all very exciting. Well done at £24.99. Amazing. Well done. Gorgeous. Okay, now we're looking at satellite beads. I just love... I just love what I know. Gorgeous jewellery. Is this in-house designers who made it? Oh, I love the in-house designers. They're so good, aren't they? Yeah. I really like the satellite beads, Gemma. I do. I, I love the shape. I absolutely love the shape. Yeah. They, they're, it's easy to work with as rounds, but they just give you just a, a little edge. The, the, that, that little bit more edgy, a little bit more dressy um yes it's just lovely i think it's to do i think it's definitely to do with the shape um where you've got that belt of facets going around the mm. middle and then you've got the facets going like that on either side so you get this really lovely luster mm. um and it and it, it, with any gemstone which is lovely so even gemstones which i wouldn't consider to be particularly lustreful like these beryls for instance mm. you're getting a really lovely sparkle quite difficult to get a sparkle from a gemstone which is quite light in color but look at it here isn't that gorgeous yeah. your aquamarines your heliodores your beautiful um uh morganites it's gorgeous multi-gem beryl strand it's just multi-color sorry beryl strand it's just gorgeous isn't it those colours are so lovely. They're so wedding and prom, aren't they? Yeah. It's just, it's the just, ah. Uh, they're Easter bunny colours, aren't they? Oh, gosh, they totally <laughs> are. Mini egg colours. Mm. Don't, I know. <laughs> it's literally my favourite chocolate in the entire world. I love mini eggs. A mini eggs. egg. My um, Tom brought home some chocolate orange mini eggs. Oh, gosh. Yes. Oh, gosh. What's Lethal. Are, are they orange? Is, is there orange chocolate? The outside? Yeah, no, no. The outside just looks like a mini egg. Oh, God. But yeah, it's just orange chocolate. I think what it is with me, with, with the mini egg, is it's the fact that it's crispy on the, the outside, outside, crunchy on the outside, and just solid chocolate on the inside. Yeah, perfect. I think you have to have at least 12 before you decide how many you want to eat. <laughs> yes. And they are wonderful. <laughs> um, the lady I have my nails done with, she's, she's um, doing mini egg nails at the minute. It's oh, kind, of like a, kind of like a speckled kind oh, of um, a, a top coat to go on them. Oh, nice. oh they look gorgeous. OK, right. <laughs> um, but I would start biting my nails. <laughs> uh, so you've got your gorgeous uh, beryl here and these gorgeous satellite colours. Let's stop talking about mini eggs before we all start to, yes, get very, very hungry. <laughs> um, here we go. Price point near no, no, come on, love. <laughs> just go straight down. We've got to show some of your slides in a minute as well, Neri, because these are just tremendous. You spent a lot of work, a lot of time. You do. That, I mean, that's gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. I love Neri's PowerPoints. He makes them in literally 30 seconds. Well done. 12 99 They're absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Um, for your gorgeous multicolor barrels. They are beautiful, yeah. aren't they? Gorgeous size, lovely shape. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. 0800 655. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well done at £12.99. They're just gorgeous. You've got the beginnings of emerald in there as well, haven't you? Which is just gorgeous. Yeah. Well done, everybody. They're just stunning, aren't they? Great for your Easter projects. Great for your kind of, um, for your beautiful, um, uh, maybe your, oh, lots of people are doing kind of Easter wreaths, aren't they, at yeah. the minute, and bonnets yeah. and things. And Easter trees. Easter it, trees. I love the Easter trees. You know, just get some branches from the garden, spray them white and hang gemstones and eggs from yes. them. Yes. Gorgeous. Absolutely. More chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, well done, everybody. Gorgeous. If you see what? If we see over 20 people on the lines, we've got 50 chances available, then he's going to go to 9.99. Let's get them gone. I'm just relaying everything he's saying in my, in my, in my, in my ear. Okay. Okay, we've got, okay, we got plenty of people there. Okay, there's lots of people on the phone lines out. There we go. You want these for 9.99 today, don't you? I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. Add them onto your order, everyone. 0800 644 655. Go on, Neri. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Add them onto your order. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Ah, there we go. Well done, everybody. He's going to do it. Well done, Anjum. You've got two. Maker in London. Alison in London. Gabrielle, Angela, Elizabeth, Karen, Melissa. Hope we've got you all thinking about mini eggs and chocolate now. I know, it's bad, <laughs> isn't it? 
Gabrielle, Alison, Yvette, well into you, Maker, Chris, there you go, 9.99. Enjoy. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Well done, everybody. Neary says that these look like the space thing. <laughs> well, like a rocket or something? Or the International Space Station or something? Would you like to go into outer space? No. No, neither would I. Not really. I, I get don't terrible so. agoraphobia, so I'd open spaces I'm a bit funny yeah. with. Yeah, no, I... No. No, 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 like, I just think about... The, I just think about the Martian, and I think about... And I think <laughs> about... Um, what else is there? I like, There's, I like Earth. I like Earth too. I like Earth very much. I like Earth too. Me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd like to go up to kind of like the see, see the curvature of the Earth and maybe into to so you start to kind of float around in zero gravity. But yeah. that would be it. As far as I'd go. Well, Wallace and Gromit went to the moon. I'd quite like to go to the moon actually and eat cheese and biscuits like they did. That would be <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe we're talking about this. It's so odd. Right, angelite. Oh, so you now this is a perfect gemstone to go alongside your jade eye, isn't it? It's, oh it's, yes! It's the gemstone of meditation. You know, it was discovered. It was discovered during the biggest um, <gasps> sort of meditation oh. session the world's ever had. Collective meditation. That's when it was discovered. And so, what? Yeah. So there was a, a collective. It was in the sixties. Right. There was a, yes. Like a collective meditation session, and angelite was discovered during that meditation. And so it's been, that's, I think that's why it's got its name and why. Really? Why it's so um, revered in the sort of, in the S spiritual world. Spiritual world. Mm. I had no idea. What an amazing fact. Yeah, well, we'll have to research it thoroughly, but it, it, that's, that is definitely what happened. Wow. I don't know the ins and outs. I love that idea. I love that. Um, I love that kind of thought. That's an amazing. Mm. Wow, what an amazing fact. Okay, lowest ever price. Here we go. By an absolute mile. <laughs> <laughs> they look like a spaceship. They do a little bit, I suppose. Seven ninety nine for you today. Well done. They are just gorgeous. Well done, Gloria. What well a maker, Catherine. Can I just say, I, I I personally think that the reason why. They are, they're called satellite beads, might be to do with the fact that, you know, the International Space Station's got loads of those kind of solar powers on or whatever they are, mm. the panel thing. They look yeah. a bit, the, the facets look like panels, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Do you think it's the actual body shape of a satellite? Uh, I think... I don't know. I think they're called satellite beads because they are supposed to sit like stations that are Oh, around. Gemma, stop bringing it back to jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you, what do you think this is? Jewellery maker? <laughs> Hey, that's where it comes from. With your station satellite necklaces. Like sta hey? Station necklaces. We have little stations of activity and interest. And these are those little stations. Design, design. design. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yes they do look like the satellites. Yes, they absolutely do. Gemma, let's face it, Gemma is right, isn't she? And Gemma, <laughs> Neary, what on earth are you doing with, um, with a picture of NASA rockets uh, on the bottom plasma there? Take that off there and find some station satellite necklaces. Well done to you, Catherine. You've got two. Angela's got two. Yvette's got two. Diana, well done to you. Anjum's got three now. Well done to Jan, Shirley, Helen. What do you know? It doesn't really matter. Whatever you think, just text him. What do you think? <coughs> what do you think? Why do you think they're called satellite beads? <laughs> well done, Shirley. Gorgeous. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love, oh, you, I love you, Neary. No, no. Yeah, here we go. See, I, they're gorgeous. I haven't got any Labradorite satellite beads. I've got most of the other, other gems. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh my goodness me, look at that recording. See, <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's such a deep color. They're, yes. They're beautiful. I can see those with gold pearls. Mm. Um, yeah, golden, golden pearls and, and little gold spacer beads. Yes. And I think they look so lovely alternated with rounds, the, the satellite beads. I know yes. the temptation is to put them together, but they look gorgeous alternated with rounds. of the same size. It just gives you that extra bit of interest. Do you know what? We had that metre length strand of, tan oh, sorry, not tanzanite, sorry, uh, labradorite in the mm. eight o'clock hour this morning. They'd look lovely with that metre long strand, yeah. wouldn't they? Because they were beautiful rounds, yeah. weren't they? That would look gorgeous. Fourteen ninety nine for you to say. Already makers coming through to get this. Not even remotely close to where we're going to be today. You're, really? 
You got my two for that. What? Whoa, here we go, everyone. <laughs> Maker in London, well done to you. More makers coming. There we go. $7.99. That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Seven. Oh, whoa, look at everyone there. Gabrielle, Maker and Flincher. You've got two in your basket. Jane, Allison, well done to you. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's in that kind of um, uh, shape as well, where I want this in jewelry, which is going to move and turn and spin. And yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm imagining having this shape in amongst something like the, the necklace that we're going to look at at 12. You know, oh, that's 12 o'clock. Having that extra facet, that extra sort of bit of um you know dynamic movement that's going to look fantastic in in with that oh, design look we are literally about 10 minutes away from the best kits in the world the ever extra. in the history of the entire world <laughs> ever <laughs> quite an accolade do you know what you're absolutely right Gemma that looks so good See, that's why you're a guest designer that's why you're the most creative mind I know <laughs> look at that oh look there's a little kind of Ooh. So like a frame. As a little frame. Oh, that's nice. Oh, my word, that does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, very <gasps> sassy, I like that. There you go. Oh, and as you say, just adding in, I'm just going to give it a bit of a wiggle because, as you say, adding in that extra facet just gives it mm. a bit of something. It does a bit of something, doesn't it? It really jazzy, does. Jazzy, Jazzy. Why don't you make has got two? <laughs> Regine, Agnes, Dorothy's got two. Beverly, why don't you? Loads of multi bidders and loads of these in baskets. Check out when you can, my lovelies. Well done. I cannot wait mm. for those kids. They are outrageously beautiful. I know there's millions in baskets. Do you know what? That's a great deal. Michael, can we see the baskets, love? I know. I oh, look the, at um... Oh, did I hear you tut then? Did you just tut me? <laughs> Oh, it was, the, it was the clip on the thing. It just sounded just like a tut. Oh, I got Alison's captions yesterday. Well, yes, so these, I was going to say. I might have to get these too. <laughs> Virginia, Maker, Maker and Kent, Emma, Jeannie, uh, Nicola, Gloria, Karen, Fiona, Maker, Alison, Yvette, loads of you there. Check out my lovelies. Well done. Yes, with that gorgeous um, £10 uh, Labrador kit we did yesterday, <coughs> which was just obscene. Mm. That Labrador was so good. It was just absolutely beautiful. Oh, what are you thinking of making with yours? Because they're so gorgeous, aren't they? I'm just, I've, I've recently um, got a stand in the shop, so they want lots of oh. captions wrapped. So that's what I'll be doing. Oh, Gemma, how wonderful. Mm. Oh, how gorgeous. Virginia's got two. Well done to you, my lovely. Well done. Girls, try the multi. Oh, don't. I'll try the multi. They're so good. Mini bunnies. Yum. Hips. Ah, well. We, um, my dad has a shop. And um, so after Easter, when he's overstocked with oh, Easter don't. eggs, they, they generally get put in a box and sent down to Gloucester for distribution. And... Um, we had <laughs> amongst the children, and yes. uh, I and I'm one of the children, so I get of course yes first dibs, um, and I had a whole box of Easter of those bunnies. They didn't last very long. Have you tried the golden eggs? I think they're galaxy ones. They're very not. They're very sweet though. Quite mm. sickly. The Reese's eggs. You what? must love those. I didn't know there was such a thing. Stop what filled it. with peanut butter? Yes. You're kidding me. Oh, that's it. I'm bringing you some. On the 12th. It is the chocolate show near it. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Reese's eggs. I can't believe you haven't had one of those. No. You're the peanut butter queen. The kits are coming up. Yes. <laughs> I love peanut butter more than I love my own children. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's <right>. close. <laughs> can't have it in the house. I'll just eat it. <laughs> Look at this. Lapis lazuli satellites. Mm. No, it's not, Neary. Don't believe you. Triple A quality, lapis lazuli. Mm, that's gorgeous. It's natural. It is natural lapis lazuli. What? What? No. But natural lapis lazuli. I can't believe it. We're going to take the <coughs> price all the way down for you today for your black tag deal. Gee willikers for triple A quality lapis lazuli. Diana, maker in Tyner Weir, maker in, Lin in Lincolnshire. Do you know what's so cool as well? $7.99, absolutely tremendous. That's a, that's a ridiculous deal. I have to say as well, with your, with your um, satellite beads, they do tend to be the same. Well, they're obviously the same shape, but they do tend to be kind of reasonably similar in size. 
What a lot of people do is they buy a load of satellite strands and then they take, uh, they cut all the strands out, put them in a bowl and then pick them up one at a time and just rosary link them or, yeah. or just put them onto a knotted necklace or just straight onto a, a, yeah. um, a beading thread. Yeah. And, um, and you just get this gorgeous multi-gem stone satellite bead necklace. I mean, yeah. gosh, what a gorgeous piece that would be. Absolutely beautiful, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Well done, Catherine, Arthur, Sue. Jane, Abby, Jan, well done to you, Dorothy. You look at everyone coming through, that's amazing. They, oh, they're lovely. Do you know what? They look great um, macrame with wire as well because you get this gorgeous Ooh. frame around them. They look really... Oh, so um, do you pull the wire around them? So you, yeah, you pull the wire around and it sort of frames them like a little um, hexagonal frame. It, that's it just gorgeous. looks really lovely. What a wonderful design idea. Anjum's bought three, Elizabeth's got two, Angela's got two, Diana's got two. There's so many multi bidders. Mm. And it's the same people, which is so lovely. They're gorgeous. These are going to sell out. Well done, everyone. In baskets, Susan, Elizabeth, Nicola, Lynn, Maker, Diane, uh, Lynn, Janet, Teresa, Dorothy. Blah, 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 blah. Well done, everybody. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I'm loving these. One of the most prolific gemstones on planet Earth, right here, with your lapis lazuli. And it is completely natural. Oh, gosh. Beautiful. Well done, everyone. There we go. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Gorgeous. Right, let's, yes, let's do the amethyst. Oh, you've got to do the yellow tiger's eyes. Yes, well, all right, Gemma. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to put Going as fast as I can. <laughs> Gee whiz. Here we go. It's oh. your amethyst. It's your amethyst moment. <laughs> Far too excited. <laughs> oh, it's just too exciting. It's far too exciting, isn't it, Kinga? Yes. Look at her go. <laughs> She's lovely with all the strength. Oh. You, you've got this sorted now, haven't you, oh, love? that's delicious. Yes. Delicious. Mm. Delicious. I like that together, Delicious. You know. Look at all of those. Mm. These are going with my black jade. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice idea. That's a great thought, isn't it? Look at all of those together. They look awesome, don't they? Mm. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Here we go. How much were they? Nine ninety nine. Gee whiz. Which ones are we doing? Yellow or the golden? Or the, the this one? I always think these look like highly polished wood, don't you? Mm. They're beautiful. I think this is a gorgeous cut for um, for Tiger's Eye. Yes. It really does something to it. Ooh. It's gorgeous. They really are stunning. Seven ninety nine. That's absolutely amazing. Annie, Lynn, Teresa, make it. Are you right in there, Neary? Oh, gosh. Well done to you. Gorgeous. Diana, well done to you. Angela, well done to you. Gorgeous. Loads of people there. Oh. Ooh. You got some Hang on, we've had a collector they? messaging in. <coughs> I think you might be, well, no, you're definitely right. They called satellites, after, sorry, they're called satellites after the name of the Telstar, the first satellite ever to go into orbit. Oh, wow. I think you're right, collector. That looks like a serious piece of kit, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I like the look of that. It does. It's beautiful. That's not something out of Doctor Who. Look at all the rivets on there. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> I'm loving that. Thank you, Collector. Any other amazing facts, please send them in. We'll be writing them down and presenting them later on in the week. Uh, fantastic. Well done. After the break, the best. Oh, Kenga. Get out. <laughs> After the break. <gasps> Brum. It was like a drum roll, that, wasn't it? This. <laughs> Put the steel drums away. This incredible, awe-inspiring necklace with one of the best kits we've ever done. Don't go anywhere. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. 
You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, join us for Battle of the Beads with Hannah and Monaco going head to head. Date, Saturday the 23rd of April. Location, the Village Solly Hall. An epic showdown you won't want to miss. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. <laughs> Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Where do you even start with this kit? Uh, it's hard to know. Yeah, which end should we start with? <laughs> it's just... Look, Michael's there. On and on and on and on and on. Oh, and on and on. And on. And are we even in the middle yet? No. And on. There we go. We're in the middle. And on. And on. And on. <laughs> and on. And on. Uh, look at that focus control he's got there. And on. And on. And on. Right. <clears throat> and on. And on. Uh. And on. Oh. 
Michael Groves, there he is. My favourite Michael, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, so you went, you went to the team and said, I would like to make this kind of jewellery. Mm. And you gave a few suggestions of gemstones. Yeah. So pearls when, and jadeite being two of them. Yeah, it was, I mean, obviously pearls and jadeite in there, but I figured I'd just have a little strand and maybe some, you know, nugget pearls. Or, Shell pearls, maybe? Yeah, or, yeah. Yeah. yeah, something, because, you know, I wanted to make this big statement piece. Um, and and to be to be fair, the the, the style sort of warrants this level of of um, gemstone, and so I you know I'm over the moon that we got to do it with such amazing beads, amazing gems, you know. Ha had so. you seen a design like this somewhere, or did you just have it in your head? So yeah, in my mind, I made one, I made something similar for myself going back about a year or maybe even oh, two really? years ago, and I've and I'd made it out of lots of leftover strands. Oh. So all different pearls, all different, um, anything blue. Yes, and, and okay. It, it, you know, and it was that piece. And I wanted to recreate something like that for, for a show. And um, so after, obviously, that's, that's a couple of years ago, I asked to do that. So this is the wow. result, you know, with jade and pearls. I mean, yeah. You are getting here. Um, if, let's measure this in centimetres because that, that's going to, so 40 to there. And another 40 to there. I can just about see where that is. Uh, and another 35. So 40 add 40 add 35 is 115 centimetres of pearls. <laughs> Jadeite wise, let's have a look. It's going to be, I can imagine it being more than a metre, but it, it might not be. Let's have a look. 40 to there. I can see it there. Don't stop looking at that bead, Carol. There we go. There's another 40. And there's a, yeah, 20. 20, yeah. A hundred <laughs> centimetres of jadeite. A meter. Hmm? So one meter fifteen of pearls and a meter of jadeite. And then you get yellow gold plated silver spacer beads. You get a yellow gold plated silver magnetic clasp. Is it magnetic or is it a screw clasp? It's, a, it's magnet. a magnetic one. Yeah. And then you get gorgeous natural silk uh, with this gorgeous sage colour. Now, obviously, I, I would, I'll be totally honest with you, with the natural silk, if you're going to be making pieces like this, um, or if you're going to be making marlis, you're going to need a lot more than the amount of silk you've got here. So I would personally say I'd probably use a silk with some of the other kits. The colour, I've never seen this colour of silk before. It's gorgeous colour, isn't it? It's a beautiful spring kind of sage green, isn't it? It's yeah. absolutely, it goes with the jadeite absolutely beautifully. Just look at that. Look at those colours together. They look so wonderful, don't they? Great with the pearls as well, yeah, I think. I think they're lovely with the pearls. Like you said, very springtime, very sort of um, snowdrops and yes. you know, that sort of feel to it. It's fresh, isn't it? Yeah. It's gorgeous. In 10 seconds, the graphics... Oh, I feel really bad. I've just destroyed the little display. Five seconds, the graphics are going to be live. Go on, Gemma, give that a bit of a pull and see if we can get it sitting. There it we nice go. Absolutely gorgeous. Graphics are live. <laughs> Enjoy and just go completely wild for this kit. I wouldn't even like to hazard a guess how what the value what the worth is of these gemstones i mean it's almost i think it's actually almost impossible to say because you are getting so many premium gems here the jadeites are, are so 
varied in their colours. You've got some here which are kind of almost blue. Mm. You've got some moss and snow ones. You've got some with moments of gorgeous translucency. I mean, it must have been very difficult for you, to uh, Gemma, to kind of select which ones you were going to put where. Did, was there any kind of thinking behind it? Or did you just go, look, they're all amazing quality. I'm just going to put them wherever. I did. That's, that's exactly yeah. what I did. I just, you know, there's some slight graduations in size. So sometimes I use the smaller ones towards the back of the piece. Because, you know, there's, there's slight graduations. I mean, they're natural gemstones is going to be. Yeah. So, so uh, that is about the only planning um, in terms of layout I did. So they're absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what? Do you know what I love about these pearls as well? It's three strands of pearls, mm. and they're very, I mean, they are different to each other. Let's have a mm. quick look at them, shall we? Because they are slightly different to each other. These. And they're, oh these gosh, are I know they're, they are ridiculous, aren't they? Those I was tempted to save those separately, but uh, in the end, I just went all out. I totally, <laughs> no, I totally get that though, Gemma, because they are very, very special. These pearls here are gorgeous. Um, mm. They're a slightly smaller, a slightly smaller size, and they've got these gorgeous rings going around them which in turn does a couple of things. It gives the pearls that kind of slightly undulating surface, so you're gonna get even more pearlescence from them. Mm -hmm. But I think what it does most importantly is it, it proves and it confirms that they are genuine pearls. Yeah. Uh, there's no kind of like, oh, are they, are they, are they um, shell pearls? Are they glass pearls? No, they're absolutely genuine freshwater culture pearls. The next strand is absolutely gigantic. Again, you've got some of these beautiful rings going around. Look at that one there. Isn't that a beautiful pearl? You might want to save that one uh, to go in the middle of a necklace, you know, with wire wrapping around it, you know, follow, uh, following the contours of that pearl. Mm -hmm. And that's just how the mollusk has deposited the nacre over the irritant over many, many months and years in this case with this particular strand. But it is this strand here, which is, oh, it is, it's like, it's like satin in a, in a, in a strand. It is so smooth, so blemish free. And it's got that gorgeous rice shape going through the strand as well. They're gorgeous. Here are the sizes of your pearls. So you've got your rice pearls, which are eight to nine mil. You've got your potato pearls here, which are seven to, so these are seven to eight. These are eight to nine. These are nine to 10, okay? The jadeite you're going to be getting here, these are all eight mil in size. So it's nice they kind of sit in the middle of those sizes between seven and 10 mil, isn't it? It's really, it's really lovely. <coughs> Nothing's trying to dominate each other. Um, how striking the necklace would be with a little black dress. I know, yeah. isn't it gorgeous? I, do you know, I love this bracelet you've made as well. Oh. I love the little links of chain you've got coming off there. I, oh, I just, it's so, it's got such movement, Gemma. Yeah, it's, it's delicate as well, isn't it? It's got that delicate feel and the yes. chain is sort of quite, I don't know, tinkly sort of movement. It's like, it's like it's, I don't know how no, to explain you're it. It's so lovely. right. I think you're just, right. It feels very pretty. And the pearls kind of wobble almost, yeah. don't they? I just love that yeah. little linkage you've got there. It's just, it's yeah. just so beautiful. Can I take this off the bus? Do you mm. mind? Um, I, I, oh, oh my gosh! You should put it on. I mean, it just. Do you know feels what it does? Beautiful. It is beautiful, and, and the way that this is going to fall around your neckline, I can just tell I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall in love with it. It is um, a, a sensibly what a three strand necklace, Gemma, that you've yeah. made here. Yeah, it's three strands all put together. I'm just gonna hold it there like that, because otherwise I'll never get it off. And then look at that! Oh my gosh, Gemma! It's gorgeous, doesn't it feel lovely? Oh, it feels amazing. Mm. And, and you've been wearing this over the last few days, haven't you? Yeah, I put, I put it on yesterday, <laughs> and. Um, just, oh, I thought I'd put it on. I, I, I did something on Facebook and I thought I'll put it on to show what's coming today. Yes. And I forgot to take it off. Um, and I wandered down to the shop in the city centre <laughs> and realised I had it on. And I quickly zipped my top back up, my yes. coat up over the top because it felt a bit too sort of luxurious to be yes. wearing in the town centre, really. <laughs> it is absolutely phenomenal uh, it is it is such a lovely piece and i just really and, and, and i don't know about anybody else but i just really sense Gemma's Gemma's satisfaction and kind of joy and 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 her love for this incredible piece i probably haven't put that back on the bus right you have a quick look and see um but um yeah even down to the earrings which are let's face it you know really quite simple um they are they just look so expensive the materials you've got here are exquisite now Quantity-wise for this kit, now let's be honest, 
With a kit like this, we're never going to be able to bring you like uh, 500 of these, 300 of these, 200 of these. We have got a limited edition kit for you to make the jewellery of a lifetime with. Let's, and I don't think that that is kind of over overplaying it. I think that what you've got here is the, the individual value, the individual quality of what you've got here is so, is so wonderful. And you talk about two gemstones which go together. These two gemstones go together more than any other gems in the world. And that's no mistake. Both jadeite and pearls are actually very similar gems. They both contain a, mir a, a mineral called aragonite. And aragonite is what gives pearls their translucency. And pearls are definitely not see-through, and you definitely wouldn't think that they are translucent, but they actually are. The outer skin of the pearl is ever so slightly translucent. So light enters the pearl through this layer of aragonite, and then back out at you, which is why these pearls, when you get pearls with really good nacre, they're so luminous because they have a slightly thicker layer of aragonite. Mm. And jadeite has got that same quality. That's what gives jadeite its gemminess. It's kind of almost water content. It's kind of near translucency sometimes. It's that layer of aragonite. I mean, you can see it beautifully there with, well, with actually, well, sorry, no, with the one you were just showing us, Michael. Sorry, I thought you were down the other end, Levy. But with the one that Michael was just showing us there, it, it, it's got that it's got that kind of apple green translucency mm. that's aragonite that's what that's what gives it to you so it's absolutely it's absolutely right that they should go together now we're at 499 pounds and 99 pence we are nowhere near where we're going to be finishing today I have got an unbelievable amount of these in baskets, and that's great. I understand that at 499 pounds, 99 pence, you might be feeling a little bit, oh gosh, I don't particularly want to check out yet. I want to see what price point they go to. And I totally get that, that's absolutely fine. But I will say that with the amount we have in baskets, if everybody checks out, we're talking two thirds of the stock already gone. Mm. Can we see the back of the gorgeous necklace, please? Oh, yes. Now, this is really lovely. I love what you've done here, Gemma. This is a really lovely clasp that we can bring to wear quite often. I just yeah. love the way that's finished. It's I've, so lovely. Yeah, I've used the sliding clasp um, because I've, I've put a lot of weight. I don't I don't know as um, they thought that I'd put this much in one piece. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I have been very indulgent. So I wouldn't recommend using the magnetic clasp on all three strands. Yes. Just because, I, you know, I want a bit more security. So the sliding clasps are ideal. I suppose if you, I suppose if you took the gems to, kind of here, mm. then yeah. you might get away with a magnetic yeah. clasp. Yes. But, but I think oh, if you want to make something really indulgent, then yeah. then yeah, go with the sliding clasp. It's the strongest clasp we do. Mm -hmm. Two hundred and ninety nine ninety nine. I've got another ten in baskets. Remember, we own, we've only literally got we've got less than a hundred of this kit available. We're at two hundred and ninety nine ninety nine. That's for one metre 15 of genuine freshwater culture pearls in rice shapes, in those gorgeous smaller kind of almost nugget shapes, and then those larger potato pearls. You're then going to be getting a metre exactly of your natural Burmese jadeite. You're then going to be getting your natural silk in that beautiful spring green. You're then going to be getting a yellow gold plated sterling silver um, uh, magnetic clasp, and you're going to be getting a pack of, I assume that's 40 mm. yellow gold plated sterling silver spacer beads as well this is looking amazing already at 299.99 on the 17th of december 2021 <coughs> we had a deal of the day and i remember it it was these strands of oh, sorry it was the strand of um the meter of jadeite yeah we've reordered this <coughs> strand of jadeite and we've given it to Gemma today to work with the price on that day, for this meter long strand of jadeite, so it wasn't a kit, it was the strand on its own, just the jadeite on its own. The price for that strand of jadeite on the 21st of December, sorry, I beg your pardon, the 17th of December 2021 was 199 pounds and 99 pence. In a minute's time, we're going to match that price and you are going to be getting 1.15 metres of pearls 
your yellow gold plated um, sterling silver spacer beads, your yellow gold plated sterling silver magnetic clasp, and your silk for free. That's amazing. That is ridiculous. There are so many people with this in their baskets. Baskets are stacked. A load of people waiting. A load of people who I don't think can actually believe what we're about to do. But we're about to give you one of the biggest kits we have ever bought to wear. Where literally Gemma has been pretty much drowning in jadeite and pearls. And even, and even on her... Facebook page said, I've never seen so much jade item pearls. And for Gemma to say that, who's the kind of the queen of indulgent jewellery, that is that that is definitely saying something. Your deal today, it's already selling. Well done. $199.99, which means you are getting the pearls, the three strands of pearls, and you're getting the silk, and you're getting all your precious metal components absolutely free of charge today. All you're paying for is that strand of jadeite for $199.99. Well done, everybody. It's on a four-way split pay of $49.99, which is absolutely amazing, Gemma. Isn't That's, that incredible? That is. That, that is incredible. Do you know what? I think I've never taken a piece that I've made to be valued before, and I think I'm taking this one to really? be Really? I think we'll be... I, well, we won't be surprised, but I think, I think that one should be valued. And, and do you know what? Look, and perhaps it's short, you know. Yeah, oh my word! You're absolutely yeah, right. So yes. Yeah. When you when you take a piece of jewelry like this into your local jeweler, I mean, don't go to any old jeweler. Go to kind of a mm. you know a reputable jeweler, maybe a family run jeweler. Um, they they I, I doubt any. I mean, I've never seen such a heavy carat weight of jadeite with such an incredible mm. amount of pearls uh, before. It really is something which it, you've got to see it to believe it. You've got to hold it to believe it. You've got to wear it to believe it. And it's yours today, 199.99, which is the price point we sold the Jadeite Strand for on its own on the 17th of December last year. Well done, Alison, Avis. Well done to Abby, Caroline, Lynn, Christine, Maria, Gloria, Claire, Karen. Load of people with it in their baskets. Absolutely tremendous. Check out as soon as you can. It really is one of those opportunities you've just got to take it liam well done to you as well my lovely absolutely fantastic 0800 644 655 go 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 well done everybody make her coming through to get this as well well done it's absolutely superb isn't it? i just love it mm. let's get these up actually and have a look at them they're just stunning aren't they yeah. they are absolutely i love blindingly I love all good. the colors and that's why i like having this with the lots of shades yeah. in there rather than it being one shade and i think that's what really helps it work in designs like this is having those variations of the shades i've got six bracelets i can make with this meter long strand i mean this is and these are eight mil uh, jadeites by the way uh, i can make six bracelets using this one strand of jadeite OK, you don't have to do what Gemma's done at all if you don't want to. But six, six bracelets of jadeite, you sell those, oh, for, for, you know, for, I don't know, I mean, 20 pounds each. And you've made yourself, you know, over 100 pounds just on the jadeite. Then you've got the incredible pearls, which are sensational. Uh, Gemma's saying she wanted to, you know, she fancied using the gorgeous rice pearls on their own. I mean, I think in a knotted neckline piece, mm. that could easily be a hundred pounds worth of pearls. Yeah. And then of course, you've got the other two strands of pearls as well. And you've got the silk and you've got the gorgeous spacer beads and you've got the, um, uh, the incredible uh, magnetic clasp as well. That is absolutely superb. And of course, the design, the design that you've created as well. Um, you really could name whatever price you wanted. If you were to sell that on, I mean, I mean, would that be, I mean, for me, it would be high, 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 triple figures. There's yeah. so much in there. There is absolutely tons in there. Alison in the Highlands, well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. <coughs> okay, so... Gemma, mm -hmm. this is, I've been looking forward to this all show. Yeah, me too. Well done to everyone <laughs> who's come through to get that. Isn't that gorgeous? Well done, everybody. Check out your baskets. That, I can't imagine that's ever being repeated. Right, yeah. what are you going to be showing us? So I'm going to show you how to construct the necklace, all the components that go into it. Ooh. And then, and then we'll, we'll finish the necklace together yes. so you can see the whole process. Brilliant. So... What you need ready when you do this is I literally just put all of my pearls and all of my jadeite onto my tray. I just chopped it oh, all up. Oh, totally. 
okay. and put it all on, okay? Um, and then from, from that selection, I then made a series of these little, um, these little drops. Mm. So I've got uh, a head pin at the bottom and then an eye pin at the top. And I've made a series of these and I've mixed and matched. So I've got some with jade on, some that are pearls. But basically I had the smaller, got the smaller sort of bead at the, at the, oh, um, move my, I think, don't think my board's in the right place. Oh, right. Here we go. Right. So yeah, so I've got these, these sections here um, mm -hmm. and I've got the smaller um, drops at the bottom. So I'll just show you, um, just in case you've never done this before, how to make these. Okay. So you just have your regular findings packs. Now the, the pearls and the jade are, uh, um, got drill holes that are plenty big enough to have your um, standard size head pins, but I've got feather weights um, out on my desk, so that's what I'm using. Okay. So I just pop a little, um, let's go for a pearl actually, the smaller size pearls um, onto one of my head pins. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take some rhinos pliers and I'm gonna do a wrapped loop on here. So I'm just gonna bend the wire back and um, make a loop at the top like this. And then I'm going to take that tail wire and wrap it around. So that's going to be nice and secure, OK? Uh, and I just keep that, you know, as neat as you can to wrap that. And then we're going to nip off the excess wire, OK? And then for the one that sits at the top, I'm going to take a, an eye pin, and I'm going to pick one of my larger pearls, pop that onto the eye pin, and do an eye loop at the other end. So. I just bend that wire over to the side and then I trim that down to just about just about a centimetre. So that's plenty big enough to make a nice loop. Again, use my round nose pliers right at the end of that wire and then roll that loop in until the loop closes. Okay? Uh-huh. So once you've done that, you'll then link these together. So you want a smaller one on a on a head pin attached to one of your larger beads or larger pearls on an eye pin okay so we'll have lots of these components so when i did this i made all the components up for um three different strands so then you just once you've made a load you just divide these into three piles of three um, and then you know you're not going to have too much of the same concentration of combinations of these in one strand okay is it is it worth messaging wayne i mean it's gonna look, it's gonna look desperate up here and the only the only consideration I gave to the order in which I pick these beads up onto my beading thread is I'm aiming to go larger beads at the centre of the of the beading thread and then smaller um, smaller beads towards the edge and that, towards the ends and that's just for comfort on the neckline and so that when you draw these strands together they're not too heavily clustered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start picking up um, my my gemstones. So I'm going to start. I'm starting with a jadeite. I'm going to pop one of those on. Oh, sorry, the other thing we need to have ready before we do go any further is I've got some chain. Now, if you want to keep, keep this project all high-end, you might want to use sterling silver chain or um, plated sterling silver chain. This is our base metal chain from our findings packs. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up um, sections of the chain. I'm not going to measure. I'm just doing some, some around three links, some around five, some around four. I'm just going to <coughs> randomly chop into this chain, creating myself lots of little sections. Quite, quite random then, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, that's, I think that's the secret behind all that movement, is yes. it random. Gorgeous. <coughs> well, Pete... Yeah, Neera uh, saying you'd be scared to, scared to kind of cut into chain. Oh, Gemma, love, you love chopping up a chain. Oh, yeah, I'm always chopping up chains. It gives you <laughs> such lovely movement, you know, yeah. texture. So, you know, this is, you know, a lot of the texture has come from the chain in this piece. Mm. Okay, so I've got one, one gem at the centre. Then I'll just pick up a bit of chain. So I'm going to pick it up from, from one of the ends of the links. Pick up a bit of chain, let that drop in. Pick up one of my pearls. And like I said, I'm using the larger ones at the centre. And I'll... To, you know hopefully gradually get a bit smaller towards the end and then I'm going to pick up one of my little tassely bits with these little clusters okay and so we're just going to keep doing this now so 
I'm putting this, this first bead I put on is my center, okay? So I'm gonna work mm. this way and then I'm gonna work the other way so that I know I can have an even distribution throughout the piece. Okay. To keep me on track. I've also got these little spaces that I'll add in now and again, but mainly at the center, I'm gonna concentrate on lengths of chain and um, these lovely clusters. And I'm just randomly, and I am, tr it's hard to be random. I often find I, I look back and I think, oh, I've put three of those and three of those and then three of those, but, or alternated, but try not to, try to be as random as possible. Gorgeous. Because randomness over the three strands sort of gets its own little bit of uniformity overall. So it sort of works out. Okay, so we're just gonna nice. keep picking sections up, putting them in place and trying to alter, you know, the, the little sections I put in. But that bit of space, that's a bit too small, that spacing in between there. I need to spread those out a bit. So we'll put some more gems in I between. I like this. This is quite, this is lovely because it's, with so many designs like this, um, you, well, with so many, when you're using gems like jadeite or pearls, you have to be very particular and it's quite prescriptive and mm. it's quite kind of getting exact, things exactly right. And actually you're being really... Mm. reactive and changing the design yes, it must be really it's quite liberating isn't it it's exciting yeah yes. because as well all the way through i mean you know because i've tried it and i'm showing you it, it does come together and it works yes. but but when you're doing this you don't really know if it's yes. going to work yes. you just Fingers got an crossed. idea <laughs> an idea that it might you know and, and then yeah. wing it and hope for the best but um it, yeah it has definitely worked oh definitely so yeah so i've done three this side i'm going to start what have i got left i've got so I can do one more on this side. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pick up one of these. And then we'll start on the other side. So we know we've got all our main focal at the centre. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up some more chain. Yes. And gorgeous. Jade. And yeah, it is very, very random. Oh, it's lovely. I love it. Yeah. And all those pearls are also different to each other as well, aren't they? Yeah. So nice. That's it. They've got, all got their own character and individual mm. textures, which is lovely. So that's all adding to, you know, how this, this piece feels so organic. Yes, definitely. Okay. So we're just keeping going. Mm-hmm. And this, this is great because you can literally do this in front of the telly. In fact, the less you concentrate, the better. Yes, Because the absolutely. more random you will actually achieve, the more randomness you'll achieve. Gorgeous. Look at that. So. And I suppose, you know, I'm looking at this design as mm. well. And you said that you, you did this a, uh, a couple of years ago or so. Yeah with kind of odds and ends. Gosh, that yeah. must have been really exciting as well. It's such yeah. a lovely design to be able to, it's such a lovely idea to be able to do with a whole host of different things. If you've got odds and ends of pearls or odds and ends of, of any gemstone, really, mm. that, that's really gonna look um, yeah. so wonderfully kind of textured. Yeah, I mean, you can add into, you know, use this as the basis and then add different things. Like I was suggesting adding the satellite beads earlier. Yeah, you know, that's going to look lovely just to add a new texture or a new colour, you know, into this piece. Absolutely. OK, Gorgeous. so now as we're working up towards the edge, we're just going to now randomly pop on gemstones nice. and we're just filling the rest of the space now. So we want this to be about 20 inches, about 18 to 20 inches. Mm -hmm. We're going to take up a bit of space by sort of um, entwining the, the strands together. So we do need it to be long enough so that you can plait it um, without losing, you know, the length and making it too short. Okay. So now when I'm coming up towards the edges, I'm going to put in some of these gold um, spaces as well. Just again to give it a bit more, a bit more interest. Gorgeous. And just now, randomly layering these in until I've got the right length. So this bit's a bit repetitive, mm. but um, you know. Hopefully. But so nice. And do you know what? Something, it's so nice to be able to do something where, as you say, you can, you, know, you can do this in front of the telly. It's not something you necessarily have to really concentrate with, with that you would with, say, your seed bead nope. weaving or your loom work. Yeah. Um, really relaxing. I, I like the idea of taking all these uh, kind of gems out into the garden and kind of making yeah. this whilst you're 
you know, and, and sitting in the garden, just a really, a really lovely, relaxing way to make your, to make your designs, to make your jewellery. Gorgeous. Yeah. And it's... Yeah, and working, it's, working with the best gems in the world. And, that, and that's it, isn't it? Yeah. We're not talking about magnesites or howlites no. or, I don't know, lava rocks. We're talking about the absolute, you know, some of the finest genuine gemstones that money can buy. And yeah. it just gives you such a wonderful, a wonderful effect. It reminds me a little bit of a lion's mane, actually. Yeah. I love yeah. it. It is, it is Gorgeous. Very, very tactile. Are and you, you know, using a beading thread there? I am, yes. So this is just a nice. standard beading thread. Um, and it's, it's about a, a 0.38 millimetre, I think. That's our standard from our findings packs. Mm. So, yeah, nice. And it's so, it's lovely and strong. You can feel safe with beading thread. And there's no, no stretch and no, mm. um, you know, it's not going to distort or stretch, oh, which look. is nice. Can't wait to try this beautiful design. Absolutely loving the demos this week. I know they've been wonderful, haven't they? And, and Alison, of oh, God, love her, uh, trying to cram her demo into yesterday, uh, but, but managed to do it. <laughs> she kind of gave you two or three demos uh, in one there, which is absolutely amazing. So, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's just so nice because I think a lot of people are going to be inspired by this design, much like the, um, the really beautiful... Um, Seafoam design that mm. um, Katie Parker did, um, oh gosh, months ago, well, years yes, ago. Yeah, yeah. And because it, it's so transferable to yes. other gemstones, That's isn't it? It, it is, yeah. And it's, 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 and it's, it's not intimidating either, either, is it? You, you end up with a very substantial sort of um, piece, mm. but the technique is not intimidating. It's, and it's, you know, it's, it's random. Mm. So we've just put some crimp covers on screen, oh, actually. Oh, brilliant. Because of course, yeah. this is something, again, which you can just add into the design to give it more texture, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's it. You can, yeah, you can add them in. So also, crimps are great because we, we've got six crimp tubes to cover in this design because we've got three strands. So you'll want to cover those um, to make it a nice, neat finish. Yeah, look at those. Really lovely. But also, you know, it's sometimes in designs like this, you en end up with a little space that you didn't know you have yes um and so instead of having to take it apart and put another bead on you can just um pop a crimp bead in to fill space yes definitely you, know, you can crimp it over the thread yes if you've got so. kind of a bit of a, a, if it's a little bit loose mm. uh then yeah definitely gorgeous yeah. so i think you are beading away there, i am are you? <laughs> have my shoulders starting to ache Sounds like, <laughs> but they are lovely <laughs> right oh we need more, more beads <laughs> Oh, it's just so yeah. lovely to see those two gems together, though. And it's just so nice. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting when Gemma's doing this demo and just looking at how easy this is and how creative and organic it is. Mm -hmm. We're working with some of the finest jadeite and some of the finest pearls that money can buy. It really is incredible, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Gorgeous. Right. Bear with me while I put just a few more on. If they're not the same length, oh, it won't, it won't it. plat. So I'm yes, just okay. going to pop a few more. On. So all your all your um, three lengths need to be roughly the same size. Okay. Not you don't have to go millimeter perfect, but you know roughly the same length. So we've got Sue, Christine, Lynette, Dorothy, Linda, Catherine, Michael, Maria, Diana, Pauline, Morag. You've all come through to get your crimp bead covers. Well done. Makers coming through. Four forty nine. Uh, that's for a pack of thirty of your crimp bead covers. I would advise getting three, four, five packs of these. You're always going to find these useful, and particularly mm -hmm. with a design like this. Um, if you just find that one area of the design just needs a little bit more picking out of it, a little bit more definition, absolutely go for it. Fantastic. Or if you find that your gemstones have kind of scooched down the, the beading thread a little bit more than you wanted them to, or, or indeed if you want to add just literally a couple of millimetres more length, then this is going to be really, really perfect. It's going to be such an easy fix. Alison, Angela, Jackie, well done. For less than £4.50, it's such a, such a great deal. Well done, everyone. And they're gold-plated silver as well. We do gold-plated copper ones, but these are gold-plated silver, which ties in beautifully with the spacer beads and the class that you get in this kit. Well done, Beverly and Barbara. Well done, my lovelies. Gorgeous. Well done. Right. Stunning. Right, then. So what I'm going to do now is I've got my um, length threaded up, and I've got two of my strands already attached to mm -hmm. one of my clasps. So to do this, I'm going to show you a tip to make this really strong. I've popped my crimp tube onto my, onto my thread. Okay. And then I've taken the thread through the link, the loop in the clasp. Yep. And then I'm going to take that back through. So that's how we would usually do a crimp, yeah. uh, a crimp tube. Yeah. So we go back through like that. But then to make it double strong, I'm going to take that tail and I'm going to go back through. So I'm coming up and over and back through that crimp tube. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. So there's no risk of that pulling through now. Okay. So we're going to pull that 
nice and tight, okay, and get that pulled down. You want a bit of movement there. You don't want that too tight onto the clasp because otherwise it will give it will put too much pressure on it. And ah. also we want to put a crimp um, cover in there, so we need yes. to leave a bit of space, a bit of wiggle room. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then once we've done that, I'm going to take my crimping pliers. I'm going to squash it with the first section in my crimping pliers, yep. give it a bit of a dimple, and then turn them and squish it the other direction to close it up. Lovely. Now, when you close the crimps like that, they're actually quite tidy, so you don't have to put a crimp cover on, but I think it finishes it beautifully. Yeah, definitely. And then I'm going to trim off the excess. Okay. Woo! So now we come to um, the yeah, next part. Is. So I'm going to hold all these up and give them a wiggle so that they all sort of settle down into one another. Okay. So just hold them up, give oh them a wiggle. My, do not let go of that do end. Do not let go. Oh my gosh! Right. <laughs> oh. <coughs> do something. Right. Wrap it around your finger or something. Right. So I'm going to. I'm keeping. I want to keep them all. Oh, look! Parallel. There's a hundred. Look at the quality. Don't they look wonderful? Don't they look gorgeous? Right. So I'm keeping them parallel, and I'm just going to pop a pin in there just to hold that while I while I. Um, Plat them. Uh -huh. okay. You definitely don't want to let go at this stage. No, no, If you've no. got any of those little covers to help you um, keep them, help you keep the ends on, like the cord end protectors, you know, the just something. Something. <laughs> yes, the little springs. Yes, I know the ones you mean. It's yeah. brave, isn't it? Don't let right. go. So now I'm going to plat them, but I'm only <laughs> I'm going to loosely plat them. Okay, so um, plaiting, you just basically take the outside thread over the inside and alternate. So just lift and take it over. So we're not pulling, we're going to lift, lift and place. Okay, so we don't want this tight. So, and then lift and place. Oh, yes. Lift and place. That's like three 200 pound necklaces you're, you're, you're plaiting there. Yes. Isn't it? It's outrageous, isn't it? It's just no jewellery deserves to be that kind of decadent. It's just incredible. Okay. So we're nearly there. Usually I would get um, my teeth involved at this point. I was going to say, just do it. <laughs> Gemma, do whatever you've got to do. I can hold on to something if you want me to. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to... I know. I know. <laughs> Never, ever give me any tools to work with. Or anything like that, because I'll just, yeah. Platty, platty, plat, plat. Okay, so we're nearly there. We don't want this palat tight, because if it's too tight, it won't sort of sit um, flat on your neck. Mm. So it will then be like more like a rope. And we want that sort of flatness to it as mm. well. So I think one more little twist, one more little mm. pass through here. And that's it, done. So then we're going to keep that in that position while we crimp in the other pieces. Okay. I'll pop that up here and make sure your clasp is up the right way. So you don't want to do it up the right way. So line up your clasps and then ah, make sure it's okay. up the right way. So yes, you want to attach oh it upside gosh, down. that'd be awful. Well, it would work. We'd ah. have to twist the whole necklace. Ah, yes, And then, okay. you know, it wouldn't be quite right. Right, stay there, beads. Stay. Uh, if you talk to your beads, they, you know. Okay, so up through one. So I'm literally going to repeat this process now of popping these crimp covers on. So up and through, give it a nice pull. Give yourself that bit of space that you can put your crimp covers on. And then take your beading thread back through. Mm. With the quality of the gems you've got, with actually, the, I, I know it's quite time consuming, but with the simplicity of the design See, i mean just so joyous and organic and free See please that. do consider checking your baskets out 199.99 obviously is you know it is it is one of our higher end kits mm. but even if you split this kit in half you'd have over half a meter of pearls to work with and over half a meter well and half a meter of jadeite to work with and you'd have all the, you know half the lot of space of it it's just i mean it's even if you split the kit in half it's still Massive. such a generous amount yeah. yeah it is isn't it it's like yeah it's like and it'd be 100 pounds a piece yeah. you'd easily i mean any kind of necklace even just one of these necklaces you've got here you know i think you've got 
you know, one of these strands, I think you've easily got kind of like a, a 200 pound necklace there. It, I mean, it's mm. absolutely amazing. One of the easiest kind of double, triple, quadruple your money kits yeah, that we've uh, ever done. Definitely. And, you know, you're saying about it being time consuming, but this is one of the quicker designs I think I've put yes, together. You're, yeah, you're right. It's, yeah. You know, it's not, it's not time consuming. Like um, a lot of the, you know, other work that we do, like wire work, seed beading, things like that. Or that even knotting. Knotting. Yeah. That really is time consuming. Yes. You know? This is actually, oh, oh, it's okay. Oh, God. I literally thought, I literally thought you'd cut the wrong strand there. Me too. Oh, Gemma. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> right. Start again, Gemma. That's your masterclass, everyone. <laughs> um, but, it, but, you know, it is... It, no, and Gemma, you're absolutely right. I think, you know, it would take you what... If it took you two hours to make this necklace, I think that would be very, very kind of a generous amount of yeah. time, like an afternoon. But you're absolutely yeah. right. With things like your seed beading, your wire working, it can take... Days. days, can't mm. it, to do these kinds of pieces? But I, I'm really? just so impressed. I'm so impressed. 199.99, and you've got your four-way split payments of 49.99, which, let's face it, is incredible. The reason why I'm kind of harping on about it is because we've got over 50 in baskets. So please do check out your baskets. There's been so much interest there. I understand. We understand. It's one of our higher-end kits. But my work. Look, look at the. The value in what Gemma has just made. Mm, so I'm just going to bring And this that one looks together. slightly different. Bring. It is like, yeah, four kits worth of, so. of, of, of stuff. It's incredible. A few more names coming through with this in baskets. Right, Gemma. So we're ready to see how it sits on a bust. Yes, go so, for it. So we just pop this on. I'm going to keep it. So around the back, I'm keeping that, the plait sort of flatter. So the three strands, if you see... The three oh. strands sit nice and nice oh, against the neck. Oh and then, oh, let's just give it a little shush. Shush, 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 shush. And there we go. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. I've got to put this one on. It's lovely, isn't it? Do you know what? I'd love <coughs> to see. Um, I'd love to see what you, um, how you put that. And, and I think a few of our customers would actually love to see as well how you put the crimp cover. <laughs> <laughs> we could be matching, couldn't we? Oh, my <laughs> word. We so could. <laughs> I'd absolutely love that, Gemma. Mm. Do you know what? And um, could you show us how to put the crimp covers on there as well? Yes, I because, can. Yeah. Um, have you got any spare ones? I've got. I yeah. might have a few here actually. I've got some. Have you got here. some there? Yeah. I just love it. So. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm gonna come back to this board. Okay, brilliant. Things don't roll around so much on this one. Okay. Yeah. So putting the crimp covers on, it's easier to do it um, with it unclasped. Okay. Um, what I tend to do is I've got my little crimp cover here. Yeah. So I, what I do is open my pliers, my flat pliers, whichever yeah. pliers you find least slippy. You know, my mm -hmm. pliers are very worn, so sometimes they're a bit slippy for this job. Yes. But you, you'll have your favourites. Um, so pick your least slippy or most grippy pliers um, and have the opening... Um, in the same direction as your pliers yeah and then pick it pick them up like that so that the opening is like um in you know in line and then i'll take that and pop it fr up from underneath i go um onto oh dropped it so i'm gonna go Right, I'm going to do this with my fingers because it's going to be easier, I think, to show you. So I'm trying to get that crimp bead up from underneath so I can push it up over the crimp with my fingers. Okay. I'm making this look very difficult. <laughs> it, it, it isn't. Yeah, regret right. asking for things. Yes. <laughs> get yourself a bit of space. <laughs> Right, okay, I'm going to put this, I'm going to try a different thing. Oh, gosh. No, oh gosh. no I'm not. Oh, no. Oh, Gemma. <laughs> right, basically. It's so easy. Just look. It really is. As people stop right. checking out. You go on to here. Cancel their rules. There you go. <laughs> you just, you've got it. It's, you know, you've got three strands to navigate yes, here. It's a, a bit lot. more fiddly than usual. Yeah, it's it. worth it. Ooh. So you get that into, onto your strand. And yeah. you can see I'm pushing that up either side so that it's not going to go anywhere. My finger's stopping it falling off. And you want to make sure that your strand, your beading thread, is in the 
little hole rather than in the jaws. Oh, the, okay, yeah. Yeah, so you, you'll feel it drop down. And then we're going to take the pliers and just pinch gently. So I just do half a pinch to start it closing. Yeah. And then I come in from the different angles and pinch that way. Yes. And then come in from the other angle and pinch the other way. And then if you do get any slight um, overlap like that, you can correct it easily. If you try and close it all in one and it doesn't close properly, you've got a lot of undoing to do. Well, because it's gold-plated sterling silver, yeah. you're going to have the chance to do that because it is such a lovely, so, pliable, malleable metal. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it shouldn't be a problem. So your gold-plated sterling silver crimp covers are so much easier than base metal. Yes. Because they're thinner and softer and they close much easier, so you don't have to put much pressure on those at all. Um, so they're four forty nine. They're gold plated silver. I'd absolutely get uh, you know three, four, five packs of these. Yeah. Crimp covers are a love hate relationship for me. Fiddly yes. little things, but worth the finished looks as much. Yes, I think you're absolutely right, Levy. Definitely, right. it is. A um, yeah, they they really are, aren't they? They they really make that piece of. They make that finish. Can we get some sterling silver crimp beads in all three metals? Oh, do you know what, Sue? That would be absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Sue had a... Um, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely ask a question. Now, for anyone who is wondering how on earth, Gemma, green lace agate would look amazing. Would look lovely with this design. Yes, and I'm also thinking green angelite as well, mm. if you've got any of that. That'd be yeah. lovely. Cal, that looks amazing, are you? It's got to be yours. Do you know what? It, 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 it just goes really well with my dress, I think, doesn't it? But um, I think that if any of you are looking at this necklace or, or watching that incredible masterclass and wondering what on earth Gemma is used to make, how many kits worth of gemstones? It's one kit's worth. Yeah. It's one kit where you are getting one metre 15 of genuine freshwater culture pearls in three different strands. So you've got the gorgeous uh, pearl nuggets, you've got the kind of uh, beautiful ringed pearls, um, and you've got the rice pearls. You're also going to be getting a meter of your jadeite um, in all different si in all different um, shades, sorry. Mm. And then you're going to be getting 40 of your gold-plated sterling silver crimp beads, uh, sorry, um, uh, spacer beads, yellow gold-plated um, sterling silver magnetic clasp, and you're getting your silk as well. It's 199.99. Even if you split this kit between you and another person, you know that you've still got over a meter's worth of gems to work with. If you split this kit into two, it's it's, it's with you for uh, on a four-way split payment of 49.99. In baskets, baskets are stacked at the minute. Regine, Susan, Leah, Maker, Liam, Allison, Avis, Abby, Caroline, Lynn, Christine. There's a load of you with these in baskets. Please check out, um, um, uh, you know, as soon as you can. We do understand it's a little bit more to pay for a kit, but the quality of what you're getting, the stature of what you're getting, and I think what Gemma's demonstrated here is the value of what you can potentially make with this kit. Mm -hmm. We're talking high, high uh, high triple figure prices, Absolutely. if not tipping it over into those. Yeah, you've got to get it insured for house. You know, yeah. um, uh, you've got to get it um, 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 insured for insurance reasons, mm. um, uh, valued for insurance reasons. Sorry, and Jim, you've got it in your basket. Do check out when you can. It's tremendous, and the fact that you can get it home today, Gemma, for forty nine ninety nine is something which, honestly, yeah. it's interest free. It is just superb, isn't it? It really, it really is. is. It is. It is amazing. Gorgeous, well done, just beautiful. Uh, yeah. So Tom's just asking a question about could you, if, if you added in magnetic clasps, could you kind of make three one-strand versions of this with your magnetic clasps? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. You could, you could do um, smaller pieces. You could do clusters for centres. And that's what I was just about to say is that actually, you know, I've been very indulgent, put everything in one piece. Yes. But if I was to use this like I would a general kit and not be so indulgent. You've probably got at least, what, 15 to 20 pieces of jewellery. Oh my gosh, this, can you imagine that? In yes. this bundle, you know, without a doubt. And, and you can, that magnetic clasp is gorgeous mm. and, you know, it's lovely in with the pearls because it's that lovely round shape and it's high end. And, but um, you can use, you could perhaps use that on a bracelet. I've put my bracelet on memory wire here. Mm. And oh, this oh is, I was going to ask you about what yeah. that was on. That's on memory wire, is memory it? Memory wire, and I've Fantastic. put it together in exactly the same way I put the necklace together. So, yeah. So, that's... Is the bracelet on memory wire? Wonderful designs, Gemma. I know. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they stunning? Yeah. That's so pretty. 
And uh, so you've got a magnetic clasp uh, that we just put on screen for $7.99 for your yellow gold plated sterling silver magnetic clasp. Uh, great demo, Gemma. Thank you. But this design would work with a mix of bead shapes. Yeah, absolutely. It would, wouldn't absolutely, it? yeah. If yeah, I'll, there's some on my on my um, guest designer page. If you want to have a look, you can nice. see yes, the please. ones that I've done with different, yes, different shapes and different textures. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just been such a lovely masterclass. And I think it's really going to inspire people to have a go with this design with different, uh, with different gemstones, different sizes. It's going to be absolutely superb. So well done to everybody who's coming through to get that. That's absolutely gorgeous. 0800 644 655 or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. What's so wonderful as well is if you look at the two designs together, they've got their differences. They've definitely got the similarities, obviously, mm -hmm. but haven't they got their differences as well? Mm. It's I think just... the second one I've done is a bit bigger, actually, a bit longer. Yes, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah a bit so bigger. interesting. Gorgeous. Ah, love it. Now, coming up this afternoon, of course, you've got Hobby Maker, uh, which is going to be loads of fun. Lots and lots of gorgeous paper craft coming up this afternoon, which looks like it's going to be absolutely fantastic. But coming up tomorrow... We've got Jake Thompson joining us. Hello, my love. Hello, Carol. You're so excited. This is unusual for you. Carol, I have never done anything like this. This is ridiculous. What is this? This is... Ooh. We know the Hong Kong Gem Show was cancelled. <laughs> we know the Hong Kong Jedi auctions yes. were cancelled. Carol, I have swooped in with some of the leading carving houses... In, on the Chinese mainland. Oh my gosh. We are bringing you debut carvings. This is the oh. goddess of mercy carving. We have never, it's a master carving we have oh, never done. Beautiful. Goddess of mercy carving. This is coming up tomorrow. 10 a.m. Oh the goddess my God, of mercy. I can't wait to tell That's you That's gorgeous. Look at the floral detail mm. in the jadeite. This is all natural jadeites. Wow. So we've got the return of the laughing Buddhas. Yeah. Carol, I was at the Tucson Gem Show. I've got for you the trade value of the Laughing Buddha. I'm going to tell you now, you need to get hot. Tomorrow, really? tomorrow the saving against what I saw at Tucson, it, it's just extraordinary. Uh, incredible. I've got for the first time ever, Carol. Go on. A jadeite cherubim angel. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, that's precious jade. I've got there. <laughs> there is a... And I didn't touch it. You didn't. That was entirely on me. No tweezers. Very durable, though. <laughs> um, I've got the cherubim angel sculpture. Oh, my word. What is that? This one on, here? No, the one standing up there. What is I that? I wasn't even about to talk about this one. It's beautiful. Carol. Oh, it's gorgeous. This was an art collaboration. It's beautiful. Sculpted <laughs> for the Tokyo market. I have swooped in. Oh, my gosh. Go on Selfridges. Yes. Go on Selfridges. Oh, my gosh. I'm not allowed to say the brand, so I'm going to say Bear Block. Instead, oh. it was designed to be sold at auction in Tokyo. Oh my in gosh! Solid black jadeite sculpture should have been at an auction in Tokyo. I've got it for you tomorrow. I've got the chai set. We've never done this before. These are solid jade carved into a, t a chai serving carving. Here, I'm going to do them as a pair. I'm doing them as a pair, and also. For those of you who love magic, love fairy tales, <laughs> and love mice, I've got for you something that might be familiar. This is awesome. I'm calling it the magic mouse. <laughs> I'm going to pair those up. That's amazing. <laughs> this, if we have time to do all of these sculptures tomorrow, I will be blown away. This is a week's worth of auctions at Hong Kong tomorrow, 10 a.m. I've never brought you type A jadeite like it. I Thank hope you. you're going to be able to join us for this once in a lifetime event. Thank you so much, Jake. Oh, he's so excited. It's going to be the most amazing day tomorrow. Don't go anywhere. Jake, <laughs> you've been awesome today. Thank ah, you thanks so for much. Me. You are brilliant. Tune in for Hobby Maker, the other side of this. It's going to be a brilliant afternoon. We'll see you in a second. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker.